Instead of saying a bleep word at the price of these just now, I said, fraggles on sticks. They're all giggling at me. But is that, right, okay. I want you again to take yourself, oh, I really want to A, have the money to do this and B, be allowed to do this. Let's go to a, what's your favorite department store ever? Is it Selfridges? Is it like a, a House of Fraser? Is it a Harvey Nicks? Or what's your favorite, Gemma? I like Debenhams. You love a Debs? I do love a Debs. I like Debenhams. Yeah. Like but I love Selfridges. Yeah. I love it! We My son makes beans, me spend so. hours in there. You need to take you need to go to the one in London, it's ace. Yeah. So you go through the doors and I was you can't park there, Gemma. It's eight pounds an hour to park there <sighs> on a Sunday. I've had to do it once to put something back and it was like fourteen pounds because I was like, I only went up the stairs and back down again. Anyway, so anyway. You're there, you go through these doors, because I was parking a certain place, I can park at my dad's house. Go through these doors. And you're straight in, concessions everywhere, jewellery, 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 jewellery. And you're walking around and it is just, oh, it's unreal. The smells, the penhaligans, the this, mm. the that. It's amazing. But the jewellery, I always go through the same door so that I go straight into the jewellery. Yeah. Because it makes me so happy. You look and show part, I've got this big leopard and it's all like, look at me, I've got all my gemstones. And I'm like, oh, you're just walking around feeling amazing. And people are like, do you want to try this? And you're like, yeah, yeah. You know, let's take ourselves there. These are the kinds of findings that are that quality. They are the gifts that you buy in the high-end, high-end stores. They are the gifts that you buy in your favourite ever store. <sighs> Department store. And these lever back earrings, I'm going to tell you a secret. A certain person has just bought herself and I want to... Now these look very, very much like the Tiffany & Co dot charm earrings and they have lots of things in that dot charm. They are very expensive looking. I want you to remember that you've got Swiss blue topaz in here and I want you to see the amount of rose gold. Gemma's got the 18 karat gold in. These are the rose gold. All you've got to choose is whether you're having both or whether you're going to go for the rose gold or if you're going to go for the 18 karat gold today. Look at that bezel set. These look so expensive. And I've got to tell you, I'd be quite tempted to snip off that loop and have these just on their own like that. But I know, I know they are just crying out for a Charlie Baron drop pearl, aren't they? They are crying out for your favourite pearls. They are crying out to be made into a really super pair of earrings. The ones that are worn by the bride on her wedding day. There's your something blue right there and your something new. Two birds, one stone. Now, these lever back earrings are always a favourite of mine because they're so secure. Now, if you work with children or you've got little ones, could be grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and you're picking them up, what's the first thing they do when you're wearing earrings? They go to grab them. These are safe in your ears because of that mechanism there. They're really, uh, maybe you've got long hair like I have and things get tangled up and by the end of the day, you don't even know how it happened. And this happens quite a lot with me. I only wear um, shepherd's hooks when I've got my hair up because they come out yeah. because my hair is so long and it just tangles in it. Now, these are perfect. They're the perfect way to wear more of a drop style earring but with the security, so you know they're not going anywhere. They're not going to be brushed by a coat that you've just put on and ping out of your ears. Because it's quite difficult to feel earrings coming out of your ears. Yeah, yeah. You really have a feeling in your earlobes, do you? Yeah, with scarves as well in the winter, like now, yeah. I find scarves. That's why I only wear sleepers or lever bags. Yeah. Um, and also, because my ears. ears close up really quickly, I have to have them in permanently so these I don't really need to take out and worry about them falling out in bed or exactly or you can the wear shower. these in bed and I, yeah. the I'm terrible for that I keep my look at your price these are 10.95 we're in the department yeah. stores and we're do you know it's that Brilliant. kind of luxury this is luxury they are beautiful very unique findings they are the ultimate gift for Christmas these are the ones that make your jewelry look expensive these are the ones that make your jewelry look like you've been to a jeweler's and you have that Kind of, do you know, just having the ingredients that jewellers have mm -hmm. takes your jewellery up 10 or 20 notches in terms of quality because it can't, half the stock has gone. You're gonna, so Gemma is wearing at the moment the 18 cap. I've got the rose gold, that's what's on your screen. Let's go to Gemma's ears if we may. Just got the one. And this is how they look in the ears without a drop on them. 
Ooh. Aren't they gorgeous? Get that mane out of the way. There we go. Oh, so Gemma, cute. they're gorgeous. They are cute, aren't they? They're beautiful. Yeah, love them. And you know, that loop is really discreet as well. So you could if just you, wear them. Yeah, if you just you? didn't want to have a drop on or you wanted one that you could take on and off. Because do you know the loops are open at the bottom as well? So if you've got a that. if you've got a charm oh, that has so got a closed yeah. closed loop, these these will um, open, uh, and because they're flat, they're extremely secure, they're much more secure than a round um, jump ring. They are beautiful. We've had you've had oh Masks, good point. So yeah. we just have a text on who sent that in. You struggle with the shepherd's hook versions because uh, they come out when you're taking your mask off. Jodie, that is such a huge point. Yeah. She's right. Yeah, she is. That is Those a good point. masks, I've got my... You mustn't let me forget my mask. It's here. We've got all oh, ten of you in a queue. Uh, please, please... But, well, I'm so sorry. Is there a phone line queue? Is there? I'm so sorry I didn't mention it. There is... If you could get on the app or the web, that's a great way of shopping. Uh, loads and loads and loads of you. No, Jenny, you've put them in your ear, darling. Oh. Can't have them back. Um, nice, nice try. Um, <laughs> I offered. <laughs> nice try giving them me back, but you're going to have to keep them because oh. of COVID. Uh, Jan in Gloucestershire, two for you. Warwickshire takes two. Mavis, Linda, Tina, Chris. Maker in Suffolk, two for you. Debbie, Neil and Linda. Candy, Deborah, two for you. Katie, Maker in Cheshire. Linda in Nottinghamshire. Uh, Greater Manchester, Kathy, Diana in Hertfordshire, two for you. Lisa in London Town. Uh, Karen in Dartmoor. Margaret in West Yorkshire. Anne in... Where is Charente or C H A A R E N T E? Charente? Mm, I don't know. Anyone? Diane in Kent, you've got yours. Rosa, what a gorgeous name in Greater London. Rosa. Uh, Sylvia in London. Uh, we have got, oh, sorry, Sylvia, you're in the Midlands. Maker in Cumbria. Christine in Bedfordshire. Christine's in Bedfordshire. Uh, this time. At this time? <laughs> Never gets old. Maybe this is in Yorkshire. You're the... It does get old for these. No, our masterclass is all about leather. We've got the ant. We've got so much going on. But what do you want to do first before we go into that? Where are the gold version? I didn't even know I had them. Oh, yeah, in Jenna's ears. <laughs> Put them back in your ears quickly. That was the rose gold. I thought we'd done both. He's like, the gold. Well, where are they? I've just taken Oh, I mic. gave them to Gemma, didn't I? Yeah. That's how bad my short-term memory is, yes. Gemma. Literally get them about two minutes oh, ago. I've lost them. I've you know the them. price there. Ten ninety-five. Gemma Craig, get it back in your ear, girl. Sorry. RBK, I just dropped ten, one as well. T38. Multi bias galore. So, Gemma, you chose the 18 karat gold. Yeah. Is that because you have got gold earrings in at the moment? It's, it's because I think most of the jewellery I wear is gold. Is it? Yeah. Bougie. Or gold colour. You yeah. are bougie. Not yeah. always gold, gold, but gold colour. <laughs> but that's 18 karat gold. This is 18 yeah. karat gold. And it's that's gorgeous. the thing on sterling silver. Charanti is in southwest France. Way. Hang on. Charant. 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 Do you know what? So, hang on. Never eat shredded wheat. I've been... I think I've been there. I think I've been there. So, I've been to, like, Pont d'Arc, and I, I drove from, like, there to... I think it was called, like, Languedoc or something. Then I went Pont d'Arc, and then I went to, like, Montpellier, and I think it went like that. Have I been there? And I do that thing when I go to France that drives my kids mad. I speak English with a French accent, <laughs> and it literally drives my kids crazy. They're like, will you stop doing that? Either talk English or speak French. Don't keep speaking English in a French accent. It's so embarrassing. They're like, why don't you just calm down, kids? <laughs> and they don't think it's funny at all. Uh, but you should always embarrass your children, especially Absolutely. on holiday. Definitely, definitely. It's, uh, it's the law. It is the law. Mm. And I'm jealous of you being in the south of France. How lovely for you. I'll, move, I'll come and stay with you after the COVID. I, don't worry, I'm not allowed. Um, <laughs> you've got us what? You've got the elastic back to go with the two mil rounds. Ooh. Sunday. For the give up. So you're going to have... So we're going to have tiny prices as well. It's got something for everyone, haven't we? We can have a stretchy hour. I'm so... I'm so gassed for it. Gemma, if you're, mm. if you're not doing anything, please feel free to Skype us in on Sunday. Oh, I, yeah. I'll definitely Even join... Even if you're, you know, wine in hand, I'll one o'clock in the afternoon. I'll definitely join you Sunday, if We'd you want me. We'd love to see your roast dinner. Mm. Will you be doing one? No. Oh, OK, no, fair I enough. won't be. <laughs> <laughs> I might do an alternative. All right, then. I'm, uh, I'm sort of not doing what meat you at the have? moment. Oh, you're not eating meat? Oh, fair play to you. What are you going to have instead? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. 
just stuff in. Maybe have like a, a corn toad in the hole instead of a, oh, you could do that something yeah. like that. You could have some cauliflower cheese. I've had that already twice this week. Oh. <laughs> Angelite. There's about four left, but they are seriously over allocated. So how many over? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, I was about to read out your names, but I saw somebody put on our Facebook page that don't like it when I do that, so I'm not going to ever do it again. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen of you. I won't show that either because that's the same thing as calling people's names out. <laughs> um, aren't checking baskets out. Yeah, you know who you are, don't you? And there might be a reason for it, but you might miss out. That's all. That's all. The ant is coming. <coughs> Return of the ant, they're saying. But it was something else. I don't know what you were singing there. I am buzzed for this because I've never seen this little greedy mm. tool. It's brilliant. It's well, absolutely I, great. If you're telling me I can do pyrography with this and hot foiling, mm. then this is a tiny tool that does jobs of big machines. Yeah, it's, it's a really great tool. My, my brother uses this on his large-scale pieces of uh, woodwork. Well, yeah. Are we not going to get him in here to do some little fracket pieces? Well, it would be great if he could, wouldn't it? Yeah, will you not? <laughs> if you can cope with Ben. <laughs> he is why a crazy crow would, for a reason. Why hasn't he come in? Well, I just think with lockdown and everything going on, there's not really been an opportunity, so... Well, I'll make one. Go on, then. Will I go in? Will he come on? Oh, definitely, Right, yeah. who votes Gemma Crow's brother needs to come and check? Have you seen the woodwork this man does? Because we could put it in bangles. He does do bangles. Why isn't he on our... What? Why have you not told him to come on? Well, we've talked about it. Who's we? Why aren't they doing <laughs> talked anything? About it. talked about it with the team as well, so it's, it's a possibility... It's going to happen next week. Listen, <laughs> next week. You, know, you know how annoying I am and people are just like, just do what you want. I mean, one day they will fire me, but I'm in and I'm like, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? And I'm just like, just get out. Fine. <laughs> Chloe, just head of TV, please go and follow her on Facebook. I was like, can you send a picture of Jenny going through that, those prizes? And Tom sent it to her and she said, where has she got all this stuff from? We can't give all of that away. And I was like, too late, too late. <laughs> now, not, what's not too late is that you're joining us on the other side of this with leather. Where have you been, Bruce Ingham? <sighs> Neary the Eighth's gone wild. He says we have to have the jewellery maker's biggest ever giveaway on record ever. What are we going to do? I can't compete with that wretched Bing Berlin woman. And as for Claire of Wirework, they're coming up with ideas left, right and centre. I'll be for the chop. It's got to be an off-the-head deal. <sighs> Let's consult the scrying stone. I've got one here. I see... I see a fabulous Aulis boat. An Aulis boat? It's not even wooden, Bruce. How's it going to float for a start? Mm. I'm sure we haven't invented those yet. I'll consult again. I see a luxurious horseless carriage. A horseless carriage? Well, how are we going to get about with no horse bruising and think again? It's got to be good. I have an idea. <gasps> what say you, Bing Berlin? Give me an off-the-head prize. A workshop, my king. More. A workshop of their choice, my king. More. The kit included, my king. Okay. You're dismissed. What say you, Claire of Wirework? What off-the-head prize have you got for me? I have a piece of jewellery from each designer for the winner. What else? A puppy. Puppies? We can't give away puppies. I'll send you to the tower if this continues. <gasps> Your Lord. What say you, Brucingham? And you? Jen Seymour. A huge bundle of prizes from Gemporia. What else? Over £2,000 of jewellery maker goodies. What else? 10% off your order for the lucky winner for three months, and that's every order. What else? A credit to your account. That's better. You've saved yourself this time. These prizes are off the head this Sunday at Jewelry Maker. Woo! Woo!
Welcome to the Jewelry Maker News with me, Jenny Cleary. News just in of an amber showcase on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Also, we're being told to look out for sightings of chains on the same day. It's set to be a phenomenal weekend, not to miss here on Jewelry Maker. Stay crafty, jewelry makers. with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8am to 8pm. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Welcome back. It's Masterclass O'Clock and we are fully ready and fully loaded because we've got the ant, we've got leather, we've got traditional leather, vegan leather, we've got the eyelets. We've even got, now I haven't seen this for ages and I am fair obsessed with this tool. It's the magic pickup tool. You just said, what? It's so it picks up, but it doesn't just pick up gems. It picks up findings, you know, little tiny like oh. crimp things and you're like, Boom. it's got a really cool little rubber end. That will sell out because every time it does, I haven't seen that for years. I really could do one of those because that is the only thing about the gem, um, hot fix gems, that is hard work. You want to use it when you're, are you hot fixing well, today? I will, I will show Please how to do that. Please use it, yeah. 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 So I'm going to give you that. That's coming up in a bit, and it's a beadsmith tool. It's brilliant. Let me just show it you before um, I give it to Gemma. So it's like this. That's what it looks like, and it's in the back there. We're going to give you... I th now, the ant tool is going to sell out, so I think we ought to do that first. Um, mm. There you go, darling. They're invaluable, they are. Yeah. You're getting all the goods off me today. I am, aren't I? I am, well, you know, I'm a giver. I like now. working with you. Hmm? I like working with you. Oh, you went to you come to my house be feeding you? Put playing you a drink. Now, <laughs> here we have the ant. I'm a little bit obsessed with this because so a lot of us, a lot of us that are crafty have big machines because they can do all sorts of things. They can do pyrography, they can do uh, hot fixing, they can do um, hot foiling, which is what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Now, often we'll have to buy separate machines to do those, one big expensive machine that does that. I'm sure this is going to do more than uh, Gemma's just scratching the surface, mm -hmm. but we essentially have here a brilliant heat tool. Now, the first thing I notice is that the the ant comes with full instructions and even safety instructions as well. So please don't worry, it will tell you what heat to set for foiling. Wax art! You, yes, you can do wax art! Yeah. <laughs> Your eyes went, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. <laughs> uh, calligraphy tip, flat gem tip, spade tip, script tip. It says uh, change it to wax art, hot fix setting, stencil work, mm. pyrography, um, and uh, mini ironing. So you can do all of those things. So actually, if you were doing uh, your seam allowances, if you watch our sister channel, Sewing Street, yes. uh, then you'll know that sometimes your seam allowances, you need to, um, yeah. you need to do those on your quilt blocks you get the little iron oh you get the iron so it's like yeah. a little clover iron yeah do you know how handy that is if you're a quilter yeah it's like it's so I've, handy yeah i've done some quilting recently and used that <gasps> i love quilting how did you do yours well it wasn't it's it's a pin quilting it's it's slightly different i do it over baubles it's really pretty i've done that too have you my friend's got a company that does it oh there you go yeah. now it's great i love quilting yeah. but quilting me and you can i'll talk to you later 
because <laughs> I've got ideas for gemstones and quilts. Now, Ooh. so it's got an ordinary in the wall plug, and that all comes, you know, <laughs> in the wall plug. <laughs> It's Stick it also, in the wall. It's also adaptable, though. So if you want to take it, like, tea holiday home, um, yeah. you've got the adapters that oh, yeah. change it to, um, you know, European sockets. Aha! Uh -huh. Or American, maybe. <gasps> Do we get those with it? Yeah. Come on! It's all, So if you're in France, if you're in Europe, if you're in America... And it'd be fine. Now, let's have a look at all of the... I can't believe you get your mini iron tool. So if you're a quilter, look no further. You get your stand here as well. Mm -hmm. You've got your little temperature gauge. So you get all the ends. So you get a pyrography, a calligraphy end. You've got your mini iron for your little seam allowances if you're quilting and more. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of projects we, we like to throw a little iron on. Uh, maybe it's that you're doing the iron on um, stickers and things like that. Yeah, Kanzashi flowers. Um, all sorts, yeah. And then what's this? A little grabber? What is this? Uh, so that helps you remove the tip when it because it's hot, obviously. <gasps> so if you want to change the tips over whilst it's still hot, you can just um, grab it off with that. They thought of everything. Yeah. Can I use great. it as like a soldering iron? Um, I don't think it gets hot enough. Okay. Um, but maybe smaller low melt projects, possibly. Yeah. They'll have to ask um, about argentium because it's slightly lower yeah. temperature melt. So yes. It, it's possible. I, I wouldn't like to say. Now, what a tiny price for a tool that does so much. Forty-five pounds. It's fabulous. Price. I thought this was going to be about hundred, about eighty, between eighty and hundred. No, it's. I don't know how great... much they are though. To be fair, but that is a great price. It, you know, I, I haven't done much comparison. However, for what it does for me and how many crafts it crosses, it's a great price. Because if I broke that between the four crafts I use it for, it's like ten pounds per craft yeah. or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it, it it does a, a great job. It's easy to manage, easy to hold. It's got then, great grip on it. Yeah, it, and it's lightweight, isn't it? So yeah. it's easy to maneuver and do longer projects where you have to. You're not going to get that fatigue in your hand from holding um, a tool for that long. So so yeah, it's it is a great price, and I and I do think it's a great price. Um, in comparison to other products, well, eBay is forty nine ninety five at the moment, and yeah. that's on a sale price. Uh, it's it, it is that we're giving you an on air discount because ordinarily it's just under fifty pounds on our website as well. Now I want to talk to you because you have got that extended money back guarantee, but I want to talk to you about the options this is going to give you in terms of Christmas presents. And Gemma, that's definitely a road you want to take our our um, jewelry makers on today because yeah. we know we're not going to be able to get out to those shops, but yeah. maybe want to make something special, even going as far as getting a wooden spoon and writing on that you know you can yeah. do that because lockdown christmas or whatever mm -hmm. you can do that because you can write on the wooden spoon with the pyrography yeah silly little things like that make such great gifts they yeah. really do and yeah. you could do name plaques for bedrooms and mm -hmm. things like that there's all sorts of things you can do but yeah there's so much i mean this is absolutely brilliant for personalizing any you know from your wood to your leather, to, to your cards, to your Christmas decorations, even furniture, like you said, wooden spoons, utensils. It's, it's a great personalisation tool, yeah. You can get those little wooden hearts and put best friend on it and send it to your friend yeah. or your sister. Uh, yeah. Annie Donna Great says, hi, I've got mine and I'm making button hook for my, uh, making a, a buttonhole for my son's wedding in ribbon. This will help so much. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. for thank you for messaging in. Uh, now, loads of you have gone for this. I've got to say, uh, a, a huge whopping. We're actually struggling to see how many we've got left because loads of you have got this in a basket. Do check it out. Thank you. So, Kim, you've got yours. Anna, Diana, Mickey, Agnes, Maker in Suffolk, Mo, uh, Oxfordshire, Olwyn, Maker in Tyne and Ware, Wiltshire, Anne in John Great. So, we've just had your message. Karen in Kent, Jean, uh, well over half the stock has gone. Lena in Delana, Julie, Anne, we've got Kay, we've got Janet, Janice, we've got Julie in Yorkshire, we've got Maker in Greater London Town, Angela Marie in West Midlands, Paula in Ceredigion. Sorry, that's Paul in Ceredigion. Uh, I've got Anne in Cornwall. A telephone call has just taken two. A maker in Brighton and a maker in Lowe. Kimmy in Somerset, you've got yours. So lots and lots and lots of you have bought. And I have just seen somebody's got four in a basket. Maybe they're going to a group. Maybe it's going as gifts for somebody. Mm. I think it'd be a great all-round house uh, a tool to have in your house. Yeah, I, I, I bought this. I bought this one for my brother because he kept pinching mine. 
<laughs> so I, I bought him when. So Is when that I, what happens? So if yeah. I start pinching like your outfits, you'll just buy me some. Oh, I, yeah. like, no, I like that. that. I've seen yeah. your shoe collection. <laughs> yeah. Now, Gemma, we've got four wonderful kits. The, the kit is at three... The ant is at three quarters of the stock gone. I'm going to give you the kits now because we are very busy. Mm -hmm. um, now, let, I'll start with YBX C97, quite simply because it is the, the nearest to me. Mm -hmm. So we have got... The, the real leather here is the blue. And oh, gosh, it's soft. Yeah, it's, well, it's like a, a grey blue. Actually, we're calling it silver, actually. Yeah, I thought it was blue. It's it's like a grey blue. I had this conversation about my brother's new car today as well. Is it silver or is it blue? It's that sort yeah. of colour. Yeah, it's like crossover. Like a dolphin grey, maybe. Yeah. But Georgia and I sat and chose these combinations today, months ago, because... You know, we we wanted to um, put combinations together that were quite subtle and neutral, but also could be put all together to create a really lovely, versatile palette. So, you know, these individually work great, but put them all together and you're going to have some, like, spectacular um, colourways. Now, the black, that's real leather as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, these are all real leather. And you've got a leather. great big 12 by 12 sheet here. Yeah of black leather with the patent effects. Now, again, if you watch our sister channel, if you are into your sewing and you watch Sewing Streets, I think you're already in for this one thinking, I'm making a purse out of that. I'm going to put that as a cushion mm -hmm. cover. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know what? Do that. I'd love us to cross over and do a big crossover design project. I think it would be wonderful. Now, you also get the eyelets, which you can see Gemma has used across so, most of these pieces there's an eyelet there so we haven't got they're not the eyelets we've got rivets in this rivets band. sorry yeah. yes so, rivets so we, which is lovely because we haven't had the rivets for such a long time where's the rivets in a um, oh here so we've got rivets and we've got um, these little button posts so little, little how cool is that posts. And then you, so that's a rivet there so you can use a rivet to hold on elastic and things like that as well yeah Jim? yeah well basically that's looped to hold the leather together yeah so if in the middle of the flowers i've used rivets to rivet all the pieces together Which are um, oh yeah so yeah so they're riveted in the center Fabulous. and that's really really easy these are snap rivets so they're much easier to use as well thank you Gemma. and you get a collection of five pairs of rivets be at 10 actually all together yeah um so so you've got all of that with the leather now, can we just sit back and appreciate the fact that you've got real leather in here and we're under £20. That is very competitive. That's, a, that's amazing. That is an amazing price. Those screw um, ones that you've got there yeah. as well. Have you seen those? We've not had those before. So they're little screw-in um, sort of fasteners. Oh, yeah, they've so, got a cross-ended... Yeah, have so these are these. great. You'll often find these on belts and things like that. You know, when you yeah. get a belt, you have to double back and yes. pop it through. So, actually, I... And that screws into there, does it? I, I repaired one of my belts, actually, when this came through the post. I was the moon, because it's like, <gasps> there's a one I, I haven't been able to wear for a long time. So, yeah, these are great. So, they're, they're really a lovely fastening to use, um, and really simple to use, and really secure, and, and really... Um, neutral in their design so yeah. you can use them in jewelry you can use them in bags you can use them in um you know all, so all sorts of ways they're really great now really busy for that i've got brighton sue lynn maker fiona now the ant tool will get hot in the tip of course you've got that part at the the part that you hold doesn't get hot we're going to use the ant um, and, and i'll talk you all the way through the process of of using it Thanks, Jane. Where you can and can't touch. Okay. <laughs> Next one is DMX. X go and give it to you. C57. Anyone know what I was talking about? No, probably not. <laughs> now, this one. Oh, look, I can see this at the front. That is beautiful. You've made. What is that? Like a pouch you made? Like a little bag? What's this here? With the color, yeah, that color's beautiful. So, yeah, this is a phone case. <gasps> so, a phone case? Yeah. So, um, my friend Rosie, she, she won't use one of the cases, but I've made this because. Wait, and then when you pull that, it pulls the phone up so it doesn't get stuck in. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. it's a little phone pouch. And so, she yeah. won't use one of the normal cases, so you've made, made of that? Yeah, she won't use a normal case. Why? She carries it around in a little handbag. It's going to smash. Um, yeah, so if I make her this, she can have it in there. Don't my daughter yeah. smashed her phone last night. <laughs> Tell you what, these kids. So here we have the most beautiful 12... But look at that colour. I love this colour. I've got this colour in my living room and I love it. So it's, it's gorgeous, Canada it? cowhide. So Canadian cowhide. And it smells mm, 
Sorry if you hate the fact that I'm sniffing cowhide. Uh, and then you've got that amazing tan there as well. Now you get the screw back buttons that Gemma was talking. These are a new finding. And then you get the rivets as well. Lynn, you've got yours. Wilma, Maker in Antrim, Suffolk, Yorkshire, Margaret, Fiona, Buckinghamshire. Sue, you've got yours. Ang Miss Angus, Elaine, you've got yours. At Maker in Greater London, Maureen in Nottinghamshire, Tracy in Kent, Bryson, you're there. Uh, I think it's very fair to say this is extremely popular. Okay, three quarters of the stock has been allocated. DMX C57, 17.95 is your price. Gemma, that's beautiful as well. Yeah, gorgeous. That's using little scraps. Um, yeah, so that's li little scraps. I've made some feathers. I'm going to show you how to make some feathers with the... Um, with this bundle as well because they look lovely as feathers that's that blue mindful color isn't it yeah definitely yeah. i love it i love the color turquoise yeah, so that's um a bookmark we've done <gasps> Gemma, so, i love that so oh my gosh that's beautiful we've written on it made some feathers you can hook a <gasps> pen in look there look at your foiling look yeah. at your foiling it's amazing and you can see it just sort of hooks into the book with a with a hair bobble so Oh, yeah. um, can I have a look at that foiling? Can you show me what it says? Um, so it says Authent authentic, and I've done some feathers, and some little Gemma, dots. I love it. So I am all about want, that foiling. I am obsessed. And it's permanent, you know, it's not going anywhere. Uh -huh. which and is it really looks great. Do you know, you pay so much, like, you pay yeah. a premium for things like yeah, that. Yeah, you do, yeah. I tell you, I tell you, this is brilliant. SKXC36. Uh, now, this is. Have a look at this leather, and it reminds me of like uh, the the 80s. My dad had a leather jacket that looked like this, and it was mm. a long one, and he had the little like it's got. It's, there's something. It's my favourite actually. I love it's it. I brogues, love this colour. Isn't it? It's the tan. It's brogues, it's, that... it's tan. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I think there's something really retro. It's retro. That's why I, I love yeah, it. I like tan. The tan leather. It's just. It just feels the most natural as well, doesn't it? Yeah. It's Look at the shine on that, though. The quality Beautiful is unreal. Quality. Yeah. Do you it's... remember when everyone had jackets like that? Yeah. I think I've probably still got one they're, somewhere. No, they're <laughs> so in. They're yeah. so, the 80s are back with a bang. And this is retro. And then you know the price. And then you've got that wonderful... I love that. So yeah. Gemma's done uh, the hairband and a couple of cuffs with this one. Yeah. And, so, and another <gasps> book sort of pen holder. I love that. So, yeah. Yeah, you can do You're all, amazing. All You've done wild. You've done so much. Oh, you just want you want to just do a bit of everything because you know, I, well you can't help it. It's so lovely to work with. You keep going, don't you? That's like a '60s hairband. I love it. Yeah, well, like these are Mary really Quant. These are all over Pinterest yeah. and um, Instagram at the moment. They're just a plain bands, yeah. Alice bands, They're sitting back. just slightly back from the front hairline, yeah. Yeah. like Scooby Doo hair. Yeah, that's what yeah. I call it. Scooby Doo hair from Scooby Doo. Yeah. Yeah. It is. That is. It's back in. Gemma, yeah. what an amazing... Look at the foiling. If you bought the ant, you can foil. Mm. So you need to get the ant. How many have we got left? Because we we're approaching limited, weren't we? Yeah, have we got any left? Have they sold out? Oh, have they sold out? <gasps> We've only got ten left, so please grab that uh, ant tool quickly. And you get the uh, gold rivets and screws with the, uh, with the hazel. Then, let's inject a little bit of fun. It's all about the pink, and I'll tell you something... The bangle is fabulous. You've got that bow. That bow is amazing. Yeah, the hair bow. And then I've got a little little love wallet here. A love wallet? I know. <laughs> sounds a bit wrong. Uh, yeah. Sounds completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> love letter envelope. <laughs> there you go. A love wallet. There you go. You heard it here first, everyone. It's, it's actually for business cards. <laughs> Gemma, I don't think we're... What's the time? I don't leave that one where it is. <laughs> this one's the most popular so far so Tom Tom said they all want a love wallet uh, here we go 17.95 LGX that's, that's the other website you work for LGX C83 is your item code 17 pounds uh, hey listen you've got to make your money where you make your money uh, Susan you've got yours and you've got yours Maker in Suffolk takes two Fiona Maker in Oxfordshire Maker in London you're going crazy for this one it is fabulous I love that green with the pink, that's my favourite colour combination, green and pink. I love them. I think they look really Nina. Do you remember Nina Rishi had that um, 
perfume and it was a pink bottle with a crown on it and a green no it was a green bottle with pink and, and ever since i've loved that combination and then they discontinued the perfume and i used to love it uh just just looks like a really lovely designer combination doesn't it with that amazing injection of the gold as well the rose gold i think that's fantastic i love that I think it's fab. Which one was your favourite? Did you have a favourite? Oh, I, I, I love. I like the um, jewellery with the black and the gold. I mm. love. I love that jewellery. I know I'll wear that that jewellery. But no, I mean, I did choose all these combinations because I love them all. So yeah, that's why I've made so much. I think because just wanted to make the most of all of them. They look gorgeous. Thank you so much, Gemma Crow. Oh, you're you're a wonderful human being, of course. Uh, now, we are really busy for all of the kits, and I know that you're going to be buzzing for the foil. Uh, we are going to go over to uh, Gemma Crow just now and start off. We have got the foil, though, haven't we? Ought we to give the foil now, or what would you rather me do, Jory? Because I don't want to keep interrupting Gemma Crow. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll get started, and then when, what, when you get to the point where it's so, the foil, then I'll give the foil. Yeah, well, like, okay. I'm probably going to move on to that bit later, so I'm going to put the leather okay, piece great. first, and then we'll come to the foil and the... Um, because there's so many things I could show you today, and um, so what I'm going to aim to do is do a project that shows you all the techniques that sort of span them all, and then I've got all the templates that I've drawn up yeah. um, that we can scan in, and then you can, you can copy them or print them out Brilliant. so you can see how I've made all the pieces with the templates. So hopefully that will be helpful. Um, let me just move these over. So what I've got, what I've got here, so what I've got ready is, you know, can you see the um, leather cuffs that I've got, like the fringing, the tassels? Yeah. So I thought I'd show you that because we're using lots of tools there. We're using those lovely new, um, lovely new, um, well, what have, what have we called them? Tip, no. <laughs> what are you talking the, about? Um, the little posts, the screw posts. Oh, we've called them screwing posts. You have called them screwing <laughs> yeah. posts. There you go. So it shows you how to use those. I the just... screw posts. Yeah, we're calling them screwing posts. Got too much. Sorry, Gemma, it wasn't too very inventive, time. was it? <laughs> So I just got I'm just I've got love pocket stuck in my head. I can't think past that. <laughs> so I've got a piece of um leather here that I've cut. So to make the bangles, if you're gonna make bracelets or um if you wanna make the uh, bookmarks or headbands, you'll want to use the diagonal of your of your piece of leather. That's gonna give you the longest strip possible. And you'll also, yeah, and then you can keep going, making shorter and shorter bangles. So you actually get quite a lot out of it in terms of um, headbands and bangles and things if you go diagonally. And you're so using a self-healing mat there, Gemma, sorry to butt in. Yeah. I've and got, are you gonna be using a rotary cutter I'm as well use then? A I would okay. use a rotary cutter, yeah. So if you can see here, I've got the, which way round would it be? So I've got the corner mm -hmm. here, um, and I'm gonna use I'm going to use this sort of slope here as the end of my bracelet. So all I've done is cut, I've marked it, I've cut a straight line with my cutter, which I will be showing you how to use in a minute, um, and just measured it to the length. So I want a seven inch bracelet with a um, section loose at the end that I can then make into tassels, okay? Okay. So I've got that cut and ready, and I'm going to double that round and position it sort of where I want where I want that to be. So if that's a seven, seven inches or seven and a half inches, depending on how big you want it, and then line it up. Um, these are gonna be the tassels, so line it up like that. And then I'm gonna take my hole punch and I'm gonna use just the two um, hole punch for now because this is just to um, help me line up where I need the holes to go. And I'm just gonna punch through. So make sure that you, you're not right on the edge. If you want to, you can mark, but we want to come in a little way from the edge because we don't want to tear it or weaken the um, where we put the clasp. So I'm just going to come in about a centimetre from the edge of the bracelet and in from the end of the, of the leather and then try and do one the same the other side, same um, sort of level with it and just punch through and you've got your two holes marked there, okay? So this side is going to be where I put the posts in. So I'm just going to pop those out. This is where I'm going to screw in those, those little posts. So I'm going to do that now. I've got the silver, silver ones here. So these are so easy and so secure. And I just think they're really, 
really funky. Do you know what I mean? They just look really cool, don't they, and professional. I love these. Everything looks tidy, neat, and yeah. done, and finished, because you've got all of the things that you need. Yeah. So the trick when you're doing anything like this, we're putting in any sort of eyelet or rivet or anything like that, is to make, not make the hole that you're going to push it through um, too big. So okay. ideally, you want it a bit smaller and then um, sort of stretch the leather slightly around that post rather than, um, you know, it being too loose in there. Okay, so push that post in. So I've got the two posts in through those, those holes there. And then you just take the other end, the corresponding end, and twist, twist them on. So tighten them as much as you can with your, just your fingers. And just screw them down. And then if you've got one of those little, this is what you get in the Christmas crackers that are really good, you know, the tiny little um, screwdrivers. Yes, They're yes. really great. I get gutted when I don't get those <laughs> when you don't get those, yes. If you haven't, I've got these um, flat the flat nose pliers here and you can use those it's a positive head it would be a positive head screwdriver and you're just going to tighten that up until that is nice and tight now if you want to make it doubly secure you could pop a little bit of glue onto the post before you screw it down um but you know they're, they're not going to screw end, though that's well they're not going to unscrew easily so phillips head screwdriver yeah so there's my two fasteners for my bracelet now and then at the other end I want the larger hole on my hole punch so I'm going to go for 4.5 have we got the crocodile you need are you sure I think we have look for crocodile and see mm, whether we we've got have. that keep sorry Gemma I'm That's so right. sorry to so a bigger hole this side and same the same this side with a punch um, sorry, I'm just going to, because I've got, and what you'll find is when you punch a larger hole around the smaller one that you've already done, you haven't got as much um, give in there. So there's my two there. Now, these are still not big enough to go over the posts, but what we want, what we'll do to um, make them fit, because we don't want them too big, otherwise it would be loose. So we still want a snug fit. So if I then just go, sort of, here's the hole here. And there's, there's the, um, just use a little craft knife just to make a little slit just below the hole, okay? And what that does is it means, what it means is it will pop over like that. And so it will open up enough to uh, allow it to sit over those posts, but not so much that it becomes loose and can come undone. Okay, so there is our basic bangor structure all done. And then what I want to do is create this tasseled effect. And um, I'm going to cut these into, into strips. But what I'd first like to do before I do that is I'd like to foil. So do you want to bring the foils yes. and I'll heat it's the my tool favorite. up ready? Now, we've got three lots of foil for you. Should we start with the... Am I supposed to have this in with the foil in? Um, Do you know what that is? I don't know. They're all brand new foils. How long are these foils? Oh my gosh, they're really long. I've got loads in here. Uh, so let's start with the gold. We've got rose gold, got, and we've got gemstone colours for you, which is really... Uh, precious precious metal colours. <laughs> Jenny. Uh, so we'll start with the gold for you, and you have got five metres... I don't know why we're giving you the thickness. It's 0.2 millimetres, but it's five. What we should be giving you is length and width. We're not giving you that, so I'm going to grab a ruler and tell you the width. What do you reckon that width is? Can you put it against your um, board, actually? Yeah, I'm sure. Have got a ruler. Um, it is. Yeah, well, what you need is, so it's four metres, it's five metres, but what we actually want is that. They've given us the thickness, which is irrelevant, really. So 19 centimetres. 19 centimetres oh, across. No, 10, 10 centimetres. 10 centimetres across, and then it's five metres. It doesn't matter that it's two millimetres thick, because you get the same result no matter what, anyway. Yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> I sounded well grumpy then, didn't I? It, it matters not. Seven ninety-five for these. You've got five meters of your foil. Now this is hot foiling, uh, Gemma. But can mm. I cold foil with this one as well? Do you know? I, I don't know. If we've got double sticky tape, I can have a look and see. Oh, I think so because I th I know what you mean. If you like use a glue, or well, if you use a glue and you rub it and you take it off, does it come off? Let's try. 
Because if so, you can use double, so you can use red liner tape, put it across, and then take it off, and it goes in a perfect. Gemma will be able to tell us in a second. She's experimenting. Mind you, you've got um, wet glue, haven't you? So it might not, it might take a while to mm, it's dry. Let me tack it. Tack it, yeah. Thin it out, thin it out, Gil. If not, we'll try and find. I think it does because I think I accidentally. Do you know what? Did if it's it. an all-purpose foil. Yeah, it will. That is golden because it means no matter what you've got, you can heat foil this. Sometimes, if you've got a heat tool, you need a specific heat reactive foil. Mm. But what you're saying is this will react to heat and sticky. Yeah, well, it's definitely sticky. Well, there you go. So then that makes it an all purpose foil, which means yeah. that that you've got double the value there. That's so great. So Jenna's well. just spattered Never... some glue on there. But if you had some, have you? Do you know red liner tape? Yeah, the really super strong double sticker tape. Um, I think so. Yeah, I'm I think I've heard of it. I'm going to get you some because literally you put that in lines across anything. Put this across and then peel it away. It goes in perfect lines because it's so strong. Mm. It look, and you can do crisscross with it and stuff. Yeah, it looks no, it really cool. Great. Um, Seven ninety five. I said to Gemma today, Gemma, I'm all in for foiling. I've done a, foil, a craft foiling day. <laughs> I'm really excited for this, but I've never seen the ant tool. No, like, this is the only time I've used foils. So really, this, yeah. So, so I've used foils can, quite a lot, and I've, I've, I've even share, used them. Exciting. So I used them ten years ago when I had a nail bar. It was longer than ten years ago. Yeah. More like twenty years ago. How old am I? Oh my gosh, it was 20 years ago. No, it wasn't. It was longer than that. <laughs> anyway, I used them then for the nail bars, and then I've used them in craft since then. The exact same in silver for you, 7 95 So if you're a card crafter, you'll already know that this is fantastic. If you are into um, nail art crafts, this is fabulous. But you know what? It's really easy to use because you can use this with simple red liner tape, which I wish we sold here because it's so useful, red liner tape. We need it. Um, and it really is uh, something that you can use with the heat tool as well. So this is an all-purpose foil, which usually they are very expensive, and you've got five meters. It goes usually a long you buy way. this. Well, Gemma, normally you buy this by the meter. Yeah. But, so well, that's really or in sheets. Yeah. This is better because it's in a roll, which means it keeps nice and tidy. Yeah. Perfect. It's just brilliant. It's amazing how versatile it is and how far mm. it goes. I mean, yeah. I, have, I don't think I've, it doesn't even look like I've touched mine, does it? No. It's, gone such a long way it, and you can use the tiniest never never throw it away when you've taken it away with it if there's the tiniest flex on it you can still use it it's really it's amazing uh so 7.95 then we've got the rose gold for you and i'm sure you know sorry i've been talking too much and i've just realized that we are in the middle of a master class and i <laughs> apologize because i expect you're chucking your socks at me aren't you or tomatoes at your telly right now. Five metres of metallic copper foil. So that rose gold effect mm. for you. And Jeb is going to be using these and showing us how versatile this foil is. VDF A65. I'm so sorry for the intrusion, Gemma. Please do That's continue. Right. I've um, used those foils all together as well. So I've, you know, put them, I've sort of married them up with the kits, depending on what the base metal um, findings were, the rivets. But also, like in the, the um, this, that piece you're looking at there with the squares on. Yeah. I'll show you how I did that, actually, because that, that's interesting, because that's a byproduct of a different pattern. Oh. Um, and the, the wiggly, the squiggly ones with all the diamond... Uh, triangular shapes yeah that one has got a mix of all the foils in so just gone wild with the with the leftover bits of foil so yeah and i love that effect thank you Gemma. okay so let's turn the ant tool on then so i'll show you that so when um when it when it when you plug it in you've got like this easy disconnect cord because there's no on off button on here so as soon as you put it on it's heating up so as soon as you plug it in, it's heating up, which is why you got this quick release cord. So everything's thought about. Yeah. So you, you have that plugged in, put it in, and you can see it's immediately on setting number one. So try and get that in the right light. Okay, and then you've got this digital screen here where you up the temperature, up and down. It goes all the way up to 10, or no, up to 10. And then you can go back down the scale too. Okay. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it back off because obviously we don't want to be handling this. This is the part that's gonna get hot, okay? Mm. And it's already sort of warming up. So I don't want it to get too hot because then I won't be able to put my tips on. So although you get this lovely um, this tool here, which sort of I'll to show you how to use that to to remove tips when they're still warm. Ideally, when you start off, you want the tip that you're gonna start with in there. So 
the, you do get um, you do get a variety of tips in with your starter pack, but then there's also extra tip packs that you can buy to top up the different things. So you'll get a bit of a taster of everything in that in the in the ant tool uh, when you when you get it. And I find, like with anything, a, you, you know, there'll be a specific tip for a specific job, but actually you can cross over and use that tip for lots of other things. So I found with the foiling, I really loved using these, um, this, these foil tip packs with the, with the different sort of shapes. Because, you know, they're easy, you get definite shapes, and it's just stamping and patterning, which is really nice. Um, and, then, and what you have is this, this section here, so those little tips screw in to the end, and this is the bit that, that we put onto the end of our um, tip here. So those go on there. You can see they're a bit loose. So what you also get are these little shims, they're called. I've taken mine off and lost it somewhere on this table. Um, I don't know, I'll, have to, I'll pinch one out of here. So you get these little shims. I need, I need my pliers. <laughs> Hold on. I did have one out somewhere, but it seems to have disappeared on what me. What do you need, sweetie? So it's a little, it's a little shim. It's called a shim, and it's basically here. a sheet it's of in here. little rolled up sheet of metal. I'd probably pull this one out now, Jen. So there you oh, go. it's inside there, is yeah. it? Yeah. Huh. So you can see this little this little rolled up piece of metal. It looks really insignificant, but you will need that because what that does is allow this to sit snugly mm. onto the actual heated element there, okay, okay and transfer the heat through. Um, and you think, well, why don't they make them so that they just fit on snugly? But then it would be difficult to change them in when the temperature's between hot and cold. So obviously metal expands and... Um, and relaxes. relaxes or retracts as as it heats and cools and so having a one size fits all is not going to work so you need the shim so what you do is you pop the shim onto the heat element there and then you push the whole thing onto onto that and then this one it's got a screw cap so you can remove the whole thing each time and just have another screw cap ready to go and if when you get multiple packs or extra um, additional packs you might have lots ready to go and you can just replace the whole top but if you want to you can just screw on and screw off the next tip right I'm just going to pop in the circle um, oh no I'll go for the square pop in the square and then I'm going to turn the temperature um, on it heats up fairly quickly and the other great the other thing that's a good idea to have is a sample piece of leather or like a little off little off cut and a um, some foil ready to, to test before you sort of commit to your piece. Okay, so you can have a little practice. And when you practice, try and practice on the same material that you're going to use because every material reacts slightly differently and you can, you know, you'll have, you'll find slight differences and you might vary the heat up or down slightly. So I've got this little stand that I'm sanding it on so that it doesn't roll off and... Um, damage my work surface and you might want to um, use like a heat proof mat or something like that on if you're working on sort of a surface you want to protect. Um, so you could use the um, Teflon sheets Teflon that we have. Sheets, I think we've got those ideal. somewhere. We've Teflon got those sheets, Teflon yeah. sheets. We'll have a look for you. Okay and then I've turned, I don't know if you can see the number here, but for foiling you want about a number three on your ant tool. So we want to hot it up to about a number three. And then I'm going to get my... Um, well, that's warming up, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So for the pattern that I wanted to create, I wanted to create quite a modern um, modern look. It's a very Rihanna-style piece, this, I think. It's, it's modern, it's a bit, um, bit, quirky. bit edgy, um, lots of straight lines and things like that. So I'm going, to, I'm going to cut, with my roller cutter, just lots of strips of my foil. I'm not being too careful about how wide they are, just a random um, set of strips like that. I'm going to set those aside for the next, for a minute. So they're just off to the side. And then I'm just going to cut a piece. Rather than work from the, from the, um, from the roll, I'm just going to cut a piece off so it's easier. And then I'm going to lay it diagonally across. Now it's shiny side up. 
okay? Shiny side up, and I'm gonna lay it diagonally across my, um, my bangle, my bracelet end there, because I just want a sort of a stripe of the leather. Now remember what I said about having a test piece first, so I've got my little test piece here, and I've got my leather there. I'm just going to, um, in fact, I'm gonna use a different piece because that one's got a bit of glue on now. So I'm just gonna test, so I'm just gonna press down, and I think, I'm not sure that's quite hot enough yet. No, not quite yet. So just wait. And you don't wanna push, wait too long, and hold it too long. So what you want is the result to be quite instant. Um, if you, it's, it's one of those things, you need to take some time to practice and get your pressures right, and the length of time you put your um, tool onto, onto the foil to really get used to it. So can you see that square, how it's, can you see how it's really pushed down? You can see that it's sort of stuck to the surface, yeah. can't you? And you will see um, when this is, when this is taken um, well. Oh look, I actually wasn't, wasn't fully on. So there you go. So now we're ready. Can you see that, that, how that is fully. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Fully embossed on there I love now. it. Yeah. Now the mat that you're using is a self-healing cutting mat, Gemma, and it's on your screen just now. A Y Z X eighty five. It's only four pounds and ninety five pence. Yeah, brilliant. That's a yeah. brilliant price. Now that will work yeah. if you're quilting. It's a self-healing mat, yeah. which means if you're using your rotary cutter, which I'm trying to get on screen. I'm doing this, trying to get all the things. Gem <laughs> watching Gemma using things, trying to get them on our screen. The self-healing mat is on your screen just now. And the great thing about that, Gemma, is you can measure with it. You can yeah. do your angles with it. It's, it's yeah. something that you absolutely have to have yeah. if you are any kind of crafter. It and saves it's on a lot screen. of time, yeah. It, it really saves does. a lot of time getting, you know, measuring and cutting along lines and things like that. Um, and also protection. You can see mine's well used. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you wouldn't be without it, would you? No. Um, right, okay, so I'm ready to foil now the end of my bracelet. And I'm, I'm actually doing... Um, the whole thing so usually you just write with it or make shapes but I'm actually doing this whole section because I want when I cut my tassels I want that section to be just gold so can you see what I'm doing here is I'm just sort of moving my um, heat element this square along and you can sort of see when the foil is sort of stuck you can see that's that's where it's taken okay so I'm just moving this all the way along, almost stamping. Um, if, you if you leave the heat tool too long, it prevents it from sticking. So you've got to get that balance, that balance right. And, but the nice thing is, is you can, you see I'm almost ironing now, just making sure that I've touched every area. You can also just lift lift a section and see if, you, if it's taken yet. And if you, you can see it hasn't, you can just go back in and press down. I love that. Now your rotary cutter, Gemma Crow, oh, is on your screen just now. It's a beadsmith rotary cutter. It's a 45 millimeter uh, and it's coming onto your screen just now. Rotary cutter for cutting leather is an absolute must. It's much easier to cut your leather with a rotary cutter and you'll oh. get that perfect angle and you can curve with it as well it's got a hand guard on it it's 14 pounds and 95 pence it's, it's great for cutting anything i did a project the other day online and it was cutting a t-shirt up and i just used it oh to it's cut easy to easy with yeah, fabric, fabrics paper um i'm always using mine Okay. If you use it against paper, you've got to use it against a metal ruler, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Never a plastic one. Oh. Never use plastic rulers with your rotor yeah. cutters. Always use a metal rule against it. Okay, so um, it might take a little little while to get that fully um, fully leathered, but actually, um, and some of the leathers takes the, takes it better than others. And you, this with this black one because it's got the, this sort of sheeny finish. Sometimes you get this sort of dappled aged look, which I really love. So I love so that. That's that. You can see, you know, where the foil is taken and where it hasn't. But what what I love about that is 
this texture you can then use again somewhere else. So if I then put that on something else and exactly. foil that, exactly, it's it's not wasteful that texture at all. Yeah, could be used somewhere else. But that's so. where glues and things are great for that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so you're, what end are you using? The square end. I'm just the using the square end. And is that an moment. additional end, or is it one that came with yours? I think this comes an additional. In the, yeah, that's yeah, foil, the extra foil kit. tip pack. This I've one. got that here. Excellent. So, and you might be thinking, where's she getting that from? It's OJFA96. This is, works uh, with your ant. So if you bought your ant, I, I mean, I've not used the ant, but I'm just guessing Gemma Crow is going to say that this is a great addition because you've got a star mm. in here. I'm going to open these up, actually. Love I'm so pack. sorry to... Listen, we'll get to the end of it. We'll go over without the break if we have to. I promise you, I, I, I won't let you go without any of your... OK, well, I'll make Gemma stay. She won't mind. <laughs> Will you or will you? Do you hate me? Well, I can talk about it again at three. Yeah, Exa exactly, in, we'll come so. back to it at three. You've got a star, an oval, a heart, a round, a square, and lots of and writing tips in there as well. Uh, yep. Oh, gosh, loads of you are going for that. You get ten different ends. I'm going to try and open it whilst Gemma continues on. Okay. Sorry, I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, right, okay, so you can see, you know, those strips I cut up earlier. Um, then I'm laying them across, sort of randomly <gasps> letting them zigzag across oh. my bracelet. Um, and, and I'm just going to um, start to foil them into place. So I'm going to oh just gosh. press where they cross over. And that'll that stop looks them, great already. That'll stop them blowing around. I just, I just thought that this was a really sort of ultra modern sort of mm. very designer look it is it looks fantastic i can imagine you're our katie. so good with textiles i can imagine our katie wearing this actually she might she have to loves take mixed this for media home. katie yeah. Reed. she's great at it well you're a brilliant mixed media yeah. artist you're wonderful we keep talking about wanting to do a project together so maybe we should just get on that do you know what can we not do a mixed media show absolutely it would just be wonderful yeah what do you reckon jewelry makers text in if you want mixed media shows from Gemma and Katie I don't know if together. Katie can hear Those us in two the doing a collab would be awesome. I'd love to. I would love to. Okay, so um, you can see I'm just pressing down all of these areas again. And um, if I want a really solid, if I want a really solid um, gold line and I want it to look exactly like that, then I would just keep picking it up and, and seeing how close to that I am but it looks like I'm I'm pretty close to that so if I start peeling these off now this is the exciting bit start peeling these away you can um oh, it's just it's so gorgeous look at that look. I love that but, that's really Lady Gaga yeah and I mean imagine that on your shoes I mean, you can do this on your leather shoes on your boots you know really make it stylish and that'll stay on there I don't need to mod yeah. podge it or anything no no that, that's on that's that's on there. It's not going anywhere. I love it. It's lush, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. That make the most amazing belt and home decor as well. Now yeah. we're having questions before you move okay. on to the next yeah, bit about no vegan leather. We've got yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six. This will go through a die cutting machine, but only with basic shapes. They're thick. They are. You've got a crocodile um, faux leather. It's a it's a vegan leather that we've got for you. Mm -hmm. And look, that's textured. Can you see? So it actually feels real. It feels amazing. Then we've got the embossed fla um, flora. That's lovely, that one. And it's all fabric back, so it is, it's not paper back. It's all fabric back, so it's going to work in the same way, but this is mm -hmm. a vegan alternative. Can you use can you use heat tools on... If um, not, you can definitely cold foil onto them. Yeah, and you, you could probably... With the, um, with the more fabric-y feeling ones... Mm -hmm. and you, they're you all can fabric backed. You can definitely use like that, the flocked embossed one. Definitely yeah. you can foil onto that. I've done okay. that. Um, but with the, with the more coated PU sort of coated, which ones, is the, these two here you and might, this one here, yeah. You, you might have to experiment a little bit with what temperature you can go to, and if yeah. it's if it's not if it won't cope with a number three temperature, then you won't be able to hot foil onto it. Okay, but you can cold foil onto you it. Cold foil, so, yeah. And the great thing about our foils is that they are both hot and cold. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. So that's just a bit of glue or a bit of um, red liner tape. Now, we've also got... Now, Gemma, when you're yep. using that magical pick, let us know because we're going to put it on air. Okay. Um, yeah. So please continue. I'm so okay. sorry to have interrupted All you right. again. I've got... No, that's okay. I've got... Um, there's so much to bring, isn't there, to make <laughs> yeah. all these things. So um, what... You can see where my holes are in my bangle there. That's... So I'm going to cut tassels now on the end, but I don't want to cut or accidentally cut into anywhere near where my fastening is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a, um, a metal rule just over the top 
where I do not want to cut past that line, okay? So I'm going to hold that in place there. And then I'm going to take my um, take my roller, my rolling cutter, and if we've got this, it, I don't we know if we've got, got this. this we've got the rotary cutter. It was yeah. on screen about five minutes ago. We'll pop it back on. So this is brilliant because it, it's so super sharp. You've got to be, you know, be careful with it, but that's why it's great that you've got this guard. Mm -hmm. So you can't, and, and then you've got a trigger here, and that will not drop down until you press that button. And then you release the button and release the the trigger at the same time so it's so safe. really safe yeah um and then you know you roll and like you were saying earlier if you're cutting straight lines always do it against a metal rule because it would just slice blunt, into a yeah. into a plastic one and then we're going to start cutting our tassels now i'm not going to measure the width i'm just going to be um quite um sort of free with it i just want really nice thin thin strips and because because the roller is so super straight to cut, it's so easy to cut your tassels with um, with the cutter because, you know, it's it's when you go sort of offline that you find that you, um, you know, that your, your cuts aren't straight. Mm. But with the with the roller cutter, because because the wheel is so straight, it's really easy and quick to cut nice fine tassely strips and it is easy it's so much easier than putting it into a um like a v-blade or something like that yeah and you know what you hardly need any pressure to go through it's amazing do you know i avoided this tool for for a long Did time you? yeah and i you know and i Why? dismissed it because i thought well wow, it's because you, know, you thought it was a sewer's tool yeah and i and i just i thought well wow, it's not gonna it's not gonna work with leather leather's oh, too it tough does. it's brilliant that. it's the mo it's the most because amazing if you tool. think about it gem if you can cut oil cloth with that that's tough th tougher than leather because of all the coatings on yeah. it you know like what they make cath kids and bags yeah. out of the oil cloth it's amazing that'll cut that like a like butter yeah right so there is the um tassel on the end so nice fine tassels with I a bit of a that. gold shimmer on and then basically you turn it over, turn That's it beautiful. round, do it up, and you've got like this really cool, chic um, sort of bangle. And you can do these, this could be a bookmark as much as it could be a bangle. I it could love double up that. even. That um, is so cool. Yeah. That and is then, so rock chick, isn't it? It is very rock chick, yeah. So I did it in two colourways because I thought, I know I'm going to wear these. So, and obviously, <laughs> as, as leather ages, it's, it's going to get softer. Yeah. And these tassels have become more drapey. Which I love. Which, you know, is gonna, it's going to look nicer with age, I think. This, Definitely. This, this bracelet. You know, really, really, you know, sort of comb it through and get it falling and draping. But imagine that on a boot as well, like, you know, around a boot or something. So, I love it. You know, they're, they're lovely, easy to make. You saw how quick that was. We literally did that together during this sort of half an hour. So would you like me to show you how to gem fix with yes, it? Yes, please, because that means you're okay. going to use the magic tip. And I know, and you know, that all we can hear is nearly the eighth in our ears going, we've got to get the magic tip, magic tip, magic tip, magic tip, can you, magic tip. Can you remind me on the sheet that's in the box what number, what level or temperature I need to have? Slap gem to blah, 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 setting for the gems. Foiling hot fix gems number seven. The seven, thank you. Yeah, and do you want to know the tip or are you grand? No, that's fine. I can, I've got a tip pack here. I think we've Brilliant. got a gem tip pack. Oh, yes, we have we? got a gem tip pack, yes. Which is DBFA07. Is that the gem? Yes, it is. A gem tip pack is coming your way. And you get how many in here? Here it is. What's on the... Oh, don't worry about the map. We'll bring that back. So here's the gem setting tools for your ant... Um, ant wand, I'm going to call it. It's the ant accessory gem tip pack. You get six different tips on here. Gem is going to show us how to use these. DBF A07795 is your price. Sorry, Gem. Right. That's okay. So basically you get... Um, if you've ever done any hot fixing before, it's, you know... It's, you get different different tips for different gems. So you've got, you know, if you've got your really big deep gems, you need um, a lot more heat transfer through them to melt that glue at the back. So you want your bigger tips. Yeah. And what these are lovely is they've Brilliant. got that sort of um, that shape 
that sort of sits around rather than sort of sits on top of the gem. So These aren't you, tools. They've, they've thought of everything. They have thought of everything. And then you've got your bigger, flatter um, gem set tools for your bigger, flatter gems. Brilliant. So you've, got, you've got something in, in, you know, for every every sort of size and shape, even the really, really tiny ones. And you also get your extra shim, which is inside that, that um, sort of shank of the this tool and you get another screw tip um accessory so you know you can screw these on and off as well okay so then i've got some gems here um which um which actually came in my samples for this i don't know if they come in the samples you, say again what are you looking do, have you got the gems mixed gems there or the mixed gems did they come in this box or they didn't come in this box no but okay. i bet um, these were part of the samples that were sent to me. So, okay. Um, anyway, any hot fix gems that you've got, these They're will on work the website. with. Yeah. So I just pop a gem wherever I want it. I don't know if this has been heating up long enough, but we'll have a go. So you've got a gem wherever I want it. I've got sort of the size that correlates the best or the closest to the gemstone. Um, it's set on a number six. So I'll just pop it over the top. And because of that shaped sort of um, end to the tool... It's, Ooh, it it's goes sort of beautiful. Sits. Can you show us how to pick it up with that pick tool I gave you, Gemma? Yes. Is, oh, is yeah, that okay? I forgot I had that. Yeah. See, this is what I find. Turning over the gemstone yeah, to see what colour. So I suppose the... Oh, look at that. It so picks simple. it straight up, but you can pick it up from the top. Top. So that it's the, actually... Yeah. Or the bottom. And then you yeah. twist it to get rid of it. Look at that. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. And that, you'll see, what you'll see is you'll see a little halo of glue come around the edge of the gemstone. You'll know it's done. It's almost shimmers. And you know it's there. And then Perfect. that's... Hot set into set. there. Gemma wow. Crow, thank you so much. You're back in an hour. Yeah. You can go and have a little breather. Yeah. Then I'll see you in an hour. Okay. We've okay. got Katie Reid coming up next. And they are the absolute... Uh, sisters of mixed media, these two, mixed media queens. Uh, yeah. So hopefully we're going to have a collab. I'm so sorry that I had to keep interrupting, but we had so many treats to bring to you. Now, anything that's left in this hour will be on the website. Uh, so click on Watch a Slide. And then underneath the screen that shows me going blah, 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 are all the products. And, and anything we've got left is there, uh, unless it says sold out next to it. The Angelite, we've got one left of. If you want it, you're going to have to be very, very quick. The tip remover tool is on your screen. You know the little grabby grabby? If you want one of those, maybe you've lost yours. Uh, £4.95 pence, PXAF A95. Please do not go anywhere. A huge thank you to Gemma Crow. If you've got any questions for her, pop them through to us. We'll save them up because Gemma will be back in one hour's time. How long have I got? Oh, we've still got leisurely 35. We had to add on. We, had, cause I was good. We, we added the product on. So please do go ahead and have a look. Now, all of the earring finders, I think, have sold out and gone. We've got the most beautiful angel out there. I think, was it one or two left? We Literally a few left of those, but they're all allocated. Uh, so for anything that uh, that you want to ask Gemma, pop it over now, and I will will ask her when she comes back in an hour's time katie reed lights up your screen with her craziness her gorgeous craziness in just a moment's time don't you go anywhere because i'll miss you if you do <laughs> Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Without doubt, the Caribbean is a place of warm sand and cool drinks. But it is also a place of mystery and history. From the shores of Havana to the beaches of Puerto Rico and the mountain ranges of Hispaniola. It is in these epic mountain ranges of Hispaniola, at one specific location, that Larimar is found. It is only at this hidden location, inside of a dead volcano, that Larimar is mined. This remote community of miners spends most of their days inside the mines, driving deep, precarious shafts into the dead volcano, often hundreds of meters.
Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. I haven't gone anywhere, I'm just still sat here. Now, we have got for you a fantastic hour. Katie Reed's joining us. She's just setting up because we have to uh, do a little uh, switcheroo. Now, Tom Neary, where are you? you in my ear? Well, let me show you what we've got coming up today. Look at this. Now, we have got some split pay items that we're going to spread it. Wait a minute. Look at this. They're coming up. Hang on a minute. These are coming up. That's petal. Look at this. Ah. I thought that was emerald. Is emerald appetite? That is beautiful. Do you remember? I remember when we had that before. Now, now where is that? Where is this Santorinite? It's not here. But it is coming, I promise you. It's beautiful. Santorinite will be yours very, very shortly. Now, she is ready. Please welcome to the show our guest designer for this hour, Mixed Media Mermaid, Katie Reed, everybody. Hello. 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 How are you? Oh, your mic's not on, they're saying. Oh. And it's putting it's on literally on your skin, so you're gonna have to move it. Come back to me. <laughs> It's because we had to do such a quick turnaround because we, everything has to be sanitised, you see. Um, so, let me show you. What, what time's the Marla bracelet, Marla necklace kit coming up? Is that with Danny or is that with us? This is the producer's challenge of the day. So, here it is, part of it. Oh, he's challenging you to the... Oh, my gosh, you can see it. That's amazing. Can I wear the Marla necklace, Katie? Oh, you've got no... What's the matter? Oh, no, it's on mute, darling. Top button, top at the, the top. There you go. Can we? We're, we're here in a sec, yes. Um, now, here we go. I think we can now say hello to our guest. Let me show you. Can we just have a look at this Marla necklace? Here we go. Let's have a look at that. And we'll, we'll start shopping. There's three ways that you can shop with us here at Jewelry Maker. You can get yourself on the phone lines 0800 644 Jewelrymaker.com if you want to shop online. But Groove Rider, sing me the quickest way to shop. Tap the up, tap the up. He's, he's really busy. I shouldn't have done that. Now, let's start shopping, shall we, Tom Neary? Let's go. Let's give you... Oh, I love these. So you've got these trapezoids. You wait. You wait to see what I've got in this hour. Look at these trapezoids, and it's called chocolate jasper, and you can see why. These look delicious. I love these because you can make crosses out of them. If you just imagine putting these tip to tip, so you've got a cross out that way, and then this way and that way, but elongate the bottom one, it looks like a crucifix. So I think that could take the place of your tassel. You've got so much scope for design, but these could just simply be 
the lead up to your tassel in your Marla necklaces. MFP001 is your item code for this chocolate Jasper trapezoid strand. Just £10.74. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in my strand. You should have there or thereabouts. £10.74. MFP001. Now, can I do it? Can I? The Emerald Appetite. We'd like to quickly say hello to Katie Reid, who is now all sorted. Hello. hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a kerfuffle, <laughs> girl, isn't it? Uh, Katie, we're going to be catching up with you in just a moment. Yeah. And you're going to be, you've got a challenge. And, and what are you up to over there? What are you, what's going on? Um, well, I'm going to do perhaps a, a couple of bits. I've been given a lot of things to kind of play with throughout the hour or uh, that's coming up throughout the hour. So I thought I would kind of do little bits and pieces i've got two sort of main things to talk about but if there's anything else that you want me to do then we can crack on and you know we're gonna but yeah i've had i've had such fun and i'm i'm really looking forward to this this new sort of concept of kind of playing with the strands that we've got coming up in the show i think it's going to be you know it's a uh, it's going to be a good well, Good I, show. I know, I can't wait. Yeah. I cannot wait. So you didn't get kits, you got challenges. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're going to see, Katie's challenge, the Marla necklace and more in just a second's time. Now, we have got, if you've got any questions for Katie, get them through. Now, we're very limited stock of these. If you are working with any kind of Argentium or your air dry clay, anything like that, your silver clay, these are just literally so beautifully stunning. Now... You're getting not one, but three. And look how beautiful they are. And the greatest thing is that you get three different cuts. You've got a teardrop, an oval, and a round brilliant cut. I think these are striking. They're such a beautiful tone, aren't they? So this is Appetite from Madagascar. But it's so, it's such a strong saturation of colour that we're going to call, we're calling this emerald colour appetite, colour spelt in the American way there, uh, in your appetite. And I would definitely be putting these in rings. I'd perhaps put all three in a really different style ring. And, it, and I think it probably, I think I probably would choose Argentium. And for 12 95 could you give me the details of these? Was it that they were heated or are they naturally this colour? Because they are literally blinding, aren't they? A little bit of heat. That's normal though. A lot of gemstones have a little bit of heat. They're not dyed. They have got that heat, a little bit of colour, a little bit of heat, a little other way around, Jenny, a little bit of heat and a little bit of colour saturation. Those are solid. I just love those. So your producer, our producer's chance. So we're not normally on this hour. We're not normally on this hour. This is normally Rebecca Redican's hour. And I've not done the producer challenge before. Katie knows what she's doing. So <laughs> <laughs> Katie's like, I don't know. Um, you know what you're doing. Yes, you do. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I love your poppy, by the way. Oh, did thank you. Make you. That? Yeah, I did. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's talk Marla because we know that Marla necklaces are in. Is that a ruby? Is that a ruby in this box? I think so, yeah. Can you put my specs up, please? Look at this. Is that a ruby? What is this gemstone? Is it, it a ruby? It is a ruby, yes. Oh, my. That is, wait there, eight carats. In a, no, that's not it. That's not, that's not six by six. That's a 12. There's 10 carats in that ruby. Unreal. <laughs> look, 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 look. More ruby, more ruby. By the way, I've just had the bougiest tray presented to me you wait till I show you that <laughs> this was supposed to be in the new age crystal <laughs> healing show I'm dying for a show with Alex and Minora man they won't put us together but I'm so passionate about crystal <laughs> healing and they're like no it'll be the most unappropriate show ever and I'm like please I promise I'll be I'll behave but look at this look at the ruby and, and by the way I'm not even scratching the surface you've got that wonderful tassel in there but look 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 You've got, oh my gosh, I've, I'm going to buy this. How much, is, I've got to have it. I'm so sorry that I'm being slow. But look, look, you're getting the, you get the box that this goes in. You get beautiful citrine, amazing carnelian. I bet you were as chuffed as a kitten with a bowl of milk when you got this, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I wanted to have a look and see if you could do anything different, but I actually did want to just kind of stick with what the box Marla, was telling Marla, me to Marla. do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it's a fantastic kind of, of way of um, creating your mala as well. So, and there's the correct amount of beads and things like that in here as well. I think it's 108 that you need to create your, wow. your mala. So, 
Yeah, you get the cord the, as well. Yes, you get the cord as well, yeah. MFG P82 is your item code. Now, the, listen, this this has been on once before and, and a mm. huge amount flew out. $24.95. I can't believe this. A strand of tiger's eye. You get your thread. One, two, three, four, five big, beautiful rubies. I have never seen a ruby bead like this in all my life. And I am obsessed. Carnelian. You've got citrine there. You've got, this is, a, and you get the box. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh. So it is autumn colours all in one as well. You know, if, if you, the, the Marla thing isn't, you know, isn't your thing, it's boho style jewellery if you want to create it like that. And then you can create kind of uh, layered up looks with it as well. So really think outside the box. Don't just think it's like one thing to do. So is Marla about meditation? Yes. Um, so it's not about religion, is it? Because it's based on... It's each it's bead based on is a, a mantra. Yeah, so which each, is like a rosary where each bead is a yes, prayer. Yeah, yeah. so you could, at each bead you, you can kind of then pop your mantra to that bead. So that's why um, the... Uh, oh, I can't remember who it is now. that It's completely gone. But um, they uh, do like 108. So that's why there's 108 beads. So And then they do like the, the chanting and things like that. But it's each... Each for a mantra, so yeah. I try to meditate and I'm so bad at it. I really try. I really try, <laughs> making, but my mind won't stop. Making the jewellery, actually, doing the pearl Agreed. knotting and things like that actually puts you into that kind of mm. zen sort of, you know, it's very much like if you're doing something like Zen Tangle or something like that. You Obsessed know. with Zen. You're yeah. being, uh, so I, was trying to obs yeah. I was trying to explain something. It's fantastic. The other day and they're like, What's that? What it, is that? It oh. clears your mind of yes. everything and you're concentrating on that one thing. And it just Don't you think puts you in a different angle into, and I thought with the of leather way work, of doing it, or shrink plastic, shrink plastic, or resin, zen yeah. tangle pattern, resin over the top, obsessed yeah. weaving with zen tangle, even with weaving. weaving, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wants zen tangle? <laughs> Send us in a message. Yes. We need to do it. <laughs> Me and you, buyer's office. Yeah. Now you're <laughs> going to give us a demonstration on this, but before you do, we're going to bring you some wildfire as well. Um, uh, and it's in frost, uh, so the wildfire uh, in frost, and then we're going to you're going to give us a demonstration on this, are you? Well, I'm going to uh, sort of do a, a, a mini demonstration with the mala, and then I'm going to kind of draw through what I've done with the uh, seed beads and the ring using the fire, the the Brilliant. wildfire. Fire. So let me show everybody. I can. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, Katie. You're wonderful. You know, um, just so you know, Carol Roche. We were on the phone the other day and she said, do you know who's amazing? And I said, who? She said, Katie Reid. I said, she is, you're right. <laughs> and sometimes you just need to hear when people are talking about you nicely behind your oh, back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about you behind your back, oh, but that's nicely. Right. But yeah. it was nice. Uh, look at this, because we're only nice, of course. So that, uh, you use this with the wildfire. Uh, there we go. Seven ninety five for your white wildfire. Thermally bonded and always something that is... Uh, swept up by you very very quickly so now we're going to go over to your demonstration my darling angel and you're going to show us how you completed that marla necklace whilst i try it on okay right then so um i was given just the actual uh, kit there to create the marla brace uh, marla necklace so i haven't actually used all the beads so i've got some of the beads here and i've actually got um just a different bit of thread here just so then we can see what we're doing but it's exactly the same principle so I'm literally just going to show you how to create your knot so if you've been having a little bit of trouble with pearl knotting or if you want to kind of create this Marla style necklace then um, this is kind of the the basics as to how we can get that together now obviously we get the tassel in there so you don't even have to make the tassel so that's one thing done and dusted and out of the way and what I did was I literally just pop that on uh, with a um, lark's head knot and just pop that on and then I worked from the left and then from the right with my beads so that's all you have to do um, and then with the um, ruby bead the big ruby bead I literally just put both threads through that so then it was sitting on top of our um, of our tassel so then we're now going to get to the knotting so some people there are various kind of uh, techniques on how to 
do this but this is the way that I find easiest so it might help you out if not then you can have a look there's uh, lots of tutorials and things on our website and um, also on YouTube on our YouTube as well so if you pop in pearl knotting or something like that if you if you don't find this way helpful but this is the way I find quite easy so I'm going to take some of our um, cord that we've got here now um, it's I'm just trying to think how many inches. It's 110 inches. I have to close my eyes. I don't know what to think. Um, it's 110 inches for a Marla bracelet, uh, Marla necklace. So I usually take probably about 10 inches more than that. Just and there's plenty left on on the reel as well. So I'm just going to take a, a small little handful of this cord here. And this is just our normal cord that we use for. Um, for our macrame or kumihimo or anything like that so this is just some of the cord I just thought it would um, kind of show up a little bit better so as you can see here we've got our cord and I'm going to leave probably about a three inch tail just on the end there and then I'm just going to create a knot but with my knot I'm going to pop round one two three times Okay, so we've got three, so it's basically like a surgeon's knot, but we're going to go straight ahead and do that. And then that's going to sit really nicely and create a really nice knot there. So if I just pop my finger there, you'll be able to see that that's a really nice sturdy style knot. Now we're going to get take one of our citrines and just thread that on through our cord. Now as you can see that's now sitting really nicely up against the cord and the glow on the citrine is incredible as you can see right there. Now I have got, I've got this uh, tool here, now this is, you could call it a pokey tool, you could call it your awl, you know it's it's actually we've got um, we've got some of these and um, we've got this the awl. This is perfect for if you do paper craft, if you do uh, jewellery making or anything like that, let's say if you're doing paper craft or something like that and you need to take out um, die, um, bits of paper from the die and things like that, that, this is what I use. So this is actually a really good all-rounder. So all you can... <laughs> I like what you did there. So we've got this. And uh, if you haven't got this, you could use a crochet hook or something that's, that's kind of nice and thin. So we can just pop that in a knitting needle or anything like that. But... Now what we're going to do, now we've already threaded on our bead, I'm going to literally pop another knot and we're going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to do one, two and three. But before we close the knot, let's bring that back through there, we're going to introduce that all and pop that up through the loop that we've created inside there. Now then, with this, you're probably thinking, well, Katie, that's quite a long way away from the bead. You're not going to get that sitting right up against the bead. Now, the reason we're going to use this all and with the knot is it means that the knot can move up and down the cord. So as you can see here, I'm just literally going to pull on here and that is going to bring the knot towards our gemstone. So if I just bring that in and that's just going to bring that all the way up to there so I don't know if you want to just have a look on camera two there that's now taken that knot all the way up towards our gemstone like so so if you want to just give that a little bit of a push down to there and then what we're going to do is just lift that back up and literally just take that off the awl and then we've got our first knot so then I'm going to pop on another citrine and then just pull that down like so so what I usually do is just pull it down just to kind of um, introduce that to the knot on the end now if if you're tuning in later on as well I do actually have a pearl kit with some silk in as well so this is going to be a really good demonstration for that as well so I'm just going to pop that round one two and three like so and then we'll pop that back up into there and then bring that round I mean you don't have to go around three times you can go around twice if you wanted to I just like the look of the three it kind of looks a little bit like a seed bead in between so now we're just going to pop that back on and I'll just slip that off the awl and then we've got our knot again so then you're going to do that until you've got something 
that looks that's so cute very similar to this now this way you could either do a bracelet and then macrame the edges so you've got something a little bit different but i do like the way that the knots kind of sit there and they do look a little bit like um seed beads so you could do that and then just to finish off if i just pop on one more bead and then i can show you how i kind of finished off the the necklace like so so i'll just pop that one onto the larger ones that we've done and then i'm literally just going to bring this round and then i'm just going to do the knot again and just imagine that we've got our necklace all done what and a glow you're getting from that situation. i know that it's just absolutely incredible isn't it gorgeous and then bring that round once and i'm only going to do this twice this time because we've already got the knot from the very first knot there Bring that all together and bring that round and then because it's a, a nap, uh, it's a synthetic fibre as well you can actually cut these and then if you've got a flame, a naked flame or something like that or even your uh, bead zapper you can then do them up together. So that is literally how you would finish off, just imagine you've got your tassel just there and that's how you would finish off your, um, your Marla necklace. So that's just a, a nice little kind of way of using the all. If you haven't got any of our other um, tools, because we do have pearl knotting tools and things like that, we also have the knotty do-it-all um, tool that we've had Great on and, is, yeah. and that kind of measures it out as well so if you wanted to just do something with a, an inch of cord in between to sort of make the cord a feature instead of a function then you could use that as well Thank so you. um but yeah so I'll, I'll show you the next thing in a bit well we're gonna come now to these incredible hand carved leaves you've had quite a lot of challenges uh katie today <laughs> now these are brand new and they are top drilled and we're delighted to be bringing the feathers or leaves you decide for your next star buy. just went off on one somebody slammed the door joey gated they muted me sorry i was just because they i'm so sorry um please let's have a look at katie's wonderful challenge look at katie i love these they're topped now did you see a feather or did you see a leaf uh, i i i see both actually now you've said feather yeah definitely a feather i, I mean, can't decide whether they're feathers or leaves you see now if you were going to do a dream catcher uh -huh. These would be perfect as feathers 100%. falling down from the dream catcher. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. Yeah, I see. I think you, the great thing about these carvings is, I think they've done it on purpose, mm. so that it could be a leaf. And now, if you're on Instagram at the moment, you'll see that bubble technique of the grapes coming down with the two leaves in all different colours is everywhere. You could create that with this. But these could be... See, I thought they were feathers looking at your earrings, thinking those were feather earrings. And I was thinking yeah. that sort of boho look. Definitely. If I you, love them. If you paired these with, like, turquoise or something like that, then yeah. you've got that kind of, like, northern a American bit of suede. sort of style. Yeah, yeah. style. Um, but, yeah, now you say that, yeah, a dream catcher, and you could have these as the as the feathers that uh, actually allow the dreams, because the feathers are actually the thing that allow the, the good dreams to to drift down onto you and the web catches the bad, bad ones. ones yeah. yeah so you'd need three of these wouldn't you on a web yeah. well we'd have loads of feathers no, yeah. if we wanted we'd have real feathers <laughs> and gemstone feathers can't you aquacal said me these are top we're calling them leaves but i'm gonna say they're feathers i can't decide I can't decide. You decide, Jerry Makers. They, I mean, they're both, aren't they? But again, like I was saying, Trent, I know that you're very heavily involved with Instagram like I am, Katie. And if you are following hashtag make jewellery, you'd have seen those yeah. amazing designs at the mm. moment. Do follow Katie Reed. She's Poppy K. Reed. Is that right? On yes. Instagram? Yeah. I'm at Ginevra, at J-E-N-E-V-R-O, and we are at Jewelry Maker UK. At 9.95 for two. It's, do you know, you've got to grab them. They are yeah. hand carved here we go always love katie's pieces she's 
fab, and that's by oh, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> she is fab. Thank you. Uh, more mixed media from Katie. What do you reckon? We should demand it. Is any? I tell you what, Carol's probably already demanded it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Joey, you've got yours. Linda, Candy takes two. Kathleen, Sally, Maker in Suffolk, Dell in Yorkshire. Uh, I've got Nicolette, Maker in Wiltshire. There's loads of you going bing, bing, bing on my screen. So let's have another look at those gorgeous earrings. Big drill hole on these as well. Yes, they are, definitely. Um, I have actually had these in a previous kit, and I had my house upside down tried to look for the necklace that I'd made. And I'd actually made like a wirework rose and used these <gasps> as the, flower, uh, the leaves gorgeous. behind. It was a, a silver. I'll have a look. And I'll pop it up on my Facebook page, Thank definitely, you. because, um, yeah, I absolutely love these. And that when I had that kit, I had the wire with it as well. And they, they, they lend themselves to just being very simple or, um, you know, being introduced into, into quite a heavy wire work piece mm. as well. So, yeah, they're really, really versatile. If you've and got any silicone, oh, sorry. That's okay. right. If you've got silicone, make an impression with those. Yes. You, over there, yeah. Now we've got silicone as part of our big giveaway prize. Have Ooh. you seen all of the stuff? <laughs> yeah. I did put that in. I don't care. I went in there. They said, take what you want. So I was like, don't ever say, do you know what, what it was like? To Jenny, cause she'd be like, do you know what it was like? Supermarket sweep. Yeah. That, I felt like I was doing supermarket oh, sweep for you. you. I was like, yeah. get it in. They were like, calm down. I was like, never. <laughs> now, can I give you a heads up? Can I just show everyone the sun? Please. I've got to look at this. You're going to, oh, you could die from it. Look at this. Wait there, wait there, let me get it out, let me get it out. I'm so sorry, I know that you want me to get on with things, but I can't, look, it's staring me in the face. Right, I want you to look Look at this. Santorini blue on split pay. Santorinite, <gasps> blue spinel Santorinite. Now this is absolutely heavenly. Look at that gemstone, look at that color, I need it in my life. How beautiful is this from Burma and we all know about things from Burma look Gorgeous. at that color look 2.150 carat 2.15 carats you need this in your life don't you oh my gosh I'm on split pay look at that color hello cover me in gold and ask me to marry you uh, and the answer would be yes with this look at that it is gorgeous we've also got meteorite um we got we got it all going on actually we've got it all going on coming up soon Moroccan amethyst, you want to see this? Look. Why are you... Look at the cuts. Katie, look at this cut. That oh is unreal. Word. Oh, my oh, gosh, I is, love... Yeah. Rose gold. What do you yeah, reckon? Definitely rose gold. Oh, I need that in a ring. <laughs> How many have we got? Please, can I buy this as well? How many have we got? Oh, we've only got one. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right, I've got it. I've got it. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to have to go fast now because I just spent so long doing that and I apologise massively. Here we go. Gosh, you've been challenged, haven't you, today? We'd like to keep you busy, Katie. <laughs> uh, here we go. We've got Shutter Kite, which we do not have very often at all. Look at the colours of this. They're glorious. Do you see much Shutter Kites? I have never worked with it before, so it was my first time of working with it. And what did you think? Because it, it looks kind it. of, it's a little bit opalina meets azurite malachite. I mean, it's beautiful, it's, yeah, isn't it's, it? It's, it's kind of all of the above. It's, it's a really, really, really versatile gemstone. Again, even in this um, kind of uh, strand that we've got here, it's got like... Christ, um, oh, Christ, a yes, kind of looks no, to yeah, it, right. you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a really, really fascinating gemstone and I'd love to know more about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got moments of, it's got moments of like clarity in there. There's like beautiful, you could wear this with turquoise, you could have this with clear quartz. It just is so versatile. Well, it has got quite, it is a form of chrysocolla actually as Shutterkite. Uh, have a look, I've actually got some clarity in my piece, which is a real rarity. Mm. It's beautiful, isn't it? So you've got um, you've got a lot of myth and legend behind Shutterkite as well. It's a, it's a brotherhood gemstone and a, a gemstone of the, of the missing as well. If you miss someone, you wear this gemstone. I'm going to give you some information on it because there isn't, uh, like you said, a lot of people don't know. Uh, so it's from, it's from the Congo, isn't it, Shutterkite? Where's our saying it's from? It should be from... Oh, OK. It's, uh, see, I thought it was from, always from the... Con OK, so we can get it from the USA. We can get it from the Congo. Uh, this is completely 
and utterly natural which is what I love about this gemstone is that it is completely and utterly natural and you're right to say chrysocolla because it has got elements mm. of chrysocolla within it look at that color isn't it just something else? Um, so this is from the USA. So we, we know turquoise comes from the USA. We know, is it from Arizona? We know we've got these amazing gemstones that come from the USA. And, and this, is, this is another one. It's very, it, it's reminiscent of the lakes, uh, says, uh, says Tom Neary. Look at those. They're gorgeous now. Pips, black onyx. You had these in your challenge. Do you like the way I'm just casually wearing your marlin? I've got it all. I've got too much going on here, haven't I? I've got buttons, poppies, marlins. Just realised I look like never, something the cat More is more up. in my case. More is more. I love it. <laughs> yeah, but look, I've got it all in one area though. Now these are going to be super popular. I want you to think about these surrounding something. The pips are always going to be something you'll want to grab for because they give you the most amazing luster. They never over overbear anything. They are just a wonderful addition. A, and they're a delight to use, Katie, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, here I've literally just simply used them as spacer beads, but uh, with, alongside this necklace with uh, the moonstone that we've got on there as well. But I've also used them with the... Uh, chalcedony earrings that we had earlier on as well with the leaves so i use them alongside there they're great little accents or if you wanted to just kind of simply make a, a, a beautiful bracelet with these as well they're going to add such impact you know so it's, it could be your everyday wear but it's something that's going to be your signature or something that's going to take you from day to evening anyway you know so absolutely fantastic and the pips are by far my favorite cut of gemstone they're, at the they're mark smiths as well yeah he, uh, the bubble technique in earrings, mm. the waterfall cascade looks immense with yeah. these. They're just, they're just amazing. They're like, if we had the um, the circular pearls as well, it would be like a polka dot like style mm. sort of like top, wouldn't it? You know, it's just got that polka dot look to it. Yeah, as well, you know, but they're so. not overbearing. They're the no. perfect size. I love them as well. Mm. I think they are so versatile. Yeah. Really easy to use. Big drill hole, yeah. loads of scope for design. I think if you don't have these, you're really missing out on taking your jewellery to the next level because without these, you haven't got that little full stop. You haven't got that that's, that's uh, right. smaller gemstone that you can actually put loads of them into... You can literally inject loads of them into your jewellery in a waterfall design, a bubble design. Now, I'm going to just grab some earrings that are near me. Please don't fall off my chair. And I didn't, which is quite nice. Now, you could do something like this but with the pips, and I think it would look amazing. I don't know who did these earrings, but they're fabulous. Who did oh, these? Wow. They're fabulous, aren't they? But wouldn't the pips work really well like that? Yes, they certainly would. Who do you think did these? Who do we think did mm. those? They're amazing. Oh, it says underneath, does it? It was Lindy. It was Lindy. They're fabulous. She's brilliant at that. That was Darling Linda. Now, I think they're great. Might steal those, actually. I mean, borrow them. <laughs> borrow them. Now, where is it? Sorry. Where? That? No, that's my emerald. Okay, I will. No, they're not in there. What do they look like? Is it three different? I've got them. I've got them. It's these, yeah? Yeah. I don't know, they went for a little walk. It was me, I uh, <laughs> I put them in an I want stack. I have a little I want box and I put them in there and I forgot that I put them in there. That box doesn't exist, I don't know what you're talking about. It's a star buy anyway. Oh no, it's not. Okay, fine. I need to show you these because they are like diamonds. And I've put them in a row three together because I want them in a ring like that. I love them. Ring and earrings. Yes, yes, yes. 
These are beautiful. They are going to a really fun. Don't you think, Katie, they'd look yeah, amazing like that in your Argentium or set? Yeah. And you could take these to a jeweler. Petalite is such a soft, beautiful gemstone. And actually, think of the word petal. We think of the of a petal. Petal mm. soft, don't we? Delicate. Petalite. What a beautiful gemstone this is. So we're going to give you the most stunning price. And I want you to think about how you're going to put these into, into your jewellery. I want you to think about putting these... I, I, and I tell you the thing about Petalite is whatever, whatever you put next to it, it seems to take the colour really well. So if you put a rose gold, they'll appear kind of pinkish. If you put a gold, you'll, you'll inject a little bit more of a yellow warmth to them. And of course, silver gives them that incredible white freshness. It's beautiful, isn't it? Huge amount of huge amount of um of you coming in for this already and i've just had a message coming in which is hang on a sec it says i have petalite from gems some years ago and they shine like diamonds now that's exactly why i love these because if i was giving you now even one of these as a diamond we'd be asking for about a thousand pounds because i want you to look at the clarity i want you to look at the cut and it's i mean it's got it all hasn't it so if you want a gemstone that's going to give you that sparkle without that price tag, if you want a gemstone that's going to work for you just like a diamond would, we're going to give to you three of these for the price we should be giving you one for. One of these for £20 would be great, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah. It would be, I mean, look at the size of that on its own. That's amazing. You've got 45 carats. All together. So how, what's that each? What's that? No, sorry, you haven't. You've got two and a half carats. My screen is frozen. Six pounds, 65 each. Look at that beautiful Asher cut. I absolutely love that. Now, it's such a, a stylish cut. Started in the 1920s, and now it's put into very modern pieces. It's beautiful. It's elegant. It's stylish. It's about that Great Gatsby 1920s look, that Asher cut, really giving you the graceful cut with and a window into the gemstone for 19.95 we have got for you a super low price can you just work out what it is carat wise each is it 75 points each 83 points each yeah that is that is that's an amazing carat weight each put three together that's what I, I but but do put them in rings and an earring as well these are absolutely stunning at a super low price zuv e 25 1995 for two and a half carats of petalite that soft diamond like look without the diamond price tag and you've got everything you want there now i've got for you some split pay not sapphires we're doing spinels i know they look like do the sapphires do the sapphires i know they look like sapphires they really do you want to see what i've got for you look at the size of this incredible spinel please try not to cry if you miss out on these we don't we've only literally got two of each one have a look at that color this has got to be yours hasn't it absolutely beautiful now they are going to go on split pay if you're wondering what that entails here's carol with mop here at jewelry maker we've got some really exciting news after 10 and a half years we can finally launch split pay the whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from jewelry maker so you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to Split Play Carols, which just gave me a right giggle. What an amazing little VT. Now, we have got for you possibly the most beautiful spinel of all time. This is Santorini Blue and is called Santorinite to replicate that incredible colour. Now, let's think of Santorini, let's think of that incredible Greek blue sea and the white chapels of Santorini. And we're there, we're there, aren't we? Look at this colour. Now, this is a gemstone that is natural in colour, there is no dye. There is no dye to get this gemstone that colour. Now, these will come certified but we've only two of each. They are going to be on split pay. I don't want you to be disappointed, so please make sure you remember a few points. You are gonna get this on split pay. You are going to get an extended money back guarantee that takes you until January now, which is wonderful. I want you to think about perhaps taking the time to really go in and design your own piece of jewelry here. Maybe go and send it off to get it made. I want you to take the time to perhaps think, I wanna get this, and it's gonna be in my collection, and I'm going to get as good as I can possibly get at silver clay, at precious metal clay, or at uh, argentium. Those are such wonderful ways to encase these beautiful gemstones. Now, this in front of you here is a 3.95 carat Santorinite blue, so that's Santorini blue spinel fancy pear or teardrop shape now this is a very limited opportunity for the connoisseur of gemstones for you that wonderful collector for somebody who wants something entirely different but you want something that is so saturated in beautiful natural blues this is not dyed to get that color and that for me is mind-blowing look at this color it's incredible now, at the moment, there are three of you there and there are only two gemstones and we are giving you this on split pay. There will be further opportunities to get this incredible gemstone in your collection. But is it a pendant or is this going straight into a ring? This incredible, almost like a Ceylon sapphire blue, that. And it really is that kind of shockingly beautiful blue. Unbelievable blue. At 149.95 or three easy split pays of 49.98 makes it yours today. QUU P09. That is your opportunity, perhaps of a lifetime. Maybe you've seen something like this before and you've seen it at that price and you've thought, Jenny, I love this, but I haven't got that money today. Now we've only got two and there is somebody with two in a basket just now. It's gone. It's sold out. Now, if you love this gemstone, please be as quick as you can. Now, the next one I'm gonna give you is a 2.51 round brilliant cut. 2.15, you mean, sorry. Or two point, yeah. That round brilliant cut, though, it's classic, yeah. isn't it? It's, that is like engagement ring classic. Yeah. I love Kate Middleton's engagement ring. Actually, that's quite classic of the Royal Family to have an oval with mm. the, I love it. Because yeah. um, Eugene has got the, um, Sapphire, hasn't she? The um, Papradashka. Yes. Yeah. And then Kate's got the Ceylon. Lovely. Bouge <laughs> level. Bougeo metre off the scale. Let me introduce you to this absolute stunner. Now, what an incredible opportunity for you. Of course, it looks to me like a Ceylon sapphire and Spinel has the ability to pull the wool over our eyes and it has done so for many years. Um, and you know, the, the Queen was told that uh, a, um, a ruby that was in the crown jewels, it ended up not being a ruby. It was, it was indeed, a, a, it was a Spinel, a red Spinel. Okay, we're gonna have to go straight to your price. There are five of you there. There is only one of these gemstones and I've got one more for you after this. What an opportunity. It is going to be on split pay. Hold on to your bootstraps because we are going to give you an incredible price of 129.95 or 43.31 yeah. and it's gone and sold out. Well done to you. I'm so envious. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm envious. Okay. No, we weren't supposed to have these. Bruce just went, I thought you weren't supposed to have these. Shush now. Not over talk back. <laughs> Because if we pretend we didn't know we weren't supposed to have them, then it's fine, okay? <laughs> but now you've let the cat out of the bag. Here we go. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Just over two carrots here. Look at that one. I'll show you the difference. So if you missed out on this one, 
That's the difference. It's slight. You can see this one's slightly bigger there. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Look at the colour. Look at this opportunity. Brown, brilliant cut as well. It's got to go in gold for me. Yeah. What about the... Or platinum. Actually, it would look gorgeous in platinum, I think, because, it, you know, you've got that lovely cool tone and it would go beautiful with the cool tone of the, the platinum as well. Just gorgeous. And some beautiful diamonds if you've got any surrounding it as well. That would be mm. very, very We've opulent. got diamonds coming up on Sunday. On split pay. Oh. I know, it's all the bouge, Katie. Don't worry about <laughs> us. You have got that incredible colour, that Santorini blue, the Santorini blue spinel is about to become yours. Just over two carats. P Z U P zero three ninety nine ninety five thirty three thirty one. If you are going to take the split pay option, that is interest free, and all you need to qualify for split pay is a debit card or a credit card registered to a UK address. That's all you need. If if the answer is yes, you have those, you can take advantage of split pay. Gone, and sold out. <laughs> Okay, in the next hour, we are going to continue to be incredibly cheeky and we're going to give to you a Moroccan amateur. Let's do that now then. Now, I'm also going to give you some meteorite. My uh, little nephew, Frankie, we have to call him Frank now. He doesn't want to be called Frankie anymore because he's six, seven now. Oh. So you can't call him Frankie anymore. Okay. Yeah. You know, my name's Frank. I want you to call me Frank now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fine. He wants a meteorite. He is desperate for a meteorite. So I am going to try. How many of these have we got? Oh, so I won't be able to get my nephew Frank this, but maybe you're going to. I can't, I'm not allowed. I have to go the next day on things that we've only got one of. There we go. So you've got meteorite coming up in the next hour. Now we've also got, now this really is very naughty, some Alexandrite. <gasps> Ooh. One of the rarest gemstones in yeah. the world. My Alexandrite. <gasps> you're June baby. Mm -hmm. June the what? 30th. Oh. What do you mean, where's Alexandrite? Right in front of me. What, did you not know it was there? <laughs> Shh. Might have slipped it in. Might have just slipped it in. Well, it's in front of me. So I've got it. What are they going to do? Have a look at this. Is this the nicest amethyst you've ever seen in your yeah. life? It's totally oh. natural. Oh my, oh, I'm wild for this. I need it. Have we only got one of this? Oh, oh my gosh. You it's lucky oh. person, whoever's going to get this. It's, oh. Moroccan amethyst, it's se over seven and a half carats. Asher cuts. This is divine and heavenly. You have to have it. Please, it's so 19 to it. It's gone. How much was it? Who got it? Oh, I wanted that. Oh, it's classic and oh. contemporary all in one. 100%. It? It's got that vintage cut. Yeah. It's so 1920s, mm. but because the 1920s is all, the, all about the lines and the, yeah. it just, it comes across it more. It does, yeah. Ah, oh, I am so, so jealous. What an amazing cut Beautiful. of a gemstone. Well done to that person. That was gorgeous. It really yeah. was. I think we're in trouble, so, actually. actually. thinking on it, I've, I've been watching quite a few of like the, the auction programmes and things like that that you see. And the rose cut, a lot of the vintage cut gemstones are very much coming yeah. back in style. There was there was a time where, you know, the uh, the gemstones, people are oh, well, it's a rose cut diamond. They're not very popular. People oh, love, don't no, want they them anymore. Now. But they're really, really popular. So I love yeah. it. I don't think 1920s should ever go out of style because I think it's probably the most stylish era of mm. our time. I love all of the period drama stuff and I think, yeah. wow. But that was when ladies had an hour to get ready in the mornings. <laughs> yeah. Probably two or three. <laughs> I can't, don't be, I can't have someone trying to dress me in the mornings. <laughs> Ladies in waiting and all, gosh, I tell you what, they were bonkers, weren't they? Let's bring you something amazing in a strand of round beauty. Now, I'm going to just take my marlin necklace off because I want to show you how beautiful are these together. How beautiful are those together? Now, when was the last time you saw... Sapphire rounds like this. When was the last time you saw them? How beautiful is a bracelet made out of pure sapphire mm, rounds? Funny. But maybe you want to put some of those ruby rounds that you bought from the Marla kit in between those. Maybe you want to incorporate this with the... It's beautiful. You don't think they are... Okay, well, we'll talk about it later. 
FJG P49. We're going to see if that Alexandrite might be, might be for later. 1.25 carat. No, that's not right. 125 carats. <laughs> I said 1.2, 125 <laughs> carats of sapphire for 30 pounds of change. Well, that is an Do you know what? I've mixed this with pearls. Something. How vintage Ooh, would it be? Yeah. Pearls, sapphire, round of um, maybe a, a ruby. Yeah. Beautiful. Bougie. Yeah. Bougie on. 29.95. Beautiful. 23 pence okay sorry i realize i'm getting squealy but this really is this really is a super <laughs> super opportunity i love those i love them i'm gonna get them i am and have we got left i love them the emerald color appetite yes that we had earlier yes we've got that in a strand later on yes we have but what about this trio where did they come from this trio here that I had. Oh, we can't. Oh, they sold out. Okay. $29.95. FJG P49 is your item for these beautiful rounds. I love them. Everyone that's mm. bought these bought two so far. Everyone that's checked out. Notting them would be great, wouldn't it? How you just showed us. Yes, Classic. Yeah. yeah. Classic for that. Now, let's keep going. Let's squeeze in some more, shall we? Look at this, emerald coloured appetite. How beautiful is Gosh. that? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is, yeah. Do you know what? Look, look at these two together. Oh, yes, yes. I love that. That is lovely. So, isn't like it? classic together, isn't it? I think rubies with that as well. I've got a ruby obsession at the moment. Can you tell? I love them. <laughs> They're beautiful, aren't they? Now. I've got a box. I was just so we can we can do these. We thought we couldn't do them. He said, "Put them away. Put them away." They sold out. They haven't. We got them. And I want to show you. If again, if you're working with things like Argentium, or if you want to make three pieces of jewelry the same for three people in your lives with a different colour, then this is for you. I'm sorry. Let me just. This looks almost like a Pareva colour. Look at this, look at this. Does this look like Pareba? Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Then look at this. I love yellow. It's one of my favourite... I absolutely adore that. Yellow gemstones make me smile so much. And then you've got your classic appetite in there as well. I think I'd make three separate rings out of these. Or a ring. Ah! Oh! All three of them in one ring. Uh, yeah, a really nice trillion ring. That would yeah. be really, really, really nice. Yeah, but up the other way. Yeah. So they were up this way. I think these are so pretty. They're beautiful. Colours of appetite, fasted cushions. Uh, now you get a pack of three guaranteed. They are £21.95. When was the last time you saw yellow appetite? That canary yellow, it's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, again, if you, if you are working with your Argentum, you could make this into a beautiful pendant as well. Taking on, like we were talking earlier on, the Art Deco sort of look there with it as well. So you could create a really nice kind of Argentium Art Deco sort of uh, fixture for them to sort of sit in and nestle in. It would look stunning. I, I think Art Deco as well. I love Art Deco jewellery. Mm. So beautiful. Yeah, I do. What, why can't we get a style? Who decided it was a good idea to go out in joggers to the shop? <laughs> Shall I listen to what my dog did to me? Not yesterday, but the day before. I was so embarrassed, right? So I got a Labrador Retriever and she is obsessed with sticks. Obsessed. I get her out of the car and somebody from the bank rings me and she, uh, she literally took me out basically with a tree. I'm on the phone, straight into a puddle. So embarrassed. So embarrassed. Took me out from behind by the knees. Katie. Animals do this to you, don't yeah. they? <laughs> let's give you some marquees now. And let's give them to you in a perfect gemstone. So you, this reminds me of, you know those little electric fish that you get? They're not called that. They're like yeah, little I, I know tetras, the tetras, that's yeah. it. Um, that's what this reminds me of. I love oh, these. Wow. How beautiful.
beautiful with these being a waterfall style, cascading from earrings. Yes. But what I was thinking, Katie, and I don't know if you could do this, but you know that wire, like do a wire work peacock feather with these? Yes, yeah, you could definitely have this as a central point of, of the, the eye of the peacock feather if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah, and then you could do like the, the peacock um, kind of feather with uh, your wire work. You could definitely do like the um, herringbone uh, design <gasps> with this as well, with the wire as well. So absolutely stunning. These are just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at these. Seven pounds and 70 pence. So let's think, earrings long with rosary links. Perfect for that. Yep. Now they're really lightweight, these are. So they're easy to put lots of mm. these into a piece of jewelry and for it not to get too heavy. Because sometimes you wanna go really gem heavy and you can't because the gemstones you're using are too heavy. Too heavy, yeah. These aren't. So you can create those statement looks, but like you say, not have the weight with that as well. And the, the actual, um, the, the fantastic thing about these is you've got them on both sides as well. So it's not just a shell on one side. You've got them on both sides as well. So if you wanted to create a 360 style piece of jewellery, then you've got the opportunity to do so here and showcase both sides of the jewellery as well. So if you wanted to pop this into a, um, a hair vine or something like that, if you're yeah. you know, planning a wedding, um, for the future on a beach or something like that this would look really really good in the hair or you know if you wanted to kind of create even um, in a shadow box like a, a mermaid sort of style picture you could use this as well as the scales on her on her tail and things like that so you know you could create gemstone pictures and mosaics as well I think that looks really really stunning especially with um, gemstones like this as well because you've got that kind of mosaic look within the gemstone anyway I think that, yeah, you're right, that mosaic mm. look. And you're right with mermaids. It's like a little treasure trove of a gemstone, isn't it? Now, we've got another one of your birthstones here, moonstone, but in lots of different shades. So it's representative of June's birth gemstone. Uh, what I want to think about when I see strands like this, so when you first see them, you'll see them as quite square, but I want you to think about facing these up like buttons. Now, we talk quite a lot about... Um, you know, doing your, you, cross over your crafts. If you are watching our sister channel, Sewing Street, and you're doing something that requires lots of buttons, then I would use something like this or lots of texture. So maybe you're doing your cushion fronts and you want something that's gonna give you a bubble technique at the front or a tassel. These, imagine these like sequins, face them up mm. and use your feather light head pins through them, but also shibori. If you're incorporating fabrics with shibori, I think yeah. that would look stunning as well. Yeah, definitely. I've always thought of these as our gemstone sequins, definitely. You know, if you wanted to create something like that, you can do. We were talking about Zentangle and trying to do it with weaving. So let's say if you're weaving with some of our cords that we've got, cords, threads, some of our... Um, uh, sari ribbon that we that mm -hmm. we do shibori as well you can weave with that as well and then incorporate this into that as well so you can embroider then onto that and create real texture so you could do like the um, macrame wall hangings like uh, guest designer Nadia does and then incorporate the weaving into that as well and then your mixed media with that as well so you're using your gemstones you're using you know um, sewing techniques and you're also using weaving techniques you can you can put uh, wire work in there with it as well do some gizmo wire and, and move that all around and create pictures with these things you know bib style necklaces and things like that with this absolutely stunning i love your necklace that you created and i love that you've shaded these mm. you've put these in color order it looks a sensation love Thank it you. we're coming back with the manager's special uh now katie you're popping off but you're coming back in an hour's yes, time with I rebecca redican uh, what can we expect from you in an hour's uh, time we've got some really nice back to basics uh, kind of beading techniques again and like i said we had the we've got a, a pearl knotting um kit but obviously if you refer back to what we've just learned in the last demo then you'll be good to go Thank you so much. We are going to see Gemma Crow after the break. Do not go anywhere. We've got the meteorite. A huge thank you to our guest, Katie Reid, who will be back in an hour. But I'll be back in a moment. Don't you go anywhere. You'll miss the meteorite.
welcome to the Joy Maker News with me, Jenny Cleary. News just in of an Amber showcase on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Also, we're being told to look out for sightings of chains on the same day. It's set to be a phenomenal weekend, not to miss here on Joy Maker. Stay crafty, Joy Makers. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Without doubt, the Caribbean is a place of warm sand and cool drinks. But it is also a place of mystery and history, from the shores of Havana to the beaches of Puerto Rico and the mountain ranges of Hispaniola. It is in these epic mountain ranges of Hispaniola, at one specific location, that Larimar is found. It is only at this hidden location, inside of a dead volcano, that Larimar is mined. This remote community of miners spends most of their days inside the mines, driving deep, precarious shafts into the dead volcano, often hundreds of meters. Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker. My name's Jenny Cleary, and in this hour, I'm delighted to welcome back the wonderful Gemma Crow, everybody. Did you have a good break? I did, yes, thank you. Got lots done. You, now, Gemma, as soon as you came in, I was so excited to show the meteorite, and <laughs> Gemma went, oh my! <laughs> I I need they're those. wonderful and both of us said we want them yeah absolutely they're amazing aren't they meteorites coming up in this hour uh Gemma and I have just been in awe of those so our manager's special today is this incredible emerald green appetite now we are delighted to bring this to you because doesn't it just look like a strand of emeralds That's this is appetite gorgeous. and it's coming up we're actually not going to do it just now we're going to pop it on pre-order for you and we're going to bring it to you at half past the hour. So please make sure you sit tight for that one. Tomorrow morning, we have got Charlie Baron oysters with the pearl in them. You know that. Wow. But for the first time, split pay. <laughs> Those Charlie Baron pearls. Dangerous times for Jenny Cleary. <laughs> Dangerous times tomorrow. Split pay, Charlie Baron pearl. Golden South Sea with the oyster. <laughs> okay, so let's start by showing you the meteorites that I have got. Here we are. And we're actually going to give this to you just oh, now. This is the one we're going to start with, and then I've got another one for you here. Now, we oh. have small quantities of each, and Gemma and I both want this. I want them for my nephew, who asked me, Frank, literally two days ago, can you get me some meteorite? He was I, at my house for... Well, not, when was Halloween? He asked me on Halloween. It looks like something from outer space, doesn't it? It looks like a spacecraft. Yeah. Look at the markings on it. It's amazing. Isn't it absolutely... I was going to say out of this world, yes, Jenny. Mind blowing. Mind blowing that we have genuine meteorite. Do you know how coveted meteorite is? Do you know how many people go, oh yeah, I've got a bit of meteorite? And it, it isn't. Look what we've got meteorite. Now, this is never going to be something we can ever predict getting in, of course. How can anyone predict getting any kind of meteorite in their collection? <laughs> you just simply can't. Absolutely. Unique opportunity. Now, there's already five of you lining up for this. You've got, it's, it's a meteorite from Sweden, non-enhanced, totally natural, safe for the cut, of course. Uh, it didn't fall from outer space, that, uh, that size and shape. But look at the price. 
and it's on split pay for 49.98 today you can get this home three split payments interest free all you need is a debit or credit card registered to your uk address uh, in order to qualify for the split pay option so now meteorite for christmas is within your reach but you've got to be as quick as you can look at the striations on this Gemma Crow and I absolutely mad in love with this from the off but Gemma is it going to be that little piece that you put in the safe and you bring out as a as, as a you know something to talk about over a dinner party or are you going to put this into something I, I want to wear it I, I want to wear it I probably put it with something like Moldavite and <gasps> something like yes. Tektite yes. to really bring that out of the world out of this world theme through it they are amazing now I have got if how no many? Because I'm having it. <laughs> we've got one left. I've got a jewelry maker in Ireland, London, Gloucestershire, Wiltshire, Devon. There's two of you from Devon. I won't name and shame you, but only one of you are going to get this for forty nine ninety eight today on split pay, interest free. This could be yours. There are so many of you in. You, we've actually got uh, Gloucestershire now has two in a basket. If you don't check it out. You've missed it. You've got, hang on. How many of you have only got one left, though? How many have we got? And there's somebody with two in their basket. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get them because there's only one left. Essex, you there. Right. You've got to check out. You've got to check out. There is a queue on the phone lines for this. I'm so sorry. So let's go to the next one now, and I'll let you know. If that one still hasn't checked out, I'll come back to it. There's literally so many of you there. There's nine of you there. Ten of you there for one. Now this, again on split pay. And again, this piece of meteorite is out of this world. I think, we'll bring, well, I'll let you know if that doesn't go. I, I know I know that these things are just sort of thinking them through. You just wait an hour, it'll definitely go, because I would definitely have it. Oh, Gemma's <laughs> going to take it if you don't. Okay, <laughs> Gemma, no, no, don't bring it back on. But Gemma, we've got another piece here. Now this is thinner. So if okay. you wanted to put it onto something oh, that's going to have... Maybe, I, I was going to say a cufflink, but of course you'd only have one. So that would be... Uh, uh, maybe in a bracelet, this would sit really nicely against the wrist. And again, mm. it's totally natural. And this is a meteorite. Piece of meteorite from outer space. Out of the space, I said. Outer space from Sweden. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. This is only, we've only got one of these, have we? Is this, this one we only have one of? Right, we, it's, it's going to be Francis Fingers first. And this, ah. Oh. This is cheeky. This is on two split pays for you of 39.97. 40, yes, 97 is gone. <laughs> How did it look gone? How did it gone? I think, has this one gone as well, has it? The 36, is it still available? Then we've got one left. We only had two of these ones. We've got one left, so now's your chance. I think they were waiting. So we couldn't, uh, we're umming and ahhing over the both. <laughs> 13 unchecked baskets, one left. 49.98, and it's yours today on split pays. Three, three easy split pays of £49.98. That's really thick. There's loads of you there for that one, loads of you there. It's gone, I think. Meow! <laughs> It's still there, but there's, I can hear it right here. There's more people for it. There's more people for it. There's about 20 of you and there's only one left. One of you got it, one left. That's it, then it's gone. Now, I'll keep refreshing because Gemma Crow said she is going to buy that if you don't. Are you definitely? Absolutely, yeah. She's genuinely buying that if you don't. Okay, my darlings, let me give you another heads up on the, uh, on the manager's special. It is coming up for you at half past the hour. Hasn't it flown today? We've had such a lovely time with you. Please make sure you are texting us in. Remember tomorrow, Charlie Baron Pearls on Split Pay, which is just making us wag our tails immensely. Then we've got Larimar on Sunday in the morning. And the big show this weekend, it's the competition show on Sunday to be in with a chance of winning thousands of pounds worth of prizes. All you've got to do is make a purchase between 12 and 4. We're going to be announcing the winner the following Wednesday and uh, I'm just absolutely buzzing to see you all on that day so we've got a workshop of your choice for 10 friends up to up to 10 of you sorry so up to nine friends uh, and it's you choose the designer you choose what genre we've got 10% of your order for three months a credit to your account 
and so many goodies. We've got a piece of jewellery from almost all of our jewellery makers, uh, including that is Argentium, Rachel Norris, Mark Smith, Gemma Crow, all uh, everywhere. Of course, Claire, because she's in the show. We've got the gorgeous Claire. And Claire's going to be showing you some fabulous things too. Uh, Gem, I love it. I love it. I've seen it before and I absolutely, I'm, I'm crazy for this. And I know Gemma Crow is as well. Gemma, look what I got. Oh, have you nice. seen it? No. Oh, I wow, know you're going to love that. It's lush. That's a piece of... Look, Gemma went... Mm. Mm. Both meteorites have now sold out. Sorry, Gem. Oh, Gem. Where? All right. Have a well, look. Well oh, my gosh. I'm obsessed with these. So this could go underneath a hair bun. Like... Hang on, I don't do it. Like that, with your mm. bun. Uh, this could go into a piece of jewellery either way. I think whatever way you think, oh, gosh, that... I mean, that side is amazing, isn't Make it? a reversible piece. You know? A reversible piece, yeah. yeah. But you've got a drill hole here and here. So I think it could be quite an Egyptian-inspired piece of jewellery, Gemma. That's, yeah, that's really lovely. And, then, and maybe you want to cut out a sheet of I know we um, had lovely Alison and Linda on yesterday yeah cut out sheets of metal cut a, a nice circular sheet and then attach that to the bottom to create like a layered definitely layered piece that would be amazing if you bought four and I said this last time it could be part of a unicorn's hoof oh okay <laughs> <laughs> a That's massive I wire. <laughs> I bought four and you were going, oh yeah, I'd love four in a piece yeah. of, in a necklace. <laughs> I know, it's a unicorn hoof. That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> seven ninety five L O G P fifty nine. But Gemma, so you, yeah. I was saying four, and you just went, yes, good idea. And you had a, a better idea than that. Go well, on, no, tell I was me. thinking it would make a beautiful scalloped piece, like yeah. a scalloped necklace, you know. But also, you know, like on a cuff because of that shape is perfect. On a tiara. Yeah. I went like that just as Bruce did that, but I actually think a my work tiara would be mm, amazing. It'd be gorgeous, yeah. They're sold piece. out. They're sold out. Another one Gemma's missing. <laughs> on. Those. Not to rub it in. Not to rub it in, <sighs> Gemma Crow. All right, all right. <gasps> uh, I'm just going to... Oh, no. Um, if I could just get a bust, that would be remarkably brilliant. Um, hang on a minute. I've got a tangle. Italian chain. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's going Italiano in my ear. Gemma, have you ever mm. had anything bad from Italy? Mm. Well, there he goes. No. A chicken mayo sandwich you didn't like? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> but have you, how many, I've been to Italy a couple of times. My, I worked in Rome on a shopping channel mm -hmm. and they kept giving me espressos. I was like... Oh, yeah. It yeah. tasted delicious. I've never had an espresso I liked after mm. that. So my point is this. Let's think of all those things that are Italian. Quality, Handbags. Mm. What are you thinking? What did you say? Just quality. Just think quality, quality. Italian quality. Handbags. Italian designers. Mm. Italian. It's expensive, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, I want you to look at this really long. In fact, I'm going to grab... Actually, I, I don't think you'll see it on the white. I'd like, uh, if I could just... Gemma, you couldn't be... Uh, so, I'm so like? sorry a, to ask you. A black, a black belt. belt. It has to be that one because this is a really long chain. This it's one. It's going to be a long one. Look how long this oh, chain is. One. So while I'm waiting for that, sorry to ask you, That's Gemma. Okay. Now, I want you to think of the Gucci link or the Snaffle link. that every... So I was talking to Vicky Carr about this the other day and I said, oh, the... thank you so much. The snaffle, and she said, oh, I call that, that's the, is that, is that what it's called, a snaffle? And I said, yeah, that's what actually that link, that Gucci link is based on a snaffle. And that's really in at the moment. Now, I've needed to get this really long bust because this is a long chain. Now, this is that Gucci link, that snaffle link that we all love. This I would wear on its own. Mm. So let's talk. Vicky Carr, this is a 24-inch, 18-carat gold on sterling silver chain. Now, if you look now for an 18 karat gold on sterling silver chain, it could be that you're looking at Monica Veneda, it could be that you're looking at Gucci, it could be looking that you're looking in the uh, Versace chains because a lot of those are plated. Some of them are plated on base metal. And Vicky Carr bought up one uh, very much like this and it was 200 pounds on base metal, not even on sterling silver. Now. Let's talk, because it's really interesting to have Vicky in the, in the studio, because she buys our chains for us. And Vicky told, told me this, right, our chains come from Italy. If we get chains from Italy, we know we're sourcing quality. If, if the main focus of our, of our brand is jewellery, isn't it? 
and we don't get that right, then it's, it's, it's a poor show. So Vicky says, you know, she will not give lower end high street quality for any of our chains. It has to be good quality. Well, actually, she hit a bit of a dilemma earlier uh, on in the year when COVID struck. Now, during the COVID pandemic, the first time around, because obviously we're still going through it now, we were really lucky as a company in the fact that we could continue to trade. And Vicky said, actually, what happened was a lot of the chain suppliers um, thought they were going to go out of business. So Vicky placed huge orders with them and that bonded an even tighter, already tight, even tighter relationship with our suppliers. Then something else catastrophic happened in the jewellery industry. The prices of silver and gold, I'm sure you saw it on the news, hit an all-time high, a record high. They'd never been higher. They'd been going like this, so, and they're right up. And then they've spiked a bit, but they're right up at the moment. Now, Vicky said they hit a dilemma now because there because... She could keep the because the prices shot up so much, we could have had lesser quality at the same price for you. We could have kept our quality and had to heighten it, or we could have took a risk and we could have placed the hugest bulk order to keep our prices in line. Now, that was a huge risk because nobody knows where business is going at the moment, do they? A lot of us are uncertain. So, Vicky placed a huge order. Now, that's the only reason that we are able to give you the price that we're about to give you. And she did ask me, make sure when you do chains, you, you explain that. Because we want you to know that the quality of your chain is second to none. This is Italian quality at the lowest price I think ever imaginable. Why is this only £10.25? This is an absolute Christmas gift. Let me tell you. This is 18 karat gold, 18 karat gold on sterling silver. EWI B60 is your item code. Please make sure you're as quick as you can possibly be. If you go and price compare, you will see such bigger prices. Let's see. Let's have a look. Actually, I've just got here. This is what, uh, this is the... So if you have a look at the price, we're going to bring it to you. Right, so you can see here, uh, I can't, it's blurry for me on my screen, so I can't, where's it going from and to? From 2017 to present, right, look at, look at the, so it spikes, it's up, down, up, down. That's normal, fluctuation. Look at where it's gone, right at the end on the right-hand side of the screen. Look at where gold and silver prices are now. Sorry, I'm shouting. I don't know why I'm shouting. Uh, I get excited by things like this because now Vicky said it was a massive, a major risk because she had to place the only way we could keep the prices down instead of going, right, okay, well, we'll have... Because I was asking her about the plating and I was saying, okay, uh, how many layers? And she was saying, it's really interesting because actually what I could have done is said, okay, we'll have a lesser plating on it. Mm. We won't have as much 18 karat gold on it. We'll take a layer off. Not good enough. No. Not good enough. She said, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'd rather not bring chains. Mm. Not good enough to do that. So we've kept that quality. 10.25. So I've, I'm, I've got to get loads of those because that is crazy. Do you know, I think that's lower than the staff cost as well because we get a little discount for working here. That's lower. Yeah, can you have a look? Because I, I do want to buy quite a few of them because I think what great presents they'd make for Christmas. Love gold chains. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, it is actually. You're getting lower than the staff. Okay. <laughs> I might ask someone else to get it for me. <laughs> now, are you... Now, I think this is really important to bring to you because I'm sure, Gemma, you'll agree because you have sold... You have bought from us to sell on. Oh, yeah. Most of our jewellery makers, I think about 80% of our jewellery makers, make jewellery to sell. Yeah. Now, I think that's probably risen during the pandemic. A lot of you now are relying on, on, on your income from selling jewellery. Now... We can only really do that through the post now, can't we? Because a lot of those live events that we might have booked have now been blooming cancelled. Mm. So if you are sending gift, you know, thing, things that people are buying as gifts for Christmas out in the post, or indeed if you'd like to send... Do you remember Gemma and I were talking about the Angelite um, 
the bracelets, the yeah, wish bracelets. Wish bracelets. You've yeah. got to put them in this with a little business card, I think. You've got the most amazing drawstring bags with the snowflakes. Now these, with a little treat in them, will hang on your tree look. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I've put, um, I always do it like a, a hide hide and seek on my tree. <gasps> so for the, for the little ones, when they come into the house, they go and find uh, chocolate or yeah. a, a little sweet bag. <laughs> and then for the grown-ups that come in, and like, because we don't all buy each other, but for when the grown-ups, when they come in, they can go and pick a little bag off the tree. That's so, so it's like a lucky cute. Dip. I love that. Yeah. What a cute idea. Yeah, it's nice. nice it's really lovely. Now, you're guessing 12 of these. So they're what each? Like 30, they're 41 pence each. Now, that is fantastic. Your manager special is coming up in just a moment. Loads of you coming through for this. We've had such a busy morning and a busy afternoon. Tomorrow, Charlie Barron's pearls are going to hit your screen. I can't believe it's this time already. I can't believe it. <laughs> Uh, literally, the day's going so fast. Manager special on your screen is on pre-order. To get involved with pre-order, get yourself online, jewelrymaker.com. If you'd like to call up and uh, order yours over the phone, you can do so. We will be bringing you in on a discount, and everybody, no matter what time you order this, will pay the same low price. You'll find out the price when we give you your manager special. I'm obsessed with emeralds, I am. Do you love emeralds, Gemma? I do love emeralds. They, they, when that sort of... I, I already loved when I came here, and now yeah. I know the variety of them. I love them even more. Now, this is actually emerald-coloured appetite, and I'm in for that. I think this is giving you, like... There's something, there's something really unusual about this tone, and a little bit... Do you know, like, it's a Victorian green to me, so I'm in for that. Yes, yeah, it is. Christmas green. It's a Christmas green, yes. What would you do with these, Gemma? Um, well, I mean, I've got other nice sort of irregular um, green amethyst chunks that I've had before. And I think with these being rondelles, they would look lovely spacing those out. And then I could keep the whole piece green, um, green appetite, yeah. Yeah. I love my but, greens anyway, I do. Yeah. It's just the colour of the countryside, isn't it? And I love this particular colour of green because this is the colour... It reminds me of Ireland. It reminds me of, like, it, a, a just... It's just been raining green, which of you go to Ireland often. That's every day. Mm -hmm. um, you've got that... Do you know when you look across and you see the most luscious green, the, the perfect pasture green? Yeah, it is a lush green, isn't it? Yeah. That? Very much. It really is. And for me, it, it definitely... I go to County Clare a lot, as you know. When you, when you fly into Shannon Airport, you look outside the window and you see surrounding, surrounding Shannon, it, like County Clare is just green everywhere. Mm. It's beautiful. And to me, it's got that kind... The, the green that you expect to see as you touch down into Ireland. And, of course, you know, probably the same can be said for... for um, if you go to the Highlands, because that's mm -hmm. so very green as well. I love it there too. Yeah. Countryside green is what you've got here, and it's beautiful. And you know, it is, we England's called God's great, uh, God's green. What is it? God's country. green earth, isn't it? God's green country. I don't know. God's what green. is it that Henry VIII used to call it? God's green. I don't know. Why has it gone out of my mouth? Ask him. God's green earth. I think. No, it was God's green. <laughs> Something. Anyway, Jenny, it, it, but it is a thing, isn't it, about England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. It's so green. Yeah. You go anywhere else. And even like you go, I used to go to Canada a lot. The mm. gre their green is different to yeah. our green. It's just really diff difficult to explain. Isn't it? If you go and see a field anywhere else in any other country, if it's not England, Ireland, Scotland or Wales, it's just not this green. No. It's weird. It's amazing. It's luscious. I'm, I've never been to... Um, to New Zealand. Maybe that's kind of similar. I don't know, because that's one of the only places I haven't seen. Um, look at this. Look at this luscious, beautiful pasture green. 
CQJM29. Now, rondelles are really easily placed into your jewellery. Never used them before. They're easy to nestle into a setting. They're easy to place into um, straight into a bracelet. They're easy if you want to put them into a channel setting and put your wire either side. Yeah. They're just a joy to use because they're easy to use. Yeah, I think this would look great with this. Oh, yeah. Nice match. Yeah, that looks great together. I think it does. <clears throat> but rose gold looks great with this. And you're you're working on those charm bracelets just I am. now, Gemma Crow. Mm. In fact, you know, they would they would be lovely to add in amongst amongst the charm bracelets or, or to make charm bracelets with. Yeah. Because little charms? Yeah. Little um featherweight head pins onto those would be lovely. We're taking these under twenty pounds today. Hold on to your bootstraps. CQJ M29. 38 carats of emerald coloured appetite. And it is that beautiful, rich green. 90 under 20 pounds. You've got a huge carat weight. You've got the most amazing saturation of colour. If this was emerald with clarity like this, there'd be a one in front of that price tag for sure. Look at that colour. Beautiful. Put this with your rubelites. I think it would go really nicely with your rubelite. It's got a beautiful strand of sapphires here. Look at those together. Those sapphires are lush, aren't they? They're gorgeous. How lush, how beautiful is that? 1995, well done, Rachel. You've got yours, Elaine and Susan. You are shopping too, 38 carats of uh, emerald coloured appetite. Uh, now, do make sure you're checking out baskets. We've got loads and loads more, so let's keep going because I've just seen the time. Uh, and which one, which one do you want to go to next? I love this. These are gorgeous. These are plump drops. You're saying they look like hearts. They're definitely drops. Look at these. See, right, so to me, citrine is one of my, all, and I always say it to you, it's one of my favourite gems, so it's my top, one in my top three. I love citrine so much. And welcome if you're a new customer. We've had quite a few new customers this hour. You're going to get two free strands and a Get Started DVD. It's so lovely to have you. Thank you for choosing us. Uh, now, you are going to be a little bit addicted to making jewellery, just so you know. And everything we bring you is genuine. Now, I'm about to give you the most beautiful. Now, we're calling these fancy hearts. But they're definitely not hearts. Maybe I've got a different, look at, look. No, that's not a heart, is it? Unless it's, unless it's because they should be up that way as a heart. Yeah, yeah okay. Now. Do you know those um, topaz earrings you had earlier? Oh my gosh. Imagine one yes. of those dropped on the end. That would be exquisite. Gemma, citrine. It's, sorry about that, Sam. Of your jewelry makers. Uh, citrine. I need to be more Terry Wogan about life, don't I? And just <laughs> let it go. Bang! I'm like this. <laughs> now, have a look at this because citrine is to me the ray of sunshine. Have you ever been for a walk and it's been a bit cloudy and then there's a break in the clouds and mm. literally you can see the ray of sunshine coming through the clouds hitting like the horizon? That's what this gemstone is. It's that colour. It's the golden ray of hope. And I love this gemstone so, so much. I think it's beautiful. It's a gemstone of optimism. It's a gemstone of, of new life, freshness. Look at this colour. There is nothing, nothing, I think, more beautiful than that chamomile yellow that you're getting from this, from this strand. The clarity is exceptional. The cut is exquisite, and I just want to have this. Do you know? Do you ever do this, Gemma? Where you're mm. just like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet. But oh, there's yeah. loads of things I could. Yeah. I just need to have this. Just need to have it. Yeah. And that, that's that's that sort of that sort of strand, isn't it? Because I mean, rarely do you get citrine that cut, that clarity, and it, it's quite an unusual hue as well, isn't it? Because it's yeah. it's like um, I want to don't say warm. Like citrine's very hot and sunshine. This is very 
warm it's and like a sunset sultry so yeah. now it's like it's putting me in mind with um like a really bright smoky quartz or something like that it's got that sort of champagne yeah it's like a glass of champagne the, look at the fire i, I mean that's in, they're incredible they're they're literally stunning they are they're if exquisite. you love citrine, see, I haven't even referenced the price because in my head, I'm having these anyway. Yeah. They're beautiful. Don't even mind what... Amazing price. Sorry, I just kissed those. <laughs> I had to. Now, I'm going to give you something else fabulous. I've got... Yeah, I got it. I got it. Right, now, this is a modern take on a Figaro chain. And it's... So you've got the three links there and then the one long link. So it's a Figaro. Now, this is... This is a... Uh, definitely, I think, a nod to the Versace chain that's out there at the moment. And it is exceptionally expensive. This is the silver version. Versace are doing... The 18 karat gold, the May version, mm -hmm. and I think it's two thousand pounds, something like that, just for the chain. But it's that kind of modern style. Now, if you want to have a chain that you could easily wear on its own, it's definitely for the fashionista. If this could be a feminine or a masculine chain, the great thing about this chain is I think any this is anybody's to wear. I know my son would wear this. Mm -hmm. He likes silver better than gold. Um, I think that you have got such a such a Versace twist on this. Can we get close to the link so you can see it? It's a bit like the paperclip exactly. chain, isn't it? That's which was like, originally a Versace. Yeah, which is everywhere yeah. now, isn't it? And and layered up with other shaped chains. It's that's the look. You want that square, oblong, sort of angular look in amongst your other chains to create the contrast. This is and to have it in that sort of Figaro sort of um, link is really unusual. It's lovely. It's, it's, it's exactly what everyone's wearing right mm. now that wants to make a fashion statement. Yeah. And it oozes expensive. This again is an Italian design. Of course, we source all of our chains from Italy. Now, if you were paying for this, if you were in London, if you were in, you know, maybe you're at the mall, maybe you're at Westfield, the nice one, um, which is the Shepherd's Bush one. Uh, maybe you are, in, again, in Selfridges. Maybe you're somewhere like that. You're not, actually, because the shops are closed. But you know what I mean. This is... Uh, there's no way... I think you'd be very... You'd do very well to get this under £100. Very well, if you were mm -hmm. if you were shopping in those kinds of places. JYI B68. We're seeing chains like this for £79.95 online. £13.50 today. And it's diamond cut, so you get the most amazing silver luster off this. You don't have to add anything to this, but you can. Yeah. You've got a big chunky, if you've got a nice chunky in silver pendant, then put that on this, because it's a, it's got that sort of look about it. The it's meteorite. not a delicate chain. The meteorite, the meteorite. would look amazing, because it's yes! the, the right sort of... Perfect blend. Oh, Gemma, I'm sorry, now you've just created the most amazing <laughs> piece of jewellery that you can't make in your head because the meteorite sold out. Mm. Uh, not to, not to, not to <laughs> rub it in. £13.50 is all you're paying for this. Well done to you if you've got yours. My name's a stop. Oh. No, my system's like frozen. I haven't had names for ages. Nicolette takes two. Mikey, you've got yours. New telephone caller is there. Elizabeth in Cardiff takes two. Do you know what? Actually, I don't think I should read names out because I think a lot of people are buying Christmas presents right now and they're probably like, Jenny, shush. Mm. Aberdeen too, you've got yours. Now. <laughs> right, okay. Apparently I'm going to get stressed out by an unopened box. Because it breaks my nails and then I, I'm like, somebody open my box here. I'm such a diva today, aren't I? Am I deep? No, it's all right, it's open. Because Hannah knows. I keep getting stressed about the slamming door situation. I've got to just... Chill. I can't. When, when, I, when things make me jump, it makes me instantly angry. I'm like, I'm like that. Anything hits my dining room floor. So if I drop my pliers and that noise or keys on the dining room floor, Grates me. I've got to just put this over here because that's it, because Bruce don't want it there. He's going to be a diva. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to get a torch. I've got star dioxide. That can't be right. 
You've got to make cufflinks out of these. They're going under £10 for the two. It's ridiculous. Under £10 for two star diopsides. <sighs> Beat on your head then, boy. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce just said to, to Neary the Eighth, whatever. You can't do that. Well, he is. He's done it. Hang on, I'm trying to get... These are too big to even get hold of. Here we go. Keep it clean, Tom. I... <laughs> Don't cheapen yourself, Tom. Now, look at this. Can you see the star? Oh. Hang on. There. Ah! Again, with that meteor. Piece of meteor, that would be amazing as well. But yeah, these, aren't these lovely? To have anything that has that star. Who was I showing? Oh, I was showing that. I bought a strand recently when we had some on. And um, I was showing my sister. And she was just mesmerised by how that star moves across. It's such an amazing phenomenon, isn't it? It's amazing. It's, and I think, like you said, cufflinks is absolutely a perfect idea for them because I think these are something that, um, that the chaps would want to appreciate. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, it's like when, whenever I'm at shows or anything, the, the fellas are usually drawn to the um, things with phenomena like Labradorite, Tiger's Eye. I bet Meteorite as well. I bet, I bet they would, yeah. But that sort of thing, it sort of captures their imagination much more rather than, you know, your, your, your pretty sapphires and things like that. These are just... Look, there's the star. Look at that. It's kind of hard to show you because... You, you need you... one light, really. It's amazing. Nine ninety five. I can't. I'm trying to get me light source on it. Can you see it? No, because you've got all the lights from the studio reflecting. You're not going to be able Can to. Can we just... bring the lights down? Look at that. Now we have got. We have got something that you may never have <laughs> seen before. <laughs> Such a vibrant, almost lime green of this gemstone with the most amazing brilliance. More fire than a diamond in this gorgeous gem. I'm going to flip my board over because look, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. If you love yellow diamonds, but you're thinking, Jenny, yellow diamonds, this kind of carrot weight, I haven't got thousands of pounds today. Well, I tell you what, you're going to be delighted because this sphene is going to light up your collection like a yellow diamond with its fire, with those incredible facets, giving you luster, giving you a clarity that can be seen right in front of your eyes just there. You can see that incredible clarity, can't you? What a wonderful strand this is. Now, Gemma, I am a mad fan of lots of different jewelers but there is one that isn't like a super high-end jewelers there's one in london and it's called it's it's called what's it called rankins mm. and it's <laughs> mad because it started off as a little um jewelers in bethnal green but now it's just an instagram only jeweler so oh, i think okay. it's one of the most modern jewelers in the uk yeah, now they I use a lot of yellow diamonds and they and it's all very modern very bling very expert yeah. I say very expensive, but it's not very expensive. Was it? It's within our reach. But it's a, it's a, it's an Instagram only. They just changed completely Instagram. Yeah. They are going mad, and um, so I have teenagers in my house, and as you do, and they are every, all the teenagers in London and in the area know Rankins the jewelers. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh my, have you seen? And my daughter's like, look at this ring in Rankins. It's like super blingy, and they use a lot of yellow diamonds, and this is. Very much something. If you've got those younger, sort of uh, below 25s in your, in your household or in, within your loved one's circle, I think they're going to absolutely love this because Rankins has 
It's really done. I mean, I think uh, the Yellow Diamond, Rihanna sang about Yellow Diamonds. Mm. Everyone went crazy for Yellow Diamonds yeah. around that time. Yeah. And they have become more and more popular. Coloured diamonds are majorly in fashion they right are, now. Very much, yeah. Totally in fashion. So this is absolutely a strand that I would get because I can't afford strands mm. like this of Yellow Diamonds. I can't. Not everyone can. Some of you are, are, are really lucky because you buy... And it's your business, so you can buy buy things like you can buy yellow diamonds. You yeah. buy lots of them. Now, if this was a yellow diamond strand, we'd be talking about a thousand pounds. We have got for you such a beautiful gemstone with so much fire, so much fire for twenty four forty two. What an we have literally squeezed every single penny that we can for you, Dan, to give you the lowest ever price. Look at that, look at the fire, look at the clarity, look at this incredible saturation of colour. Gemma, what would you do with yours? They are, they are gorgeous, aren't they? I, yeah. I think, do you know, I think they would look great with the citrine that we had earlier. And I think, you know, they would give you that lovely soft sort of um, romantic feel if you put them in amongst pearls, sort of <gasps> spotted them in amongst yes. pearls. Remember my cousin's wedding colours were like um, a primrose yellow and, mm. and and cream and white and things did like that. Did she have yellow roses? It, yes, she did. And the I bridesmaids were all in yellow. I mean, this would oh. just tie in so beautifully in that sort of soft yellowy theme, wouldn't it? I love yellow to wear. I love it. Mm. Yellow roses, the colour of friendship, isn't it, yellow? Yellow is my favourite rose. It's, it's one of my favourite. It's so beautiful. See, yeah. I don't wear it in clothes, but accessories, I am all over yellow, yellow because... <laughs> It's soft, it's beautiful. And we think about things like chamomile, yellow roses. They're soothing, the sunshine. Mm. What a soothing colour this is. What yeah. a happy colour. What an uplifting gemstone this is for mm. us to have in our collections. And it does have that, you know, you could stitch these into a veil to give that, if you've got yellow roses. And I know that a lot of us are having to put weddings off. I say us, it's not me. It's, you know, a lot out there um, having to put... Weddings off. Yes, Tom Neary. He just uh, he just proposed to his girlfriend. Everyone, yay! Um, now he's getting well stressed and the and the run up to it though. I was like, you need to calm down, Neary. You know how you're chill. You weren't before. You were like a man on the edge. Guest designer Mikey B has bought two of these. Una, you've got yours. Jen, Catherine, Angela, Jan, uh, Samantha, you've all got yours. Now it's quick. Make a clock. So we are going over to Gemma Crow, and it is going to be, it's all about the charm bracelets, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I've got the charm bracelets in the gold and the rose gold for you. We're going to do the rose gold first. So Gemma, um, mm. we, you get all of the bracelets in. Now you can break these up or put them together. What did you yeah. do? So I've, I've managed, because there's, we get lots of, lots of charms, I've made three bracelets with the rose gold um, set. So I yeah. if I just... Put these I haven't, I haven't got many bracelet stands I've scrabbled around but I haven't found any and um, I just love these and I, I want to buy two sets of these because I want the parrots as earrings oh <laughs> yes um, I think they're just gorgeous but yeah just really really pretty really easy to put together just jump ring onto the chain this this one here that you're looking at it's got a lovely bail so actually as a necklace on a necklace that would be lovely because that one I've just popped straight onto, onto the chain rather oh, than yeah, use the jump ring. Oh, yeah, it's got a bail on it. So, yeah, it's got a really nice bail, but the others have got charm loops, so I've just used those. I put three on each chain and then one on the, one on the other one. And it's, yeah, they're just really lovely. I really think these lovely. could be great in Christmas crackers and things as well if oh, you're creating your own. So, obviously... Our audience are very crafty, and most of them are making their own. That's a great idea. Especially if you've got an automatic cutting machine, because you can cut them so easily. Now, you get one, two, three, four, five of the chains. This is crazy. You know, you're, and you've got real rose gold on a base metal for ten ninety. It's bonkers, bananas. All things crazy are happening is that, now. Is that for the chance and the everything, price. Gemma. Oh wow, that's an amazing price. It that's would really be amazing price. for five five of the chains on the ring. That would make the chains only two pound ten or something each, mm. which is crazy. That's so good. That's really good. Really good, isn't it? Yeah. Get five chains, so two pound nineteen a chain. 
And then all the charms for free. Charms and that's lovely. real rose gold on a base metal. I love the pineapples. The charms are so on trend. The cactus, you know, the cactus is, you know, really, really popular it is, at the isn't moment. It? Yeah, watermelon, pineapple, parrot. Um, and birds, obviously, different birds. Did you think that was a watermelon? Because I thought it was a slice of orange, but I suppose it is a watermelon, isn't it? it's a watermelon. It? Is it? Yeah. You've got a flamingo as well, which is really cool. I've got this one back to front. You've got a flamingo and a pelican. And all these things are so popular at the moment, all these, all these little motifs. I love them. You can have five chains. You can do I, yes, absolutely. Kathy, you've got yours, maker in Nottinghamshire, Eunice, maker in Suffolk, Jennifer, maker in Cheshire, Annie in Cornwall, Carmel in Dublin, Kath, Catherine, uh, Elizabeth, Josephine, another Catherine, and Nicolette in Surrey. You've got yours. Ten pounds and ninety-five pence. BJXC fifty-three. Gorgeous. Love them. We've only got ten left now. Uh, now we've got the gold for you too, and then Gemma's going to show us how she did her quick mix. So the gold has, to, oh, I've never seen this one before. Oh, you're not showing us or you are showing? I, no, you're I, not, you are, you're not, I don't know. I can, I don't. I I've don't never know. seen, I've never seen this charm bracelet one. So you get a feather, you Not get flowers, that. you get a heart with a, is it a Swarovski in the middle? I've never seen these new. I've not no. seen those ones. No, these are really cute. You hope not because you've bumped, I think they might be new. Three. Never mind. Have a look. See. Well, have you seen these hearts? Sorry, I don't know why I'm so high pitched today. I'm just going to bring that pitch back down. So the Swarovski heart I've never seen. Have you seen that? No. Is that what it is? A Swarovski heart. I don't know. I'm just. I'm guessing. It looks it like doesn't a little... say. What did you think it was? I don't know. A Swarovski or a topaz or. I think that might be a topaz. A I, it depends when we bought them because yeah. it, it won't be a CZ if it's a Gemporia product. No. So it would be a Topaz. Okay, told me to stop talking about it perhaps being new. Okay, I will. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I swallowed the wrong way then. Hang on, look. Wow! Ah! Look at the daisy. Look. Oh, you don't need to because Gemma's... 9 95 They're really cute. Two pounds of chain. 18 mm -hmm. karat gold and base metal. So I've got three on one of them, and then on the other, there's, I mean, I've still got one left, but then I've done one of each with just the charm at the clasp area. Now, whenever I make a bracelet, a charm That's bracelet, gorgeous. or a chain bracelet, whenever I do it, I always put a charm on the end. On the clasp? On the clasp end, because, so not on the clasp, I actually put it on the loop, because yeah. I can then hold the clasp, the, Good the idea. Charm yeah, to so do it, it on. Up. So it just makes putting it on much easier. So, so some of these I would just use at the end, and maybe I'd put some gemstones on or add add to it in some other way. But the feather, especially, I think that's a lovely one with that angel light from earlier. Would be gorgeous. Oh, the angel light. We did. We sold out of them, didn't we? I was gutted. Now, yeah, we have got such a cheeky Colombian emerald for you that we should not have, but we have. And what are they going to do about it? Because we're going to whip it out as a star bike. Colombian emerald. Well, we all know the buzzword about emerald, don't we? We know that the Colombian emeralds are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Zambian emeralds and Colombian emeralds, they are what we... But a Colombian emerald wears the crown. It is arguably the best emerald in the world, a Colombian emerald. It's what you want to own because of its colour saturation. Because... Look at what look at what we've got here. This really is one of the most sought after emeralds. It is the creme de la creme. In, if you are an emerald collector and you don't have a Colombian emerald, then you haven't got the creme de la creme. You're missing out madly. 
and I think you should grab these because you've got the ideal color saturation. Look at that, look at that. That's what you want. Every single one, exactly the same color, but this is a striking saturation of color. What a green this is. And it's almost glowing and it's totally natural. Little bit of oiling, that's normal. I do that when I get out of the bath. It's totally natural. It's absolutely beautiful. Gemma, look at the way this gemstone just glows. It's it one of my favorite gemstones of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the color is superb, isn't it? It's the most, it's the most beautiful of greens, I think. And it's that, it's that lovely cross between green on that blue sort of spectrum, yeah. isn't it? And it? Yeah. And like you said, it does sort of glow. It it's does. got that, it's got that um, vitality to it somehow. It's vibrant. But not vibrant as in bright. It's it's, it's got, almost like it's got a current passing through, hasn't it? It's that exactly. Sort of, that sort of life to it. Do you know, you know, when you know something's natural, can you imagine Mother Nature has given this to us? Yeah. Naturally glowing green. Mm. I've put it next to these sapphires that are coming up later. And my, oh, my. My, oh, my. Now... You go and have a look at Colombian emerald pieces of jewellery. Go and have a look. Yeah, it's the chrome content. In, mm. a, in, in a lot of gemstones that are green, it's chrome that gives us yeah. uh, the green. Now, we've got here, though, such a super amount of clarity, which gives us then that incredible glow. It's just got everything you want, hasn't it? Yeah. I've been a mad fan of emerald since I was a little girl. I love this gemstone. It's Of course, it's a gemstone that's... We grow up knowing it's a precious gemstone. When you hear the words emerald, ruby, sapphire, diamond. You know, when I was little, I didn't mm. know about tanzanite. Mm. These are the gemstones you aspire to owning. These are the gemstones you open up your grandmother's jewellery box and there's an emerald in there. It's special mm. and it's precious and it might be next to a pearl or something. Yeah. Uh, emeralds are absolutely a gemstone that you'll see the queen wearing. Mm -hmm. Look at this price. Just thirty nine ninety five today gets you the best emerald in the world, Colombian emerald. A lot of people will say that Colombian emerald is the best emerald in the world. And all it's had is an oiling. That is just simply to get all the dust away and brighten them up. That's like us moisturising. Mm. Uh, to me, oiling isn't really a treatment. It's no, not. It's, no. It's not. It's no. like getting it wet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like running under a tap. Water or oiling. Yeah. Oiling is something that's just going to bring out those incredible, vibrant, virtuous greens. It's a, a, utterly beautiful. I would definitely be setting them. Do you know what? I don't I think any precious metal colour will go. And I'm going to pop mm. this next to my bangle that if you watch the Argentium shows, you'll know that Elizabeth showed you how to make a bangle very similar to this one. Now, maybe you're going to set these have a look at this so maybe you're going to bezel set now that goes really well that looks Colombian great. Emerald. See, i think well, Colombian, i'd say gold though well yeah i but would Colombian as well not. but Colombian emerald because it's got that cooler bluer tone it goes really nicely with silver yeah it always I makes agree. me think of silver but then i would put it with gold and i would put this in a ring and i would put it with rose gold because oh, it works yeah. so well yeah it, it's it's a it would it just carries so well doesn't it, it? Well, so many of you in for that one. It's uh, you do need to make sure you're checking out baskets. What a beautiful, beautiful strand. Can I do that? Can I do that? The sapphire, we're, we had to bring you both because we've had so many messages now. Can you give us that sapphire? Okay. So you have not just sapphire in here. There is some ruby in here. And you know I have this new obsession with ruby at the moment. I just love it. Look at the clarity of this gorgeous strand i think this will be the last strand of our show and then we'll be handing the baton over to the gorgeous rebecca redican who is going to be taking it into the night with mineral man on split pay <laughs> what today he's really? not in the building oh, i've got I'm mineral man pieces oh i just saw oh wow <laughs> look at these colors look You've got the traditional blue sapphire. You've got Ceylon blues almost in there. You've got pink sapphires. You've got rubies. You've got almost some gear. You've got some gear tones in here. What a beautiful, beautiful strand this is. Look, 
Papradashka, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. You've got the oranges and the pinks that would epitomize a Papradashka in there as well. So this really is a treat of a strand for you if you are somewhat of a concert. GIRU 64.39.95 is your price for this beautiful strand, for this beautiful strand that you could make piece after piece after piece, mm. earrings, rings, definitely. Absolutely. What would you make with this, Gemma? I think I would use them all together, actually. Um, and I think I would try and ombre the colours as much as possible. So take it from the maybe the, the reds into the purpley blues and then like that, try and fade the colours in, but do a tassel, tassel style or bubble style sort of um, earrings or pendants with that. Yeah. I think, love you it. Know, a real drape, like a like a like a bunch of grapes, but with sapphires. That's so trending at the moment, though. That look on, you know, I'm mad on Instagram because mm. I'm literally following all those hashtags. Um, I love it when I see someone who's put hashtag jewelry or hashtag make jewelry. So much of the bubble technique at the yeah. moment, yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's a, it's a great technique and it's really easy as well and accessible. And, um, you know, these are the perfect sort of things to do that with because you get real impact and movement and see see all the way through those gems. You definitely do. Gemma, if I wanted to follow you on Instagram and Facebook, how do I do that? So on Instagram, it's Gemma Crow Jewelry. Uh, Facebook, JM Guest Designer Gemma Crow or Crow's Mojo or Babble and Dabble or... You've got it all going there's on. All go there's loads going on. She's juggling on social media. Uh, social media now jewelry maker is at jewelry maker uk i am at ginevra j-e-n-e-v-r-a please click and like and subscribe to our youtube channel because all of our shows go over there our masterclass will be on youtube later mm -hmm. on now uh, so we've been we're inundated with questions about your exhibition could you please talk to us about that Gemma? oh okay so um the headpiece that I did is in an exhibition called About Face. It's based in Ingestry at the Orangery in Ingestry. And you can actually go and see it. So if you're near Stafford, um, so Ingestry is in Stafford. If you're near Stafford, there's a walk that you can go on around the Orangery where you can still see into the exhibition. It's not quite the same. But after this, this second lockdown, it will be reopened. But the exhibition explores the face um, and how things impact it, like our eyes, how we see the world, how other people see us, how we see ourselves, and how the, the face is like the window to the soul, and there is a mixture of poetry and film and installation and sculpture and photography and art. Wow. It's a real mixed media um, event. I didn't know anything about it until until they asked me if I could put my piece in, so it was like out of the blue, so I don't actually know much about anything else that's there because I haven't been involved until the very last minute. How amazing was that? But you were just oh, absolutely it was tears blown and, away. Tears and running around and wondering who I can phone. You know, <laughs> that, sort of, that sort of moment. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, so please go and check it out. Thank now, you, Braskin. We've, we've only got a few of the managers special left, so please check out our website and see what's on there. Uh, because if you scroll down, if you click Watch Us Live and scroll down, it'll tell you what's still there. Uh, now, Mineral Man and Split Pay, those are all the key messages for your next show. Still some answer machines. Oh, ant machines. So there's still some ants left. There's only a couple. Oh, wow. I thought they'd sold out. There's only a handful left. You've got to grab your ants, haven't That's you? Probably the last time before Christmas now. Oh, so. good point. Yeah. What a great Christmas gift for somebody as well. Fabulous. Was it, they're just such a super masterclass. A huge thank you to you for that, Gemma You're Crow. welcome. Thank you for having me. And back Monday. Back Monday. With um, Dot Art. And what time are you on Monday? One, uh, twelve for the master. That's us again. Is that you again? And me. Oh, I'll show you what we've got. It's exciting. Yes, I'm doing over, overtime. It's us. You're going to love it, Jenny. You're going to love dun, it. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. I can't wait for You're that. So love I'll it. see you on Monday. See you Monday. Can you send me some pieces so that I can put them? Yes, out? I will. I will. Oh, look, he's well happy now, that one. Now, thank you so much. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Charlie Baron Pearls on Split Bait. <laughs>"'You've been bruising him. <sighs> Neary the Eighth's gone wild. He says we have to have the jewellery maker's biggest ever giveaway on record ever. What are we going to do?'
I can't compete with that wretched Bing Berlin woman. And as for Claire of Wirework, they're coming up with ideas left, right and centre and I'll be for the chop. It's got to be an off-the-head deal. <sighs> Let's consult the scrying stone. I've got one here. I see... I see a fabulous Aulis boat. An Aulis boat? It's not even wooden, Bruce Lingham. How's it going to float for a start? Mm. I'm sure we haven't invented those yet. I'll consult again. I see... A luxurious horseless carriage. A horseless carriage? Well, how are we going to get about with no horse bruising and think again? It's got to be good. I have an idea. <gasps> what say you, Bing Berlin? Give me an off the head prize. A workshop, my king. More. A workshop of their choice, my king. More. The kit included, my king. Okay, you're dismissed. What say you, Claire of Wirework? What off the head prize have you got for me? I have a piece of jewellery from each designer for the winner. What else? A puppy. Puppies? We can't give away puppies. I'll send you to the tower if this continues. <gasps> Your lord. What say you, Brucingham, and you, Jen Seymour? A huge bundle of prizes from Gemporia. What else? Over £2,000 of jewellery maker goodies. What else? 10% off your order for the lucky winner for three months, and that's every order. What else? A credit to your account. That's better. You've saved yourself this time. These prizes are off the head this Sunday at Jewelry Maker. Woo! Woo! Sunday we have got the most fantastic show on Jewelry Maker jam-packed full of Larimar a tremendous gemstone we've got some brilliant opportunities for you this Sunday live on Jewelry Maker join me this Sunday we have got the most fantastic show on Jewelry Maker jam-packed full of Larimar a tremendous gemstone we've got some brilliant opportunities for you this Sunday live on Jewelry Maker hello Jewelry Makers we are live with you every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. if you watch us on Freeview at 5 p.m. we may appear to disappear but we don't there are lots of ways that you can continue to still watch your beloved jewelry maker and they are sky virgin freesat the jewelry maker website youtube or the jewelry maker app which is available for your smartphone or tablet so whichever way you choose to watch jewelry maker we are always here for you to create wear and share don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is officially the start of the weekend right we are ready and raring to give you some great treats if we've not met before thanks for joining me today my name is Rebecca Redican you can call me Becky we have got so many treats on today as you know we're having a little bit of a mix-up um over these next coming weeks and therefore it's my first ever boutique kit and I have to say I have been spoilt rotten with these treats I cannot believe that I am bringing to you rounds of spinel that are over two mil. You know our average two mil fasted rounds that we do, yeah? 
The kit today is boutique beyond belief. It has pearls. It has black spinel, a perfect marriage of chic beauty. It's historic and it has been created. When you look at this jewelry, just imagine seeing this in your high-end boutique shop windows and think about the price points that would be attached to them. These pearls that you're seeing here with that wonderful, delicate blush lavender color, and the silk and sterling silver and the spinel it just goes on and on and on and i am going to be bringing that kit to you very very soon the designs created today by our wonderful guest designer she loves playing with kind of more modern twists on traditional elements and i feel like you can see that today it's my pleasure to say hi hi she used to be a red coat <laughs> Hello. I love how, how you? are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your boutique kit, your high end luxury pearl and spinel kit today. Absolutely fantastic. In love, right? yeah, it, the thing is, with these kits, because they are like the boutique, we've got the silk and all of that kind of thing. It's absolutely fantastic. And um, do you know, it's just nice sometimes just to have a, a little bit of a, a play with something a little bit more bougie sometimes, mm -hmm, you know, because mm -hmm. you just want to, you want to kind of be in a little bit of luxury sometimes, you know, yeah. if you want to do the washing up in your diamonds and pearls and Feel all free. that, go for it. Feel Why free. Not? Do you know what? Yeah. Now more than ever, do it. Absolutely exactly. do it. I have also got for you, if you follow me on Rebecca Reddick and Presenter, you will have seen just before the show, I put up a story, a last minute story. The story is about products such as these. Mineral Man. If you do not know Mineral Man, Alex, he is our award winning mineral lover, gemstone lover, who has sourced for us today some very special treats. These treats are coming to you. You may well have missed them. They were played on Monday. You might have missed them. For the first time ever, I'm bringing Mineral Man on Split Pay! <laughs> Any item in that hour, 7 o'clock, be there or be square and be missing out. Anything in that hour that is over that, that price point of uh, 60, uh, no, £59, pounds, if we can split pay it, we will split pay it. It's up for you today for the first time. So you might never have been able to maybe stretch to the price points in one plain go. I've got items for you today that you will be able to gift for Christmas, but you don't have to pay for in one chunk. These are incredible. These are just like the tiniest selection. I've got huge geodes coming up for you. I'm so excited. So they are on their way. I've got Ethiopian opal in half an hour. I have got a cashmere peridot showcase. The quality of this is exemplary. That's coming up at six. This is my opal on the way. Before it though, let's get you ready for the mineral man with a selection of beautifully tumbled stones. If you love the connectivity of gemstones, these are the ones for you. Feast your eyes and see which ones are speaking to you. The great thing is you don't have to pick because they're all in it together. I have got for you today the most decadent collection of your minerals. How's about, oh my gosh, the quality. Let's go through them. I've got sunstone for you here. Now, all of these are going to be tumbled. They're all going to be natural in their beauty and their quality. This is um, 480 carats worth of your positivity and manifestation tumbled stone healing pack. And this comes within an organza bag. You're getting eight of them. So if you're into your crystal healing, this is what we've referred to it as your positivity and manifestation tumbled stone healing pack. And it does come, as I say, in an organza bag. Sunstone you've got in here, that uplifting gem. You're also going to be getting a tumble of your lapis lazuli. Now, this is going to be a flat tumble. So it's got almost that really lovely thumbstone feel about it. As well as that, you're getting the very grounding, very bold pyrite. You're going to be getting in here. As I just love when you're looking at rhyolite like this. It's being able to almost go into a meditative state and see all of the individual different moments you've got within there. You've got the gemstone of creativity and positivity, many say, in your citrine. That's coming up in that bag as well. 
I'm also going to be bringing to you how light. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's how light. Yeah, how light. Uh, 60 carats worth, I'm being told on this one. So, approximately. So, that'll be a nice, sizable piece. I'm also going to bring to you, I can't believe I've got this in a tumble. I've never seen this tumble before. It's your green aventurine. This is one of the most happy-go-lucky positivity stones if you're into your crystal healing that you know you can get your hands on. Really connected for many chakras as well. And lastly, but by no means least, I'm bringing to you Malachite, the boldness of Malachite. If you want your positivity healing pack of um, your tumble stones, that's what we're bringing to you today. $19.95 for this. It's 180 carats worth. Oh, that's the should be price. We're giving you a drop down deal today. We're getting you ready for the mineral man, for the cashmere peridot. We are getting you ready for that boutique kit to make you smile from it. You're kidding. Just over a quid each. Actually, if you break it down, I've got two, four, six, eight stones and I've got the organza bag. So let's say it's a pound each. This is a chance and a half to grab these. If you are into your meditation, your mindfulness, your connectivity with stones, this is a lovely way to have it. It's also just a great way to have a, a material that you can kind of compare to maybe other strands you have. For example, do you have any lapis lazuli in a strand? To be able to sort of hold it next to that piece and say, you know, look, imagine cutting this etc etc to be able to see that is actually beautiful there's so many in baskets i'm going to leave those ones with you but whilst you're there let me just totally juxtapose this with something seriously megaly sparkly i'm bringing to you now yeah aquamarine oh this is so 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 popular i will leave that with you now because that is about to go the aquamarine is up for you now they feel so gorgeous when you hold them and um, we are bringing to you two mil two and a half mil actually on these ones and um, katie we have given you similar sizes actually it's the peridot we've given you but we've given you similar size and look mm. as a challenge tell me what you love about this look um of the size and shape in a faceted stone like this aquamarine and peridot please well do you know what for something so small it packs such a punch with all of those facets on mm. it just it's just like even one it's just a sparkly fantastic little sphere and faceted yeah. goodness it's just amazing for they really really are just something that that really do you know for something so small really does give a lot of impact and it's absolutely sensational use them all together make beady beads you could either just use them as um, spaces as well these are absolutely stunning you know great if you wanted to do like a peyote stitch ring with them as well if you Ooh, wanted love to that it, absolutely stunning beautiful these are so special and this price that you're about to see i think is wonderful bear in mind that this is real aquamarine bear in mind also that this is hand cut for you bear in mind also that with that clarity you might expect it to be filled right you might expect fisher filling no it's natural I think that's great, but I haven't mentioned the price, have I? No, which means it's getting out of here. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Weird, <wasn't> it? <laughs> get out of here. I don't know what that was. It was kind of like, get out of my pub, wasn't it? Anyway, £9.95 for you today. Oh, I'm channeling Babs. Um, we have got this at 9 95 Let me show this to you. Oh, I love them together. I love it, love, love them together. That's so special together as a pairing. Cash, this isn't cashmere, but I have got cashmere peridot on its way for you in a little bit. I will also let you know that I have got the opal on the way, um, which will go great with it. I just want to show it you with this sunstone, if you don't mind. Because there's something I think about the water and the sun colours together. Pick of the day, Ooh. sunstone. That's lovely, isn't it? I love them together. That is a beauty of a pair, isn't it? Well done to all on the aquamarine. Five o'clock, by the way, for that. Not, oh! I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with this. 
I did. I did the rose gold version of this for you not that long ago. I purchased it. Um, I wore it once and I do you know what I, I'll be honest with you I actually wore it on a zoom call with some of my friends one of my friends noticed it straight away like oh I like that and look at it closer and she was like oh will you get me one you get those kind of requests all the time yeah of course no problem went online sold out didn't have them didn't realize we had another colorway this is stunning for the time we're in right now how beautiful oh. is this I am bringing to you solid sterling silver, five and a half grams. By the way, it does come on the chain. I know sometimes we just do pendants, but no, it comes on the chain. For the time we are in right now, how perfect is this? Mm. You could etch onto this. Maybe, um, you know, you have people who are key workers or work for the NHS and you want to etch their name in this and you want to gift it to them for Christmas. Maybe this is something that actually you wanted to stamp into and you could stamp into this, um, you know, maybe someone's initials or maybe a date, you know, a special date, a date of birth, for example. Maybe you've got someone who, um, you know, is, is uh, having a baby um, and, you know, with everything we're going on with at the moment. What an incredible gift this would be with a stamped in date, actually. It comes with the chain. It's over five grams of metal and you're getting that rainbow selection of colour. I think this is a timeless look. It really is. Of course, it's everything of what we've got now, but the rainbow has signified so much. It signifies pride, optimism, and of course, with everything we're going through now, it signifies the people who we're really relying on. It's £28.95, pence, which I will say for the chain alone is actually a pretty competitive price when you go into other jewellers. It really is, isn't it? If you think about it that way how about if i say let's make the chain more of a jewelry maker price and give you the rainbow pendant which means so much for free let's do it <laughs> the whole necklace the pendant ready for you to stamp or etch into use your stylo um, or use your metal stamps and the chain all in one with the class it's 18 pounds and 95 pence i absolutely adore this and everything it signifies as i said I brought the rose gold one. My friend saw it and instantly wanted it. Those ones had sold out. Uh, but the silver one is all we've got left right now. And I'm not surprised. I think it's beautiful. Katie, please tell me what you think about this with rainbow jewellery. So it being so massive yeah, at the minute. It, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, like you say, for those key workers and things like that, you know, people like me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, but, you've been you working know, the whole time. Yes, you work in the supermarket. Like, like this morning. So, yeah. you know, so... But, um, you know, it, it's a really nice way of just kind of saying thank you, you know. Agreed. Even if you, you hang it up in your window or something like that, you know, That's people nice were idea. putting, like, the rainbows in the window and things like that, then this would be really nice as well. If you wanted to do, like, a dream catcher and have this in the window as well. Gorgeous. So just use it like that. Or, you know, like you say, you could... Uh, initial put somebody's name in the back mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. or something like that. It's absolutely beautiful. Or even if you did, like, just... You know, if you wanted to reminisce and people, you know, uh, like the programme Rainbow, you know, that yeah, used yeah, to be yeah. the kids' programme, yeah. you could even just, you know, give it to them for that, you know. Who would you be if you were on Rainbow? Who would I be? I'd be Zippy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got a touch of the George about me. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, George is the sort of pink one who's a bit... I'm definitely... I'm not a bungle, I don't think. <laughs> Dan, you've got a touch of the bungles. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> want to go and get that looked at. Anyway, well done to every single one of you. That is very special indeed. I love that. I need to get another one of those ones. Um, okay. What I'm about to bring to you is genuinely so, so, so special. I am about to bring you a boutique kit. And this is, for me, the true definition of a boutique kit. When I first started working here at Jewelry Maker, boutique kits were something that were few and far between. Generally, it was something that Sheila and Linda had worked on and they'd, they'd put the kit together themselves. And you could nearly always tell who had made the kit, whether it was the kit team or whether it was Sheila and Linda themselves. If it was Sheila and Linda, you could guarantee a few things. Number one, there would be pearls in it. And there wouldn't be any old pearls. They would be the pick of the pick. Maybe the ones that were fashion forward at the time. Maybe the ones with the rarest natural colour. Maybe it was something to do with the quality on the surface. 
you could also guarantee there would be sterling silver in there because they knew and and as many people agreed at the time and still do that if you're getting epic quality pearls they deserve precious metal what i'm about to bring to you is exactly that but we've gone further this is not just an old school boutique kit this is a kit that proves how far we have come over the years I'm about to bring to you Spinel, Sterling Silver and Pearls as a Boutique Kit. I'm actually oddly going to start off by talking about the other elements. Normally, I'd, I'd dive straight in with the gemstones. You know what I'm like. I can't help myself. I absolutely love them. But I'm going to start off with the other elements because the strands I have in this pack all deserve their own little crown, their own little spotlight, their own little moment. Let me tell you what you will be getting. First off, gift bag. You will be getting with this one of our larger silver gift bags. Now, this gift bag has a beautiful finish to it. It all fits in wonderfully together, and it's all colour-coded, perfect for gifting. If you did want a gift with this, you could just leave the bag as it is, or, of course, you could fill this with a nice tissue paper, and maybe even if you wanted to sort of use some strips of decoupage paper to add a bit of colour, you can do that, and also it will give you a lovely finish on the outside, but maybe tie into your theme for Christmas as well. Not only that, I'm bringing to you silk. This is your silk that comes with the needle as well, and you are getting two full meters worth on here. I am not stopping there because, as I said, as Linda and Sheila will have always done back in the day with their high end boutique kits, I've got sterling silver findings, and this is one of our most luxurious ones. Gram weight wise, this is your heaviest for this amount because the chain is not the tiny, tiny, dainty um, chain that you often see in findings that are very, very lightweight. This is a decadent chain, and it matches in perfectly with the quality of spacer beads. We don't normally have them. Crimp tubes, crimp covers, uh, clasps, and more. You've got just over eight grams of findings in this finding pack. Now, that is huge, Usually in findings packs, I'm bringing to you about six grams. This is eight grams of precious metal in this finding. So it's massive. I'm now, if I may, going to talk to you about the genuine gemstones. These are beyond the pale. I'm going to start off by talking about the spinel. This spinel, honestly, do you know what? I'm instantly just going to put it up to my neckline. This spinel is everything you are trained to look for in spinel even in this one down to the size because remember spinels it's not something that generally will form in huge pieces when you get spinels they tend to be more genteel when i bring you black spinel more often than not if it's if it's a round shape i'm going to be bringing to you two or three mil and they're going to be faceted I love that we have gone for this chic, almost Hepburn-worthy delicacy in its finish. And I'm not two, three mil. This is actually four mil. So already that's quite different for me to bring you a slightly larger size in this when it's not faceted. But it gets better. This is the first time I think I've ever done this, ever in my life. Just picking this strand up, I can feel the weight and it just feels so... Honestly, I have never in my life seen us do a strand like this. These, by the way, are brand new. We haven't sourced these before. The four mil goods and unusual. Check out the eight millimeter. These are eight millimeter, perfect, smooth, heavy, sturdy, durable spinels. We have never in our time sourced this strand before, and I'm not surprised. We constantly talk to you about how being able to get this sizeability of a stone that is more often than not compared to and replicated and made to look like a black diamond, we 
constantly talk to you about how difficult it is to get larger sizes. Today, we have managed it. This is a brand new strand for you. And finally, I'm bringing to you the wonder, the traditional boutique kit strand. I'm bringing to you your pink, peach, or purple, if you will, pearls. This, as a collection, is decadence. This, as a collection, can be yours. This, as a collection, with eight grams of silver, all of that silk, and the bag, brand new four mil spinel, brand new eight, and those pearls, it's three, two, oh, they're up, <laughs> sorry, boutique sheet, black spinel for you today, we have got this huge collection, and it is sensational, okay, I need, 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 to talk to you about this as the boutique stands. This is something very special, isn't it, Katie? Yeah, it certainly is. And I mean, as you say, as far as boutique kits go, this one is just fantastic. Yeah. You think about, um, there are certain um, shops out there, there are underwear shops, they do perfume and things as well. Yeah. It's uh, Agent, Agent, Provocateur, Agent Provocateur. And their, their branding is pink. It's like a blush pink and black. And black, yeah. This kit is just absolutely synonymous with that as Completely well. Completely good so, point. So, you know, if you wanted to go along that oh, wow. type of uh, boutique sort of um, uh, way, then you can do. Mm. Now, with the organza bag, if you wanted to, you could then take the pearls if you wanted to and sew them onto the bag, Stunning. you know, and then sort of create that as a, a little bit of a, a special kind of like bag if you wanted to gift somebody some underwear or something like that you could do, put that into the That's bag and then idea. decorate the bag so don't just think about the kit outside of outside of the box yeah definitely. you know um, and you know just think about you know just utilizing this kit in different ways of course you can go down the traditional uh, pearl knotting uh, route now if you wanted to see the pearl knotting i actually did oh, a um a, a tutorial on this on the last demonstration at two o'clock so uh, if you wanted to I used quite a, a thick cord so you could actually see uh, what we're doing but I can actually talk through uh, in a bit how oh. to use the silk and what to do with the silk oh, just yeah. to prepare the silk and then I can do yeah. a, a different demonstration as well so oh. if you wanted to have a look at that but there's definitely lots of um demonstrations on our website and also on our youtube channel if you want to have a look at pearl knotting and things like that then it's absolutely fantastic but you know if you wanted to kind of keep the silk for something else and then you know just use it for for something you know it's just a beautiful beautiful kit to me you know you think about programs like six in the city there was four different characters each one had a different style didn't totally they? this to me is very very much you know it, it's very stylish and very and very classy you know very, so you know very. it's that kind of i'm trying to think of what her name is and it's completely gone the girl with the dark hair are you thinking of um charlotte charlotte that's yeah, it charlotte. to me this is a charlotte kit yeah definitely you know. with the pearls yeah yeah but at the same time it's got a touch of the samantha about yeah. it as you're saying with that kind of you know flirtatious yes. coloring yeah this for me is something very special now i know you've there are so many of you with this in your baskets and i do understand why you're hovering aren't you you're thinking okay what i'm getting here i want to know how much it's going to be understandably for this strand alone you may well be expecting outside a jewelry maker the 50 pounds mark for a strand of pearls outside a jewelry maker you may well be expecting the 80 pounds mark pop a clasp on it a hundred pounds right you may or may not know us if you don't we cut out the middleman whenever we can which is why the price on this is so sensational i'm doing the breakdown for you so have a little look at this slide for me The slide I sent to you, Danny, that's what I meant. So this is your slide breakdown, and I just wanted to let you know exactly how sensational these prices are. Who would imagine, okay, that, for example, the pearls are only 31 pounds. You know that that color is scarce, you know that color is more expensive, and you know that the quality of that surface is, is sensational. Go outside a jewelry maker, as I said, you're looking 60 pound, pop a clasp on it 100 easily, yeah? 
Who would ever? Now, this just goes to prove what an incredible purchase this is by our wonderful gemstone buyer Wayne. Have you seen the price of that luxury sized spinel? Eight millimeters. We've managed to buy it. And if you want to get it by itself, you can. Well, you can't now because it's in the kit, but we've managed to buy it for and bring it to you for just £17.95. Now, we already know our silk's an incredible price because when I tried to buy the same brand at a well-known uh, place, it was £6.99. So already that's a really good price. These are our prices. This is your boutique chic kit, which is why we have a price drop. Now, I just want to forewarn you, this price drop is huge. I'm used to, of late, bringing to you 20% discounts. 20% discount is great because these are genuine gems, so it's not like they're going out of date or anything. For you today, I'm bringing you a 41% discount on this kit, but only whilst this is live on air. I cannot stress that enough. N-A-X-C-36 is your discount code. That discount code gives you 41% discount, but only now and here in the moment. If you're watching this on the repeat and it isn't, you know, today and it isn't 20 past four, then I will let you know I'm afraid that this will not be that price. This will still be £81.55, which is still a great price. £47.95. Think about the amount of gifts that this will make up and think about the amount of smiles that this will raise. If you get it and you change your mind or you run out of time, we've got money back guarantee extended to the 31st of January. No risk buying with us right here, right now. Don't love it? Send it back. Want to feel the weight of this and see the quality together? Now is your chance. This is 41% discount. Now, I do have to encourage you to check out because as you can imagine, to be able to get sizes like this, particularly in those spinels, it's been really difficult. So we weren't able to source that many straight off the bat. Every single one of those brand new spinels is part of our kit so if you do not check out you will be missing out on this i am afraid i think that is astonishing katie tell me what you think please looking at your jewelry there would be people on the high street who would pay more than that for the two pairs of earrings mm. actually yeah definitely i mean even just the, the earrings themselves because the pearls are so delicate i just think sometimes you know you've got to kind of let let the the gemstones do the talking and mm. sometimes just that little punch of you know like a little bit of a pearl in the ear is just absolutely perfect you know for a, any type of outfit whether you've got an, your hair up or if you've got short hair or something like that I really do think it's a really really classy sort of look so I just think that works so nicely I love it with that I really just love the way that you've paired those in in those designs I'm going to show you these pearls if I may with some rose gold, what do you think of them? I think it goes really nicely mm. with rose gold. I think it's to do with that blush color of the pearls. A huge well done. Again, encouraging you to check out on that kit. We haven't been able to source hundreds uh, at all. So please do seize the moment while you can. These are your rose gold 925 sterling silver findings. I really like the pearls with this blush yes. color of finding. I really, really do as well. I think they just, they kind of emulate the pearl in a lovely way. You've got the luster of the pearl, but then you've got the lovely shine of the sterling silver and the rose gold mm. there as well, mm. which is going to add a different texture. So you've got like the luster, so you've got your pearl sort of um, sheen there, but then you've got the shine and people, that'll be the thing that kind of makes people look as well, you know, at Agreed. your jewellery. So absolutely fantastic. £7.95. It's the only three mils that we've got in the show today. These are your rose gold 925. I'm imagining these ones as well, actually. Maybe with the sunstone. Ooh, that works so nicely. Yeah. About half an hour till the sunstones. Wow, they look good. They look really good together, actually, don't they? They're on their way for you. £7.95. I've got cashmere peridot, which I think will go great with golds. And I have got some golds on the way for you shortly. Before that, let me go dainty to two mil spaces. We don't see the two mil often. Do you mind telling me what the two mil spaces are good for? Well, the two mil are actually going to be really, really good for kind of... Um separating the, the pearls as well so even if you are pearl knotting in between they can kind of create a little moment in between so each pearl can kind of have their time to shine so to speak so you can use these two mils you know just as a, a little um 
in between, sort of accent in between mm. these. Or if you wanted to, you could actually use these alongside seed beads as well if you wanted to add uh, a little bit of um, sterling silver into your seed bead designs. Nice. You know, so absolutely perfect for that. That's a lovely idea, actually. Almost in like a delicate kiss cross design, these yes, would go great. Yeah. So we've got these ones for you. And they are four ninety five for you today. Four pounds ninety five for all of these ones today. They're dainty, they're delicate, they're only twelve p each now, hmm. but they're going to give you so much impact, and they're going to let things like let me see brand new spinel from the kit. <sighs> yep, they're going to let. I can't believe how glossy that spinel is because even though I'm showing it against a black background, it still sings, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, they're going to let strands like this really breathe, actually, aren't they? They certainly are. They're absolutely stunning. They're sensational, aren't they? How's about I bring you the gold version now? Now, gold is one that is coming back to the forefront of our minds and particularly with um, homeware. We're bringing these ones to you and they give you such a beautiful look and finish, especially if you want to pair them with something with a bit of freshness. I think if you did want to pair these with, say, any of the cashmere peridots I've got, yes, you heard me right, um, they're coming up for you at uh, six o'clock hour, then these would go beautifully with them. Bringing them to you at $4.95 again to get your hands should be $7.95, but we wanted to bring you some a little bit extra special. So that's exactly what we're doing. Oh, feast your eyes oh on that premium <gasps> cashmere peridot. What do you think? Oh, yes, please. Right? <laughs> it's not far off for you. We're going to be doing the cashmere in the six o'clock as well. Let me remind you, record-breaking Mineral Man as well for you. That's coming up in a little bit. Um, that will be seven o'clock for those ones. And it's the first time ever That's we're doing lovely. it on split. So exciting. Not long until that gorgeous opal, of course, as well. Minutes. In fact, seconds. I'm about to bring to you a wonderful quality of your opal. The opal I'm going to bring to you absolutely it sings with this sort of jelly, wello opal quality. I'm bringing it to you now as a star by. to you October's birthstone I'll be honest I'm always a bit picky I just am like it's one of those stones that I've loved since I was really really young because it's it's my dad's birthstone and my dad's like my best friend and I've known about his birthstone I genuinely think I knew his birthstone before I knew my own um opal itself for me is one of those stones that you hear about when you're younger and you see really good quality for the first time and you see these moments of aurora borealis dancing in the center and it feels like magic the first time you ever see opal to know that that is mother nature creating that for me it means you can believe in anything when you look at opal and you see all of those wonderfully elegant yet mesmerizing hues of the rainbow dancing through, you can almost feel those rainbow hues sort of take you over and almost ignite your creativity. I am therefore picky about opal. I've known opal for so long and I've adored opal for so long and I've, I've bought opal so long that I now only want the best. For me, if I'm to say I'm going to buy a strand of pearls, I would have two different categories. I have pearls that I would buy for myself because I like them. And then I have pearls I would buy for my grandma because my grandma deserves the absolute premium, the best of the best. And therefore, if I, I would spend on her money that I wouldn't necessarily spend on myself. I feel the same about opal. 
If I buy opal because I like it, then it's going to have good qualities. If I'm going to buy opal that I can make something for my dad, it's got to be premium. This is a strand that I would love to own. And if I did, I'd be making for my dad. This is quality. Remember for me that I am showing you this in this studio. I have seen this outside of this studio and I was absolutely breathtaking. The fact that you can see blues, greens and reds in these stones, even though the lights in here bleach it, means that when you get this home, you are going to be as mesmerised as I was. The strand itself, do you know what, even right at the very, very, very end, where there's the smaller pieces that normally have no interaction whatsoever in these lights, even here, I can see colour play. This, for you today, is absolutely next level. I'm going to bring your graphics in on this, and I just want to let you know that this is a luxury strand. You can see that if you were to grade this and look at this, you can see in your own head that this is high quality. This is next level. This is the one that when you get this home, you need to have at the back of your mind, 68 day money back guarantee today, 68 days to the end of January. You have that at the back, sorry, 86, have that at the back of your mind, have that at the back of your mind. If you want to send it back, then do. But you won't want to. You like it on your screen, you're going to love this in real life. And I know that from the bottom of my heart. Do you know what? That's in a daylight simulator. It looks to me even better in real life when I saw this out there before. Okay, can I just, can I just do this one? Can I just say the words that I very, 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 very rarely say? And in fact, I can't remember the last time I've said it on Opal. I am bringing to you today a trust me price. If you know what that means, you know what that means. So get on it, jump right here, right now. Katie has been working with this and it is very special. I love this ring that you've made with it already. Katie, how was it for you to work with, please? Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Well, it's actually, incredible, isn't it? While I was sat out in the conservatory and I, uh, Danny came in and handed this to me, the sun was absolutely blaring through. So I've actually recorded it and put it on my Facebook page. I took a picture of it yeah. and then I actually had to record it because it's just... Just absolutely it's it's sensational I mean I was like oh I didn't know which way to do it oh you know but th the light was just coming from everywhere you know this is just, a premium strand it is sensational it really really is sensational because let's be honest every single time Katie's on air and we're really lucky Katie Katie comes um, here relatively often you know you're you're one of the members of the team that I'm very lucky to be able to see you know every every few days if not weeks mm. so you know and um, the great thing is that Katie sees a lot of gemstones and is therefore given a lot of challenges. Do you always film a strand that you've been given as a challenge and put it up? Do you always... I'm not talking about your kits and things. For challenges. Oh. Do I film? Like, like yeah, like you did. Strand. Or um, as this kind of... No. Yeah. Because it's just... It was breathtaking. Yeah. It really, I wanted to... You had to share it. I wanted it. to share it and I really, really wanted to show everybody that, you know, obviously the, the studio lights are here to make us look fantastic but, you know, it's uh, it, it's just amazing. You know. This is actually Katie filming it earlier on, look. And again, oh, just look! I was like, oh. But look how incredible, and that is the thing that I think sensational that Katie yeah. doesn't normally do that, but this pushed her so much to do it. I'm gonna give you a price that to me is below what this should be. Okay, let's think about the luxury quality of this. That price point for the quality is below par. Fact. It's a fact. I have brought to you strands of opal that have had less carat weight, have been shorter, and have had equal quality. And I have brought them on air and ended them on air in three figures. For lesser carat weight, <clears throat> shorter strand, same quality. That price is below par. Can I just say instantly, Sheila, thank you for trusting in me. Thank you, Mickey, for trusting in me. I've got South Yorkshire, I've got Greater London, Wiltshire, Bedfordshire. Well done. The reason I'm saying that is because when I say the term trust me, a lot of people who watch myself and my team often will know that that's my indicator. 
that means what we're about to do is beyond anyone's expectation. Oh, it's £24.95 for £110 quality. This is a massive discount from the original price, which, by the way, was already low, 61%. Discount, 71%, sorry, 71% discount. Chris is in, Christine is in, Catherine's in, Mickey's, you've got yours, well done, you beat the queue. You beat the queue, Wilkshire, you beat the queue too, well done, you checked out. Amanda, you're in, Kath, you're in, Michelle, hello to Margaret. I've got Mavat, uh, Mavat in, hello, I don't think I've met you before, thanks for joining me, my name's Becky. I've got Joan in, Carol's in, Helen's in, Kath, you're in, Beryl's got hers, nice work, Sue. I've got Michelle in, Christine has got one, Shields has got one, well done to you. I've got Worcestershire, you've checked out, well done. Denise is in on this one. Helen, well done to you, you've checked out. I've got loads of people with it in their baskets right now. Please, 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 just tell me, well, you didn't see your reaction when that price came in, but let's just say a face changed <laughs> dramatically. What do you think of that price, well, honestly? 50% stock, gone. Okay, about five years ago, I was asked to make my sister-in-law's uh, jewellery for her wedding. Oh, we went over beautiful. to New York and beautiful. she wanted opal in her headdress. Yeah. Now, I did get opal. I didn't... Unfortunately, I couldn't get it from here, but I had to get it from somewhere else. Yeah. And the quality... If I could have had... It was the same price. Yeah. But the quality... If I could have had this quality... <laughs> It, you know, I'm just like, You'd no, have been I'm made like up. I want to say, phone her up and say, give me that piece. I want to I love dismantle date it, it love. and yeah. I want to put this on then. <laughs> Isn't that, that is incredible? Sensational. And I mean, I did it with copper coloured wire as well. So it kind of brought out the reds and the oranges and things like that. She had a beautiful uh, like champagne dress as well. So it really, really did complement it. But this would have, oh. And if you got the kit earlier on, the, the, the uh, luxury kit, this yeah. would be absolutely sensational with that. It's incredible. <laughs> it really, really, really is. Um, is the gemstone on the turntable for sale? I would love it. Sharon, my love, it is. It is. It's not now. It's not available now. However, we will be bringing it to you from 7 o'clock. It's part of our Mineral Man collection. Now, these are just some of the things that we've got. Have you seen, like, the amazing geodes That's as well? <laughs> Oh, I've just given that little wobble there. Um, but yeah, these will be for sale amongst other things. I've got this huge amethyst geode on a stand. I've got crescent moons. In fact, I did put a little sneak peek of some of the pieces, like the big skull on my Rebecca Redican presenter. If you go on Facebook or Instagram, it's in my stories. Um, they're available 7 o'clock, first time ever. We're offering them on split pay. I'm so excited. Just a brief, but very big. Well done, everyone, on that. I'm getting myself on if there's any left. Let's dive on in to our kit now with Demo. This has got a really, really of-the-moment feel about it. It's our kit. Have a little nosy at this beauty. It's got a lovely feel to it, hasn't it, Katie? It certainly has. I love this. I absolutely love this kit. It's got, uh, you know, it's autumnal colours. It's, you know, it's it's sunset. It's just sparkly. It's just beautiful. Special, isn't it? Yeah. Let me give you all the details of what you're getting. Bronze hematite, that's 300 carats worth there. We've added the bronze colour to it, but I really like that for a metallic feel. We have actually got a hematite showcase tomorrow from 6, so if you love your submetallic, 6 o'clock tomorrow, pop it in your diary. I've also got in here for you your Mookite. Now, those ones are 4 mil, 50 carats worth in total. This is your one location stone only from um, Western Australia. It's a beauty of it, a gemstone, that. You've also got your polychrome agate, and these ones are 6 mil rounds. You've really got, if you think about sort of the chrome scale, you've got those colours in here. But you've also got these lovely pops of, like, blues coming through, which is a bit different. Pairs in really nicely with that Mookite. And then you've got our full findings pack including but not limited to a meter's worth of gold plated chain two magnetic clasps and the likes of your featherweight head pins 
Not only stop in there, I've got the threading packs too. It's beading thread, it's elastic, it's monofilament. If you're brand new and you're thinking, Bex, monofilo? Who's beading? <laughs> beading thread? What, what? Don't worry. If you're brand new and you make your first order today, you will get a free DVD and two free strands with your first order in the DVD. All of these and these findings in fact are explained, so don't worry about it. This is your cinnamon collection. Perfect for this time of year, yeah? We're all getting a bit more cinnamony, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Let me bring to you today £24.90 to start with anyway. Would you pay that price for this piece you're looking for here? <laughs> yeah, I've just literally had the thumbs up off Dan. Yeah, you'd pay that price for that, wouldn't you? Of course you would, even if it was plastic, probably. Whole kit today. £16.95 <laughs> and it's made the necklace and it's made the bracelets and it's made the earrings and the pendants. I think that's fabulous. Yeah, it certainly is. That's incredible. Especially if you think, you stretch your bracelets at well-known shops when you go and purchase them for a genuine gemstone one. It's £60 upwards, mm. isn't it? Yeah. We are absolutely loving on that price point. Tell me what inspired you with each of these makes, please, Katie. Well, because um, we're actually getting quite a lot of um, beading threads and things like that, I wanted to kind of go back to basics, but then sort of see if we can do, like, different beading techniques and things like that mm. as well. So, And I love the fact that we've got different sized uh, gemstones as well because that ad actually adds texture and adds something a little bit different to the beading technique as Definitely. well. Definitely. So. Yeah. We've got the opportunity to dive on in on this. Remember, if you've got any questions, 78070, you can message us in or jewelrymaker.com. For now, though, let's get crafting. Okay, then. So I'm going to kind of go through the earrings. So on my mat here, as you can see, we've already got one that's um, already completed, like so. So we've just got this one here completed. But this is what the necklace is as well. So it's, it's kind of exactly the same motif as the necklace as well. I see. So to start off with, I've actually just already threaded on three of the hematite and six of our mukite here. So we've got three on one side and three on the other side. So then what we're going to do is pop on two more of our hematite on either side. Now I've te probably cut about um, 12 inches of... Um, 12... 12 inches of our beading thread as well. So then I've just threaded on two on either side like so. And then I'm just going to grab this one here and then pop both of our beading threads like so. And then pop that on like there. So we've now got something that looks a little bit like that. So you could then just carry on like that if you wanted to. But we're going to just add on two more. One and two like so. So then we've kind of got a, um, if you think about a, a domino, we've got a five here. So we've got mm. one, two, three, four, five, just okay. there. And then we're going to add on another three of our beads like so. So you can carry on doing this and interchanging the beads. Like I say, it's going to give you different kind of textures and different shapes as well which is really good so if you wanted to do this you could do this with seed beading as well so if you wanted to use some of the uh, fire line as well you can actually use some of the fire line also so we've now popped three on there and then i'm literally just going to take two more one on one side and then one on the other side and then pop our two like so. So now we've basically got our same motif here. And then um, if you were going to do the necklace, you would then carry on beading up here with the beads. But then obviously you've got the other side. So here you can then just go straight through this bead here and then carry on up that way. So then that's how you would then carry on with your necklace like so. But we're doing the earring here. So with the findings here, we've got the crimp bead and then I've got the stud earring and the jump ring like so. So I'm literally just going to pop both of our threads all the way through and then fold that over and then we're just going to create a nice little bit of a loop. Bring that down and then I just want to create a little bit of a, a loop there. After this I might just quickly go through what you can do with the um, 
silk as well from the, oh, the yeah, first that kit. kit. We love that. Cut, I'll just cut Beautiful. that off there. So we've got our loop. Pop on our jump ring, like so. And then with our stud, you can just pop that. The thing is, that, that's the great thing about our findings is the jump ring is always going to be the right size to go onto the stud. Everything has been thought of for you. The colour of the, the findings to match everything, it's just fantastic. I love the fact that we have all of that together. And then mm. I've just popped the back onto there like so. So that's that. just a nice, quick and easy kind of um, make for you there. But I mm. thought I would then go through our um, the silk. So as you can see here, we've got the, the silk on the card. This is from the first This is kit, in the so boutique kit. So it was this boutique chic collection, which just as a brief reminder, came with the silk, two brand new strands of spinel, including the massive four mil rounds, uh, eight mil rounds and four mil rounds and genuine real pearls. Full sterling silver findings pack, eight grams in that and a bag. There was, if you recall, 41% discount on this kit. One of the biggest discounts we've seen on a kit in quite some time. So if you do want it, seize the moment. We're talking about this silk, which comes in the pack now. And we can Okay, so obviously it comes on the card. And it says it comes with the needle. Now, I always uh -huh. thought, because I'd never worked with this before, it was actually a... Needle, oh, a needle, you know, like right, a beading needle. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it isn't actually. It's like some... It's twisted wire, so... Let's have a look and see. It's literally just like some, it's a really fine, like there you go. Mm -hmm. It's very, very fine. And then it's actually attached to our um, silk, mm -hmm. like so. Now, because the silk is actually a, um, a natural fibre, obviously it, in time it is going to stretch. So let's say you do a tie, a pearl knot your necklace yeah you may have to re-strand re-knot um, re it again in a few years but because it's a, a, a natural fiber obviously it's going to stretch but when you do before you do start using it you do have to kind of like give it a little bit of a stretch out to begin with anyway mm. so then it's not going to be it's very similar to the elastic that we have you know basically you. you have to condition it yeah and if you've got some uh, beeswax or something like that you can then run that through but with this needle on, now earlier on you saw me doing the pearl knotting, mm -hmm. I literally just, it, it's so much easier, I'm literally just going to pop a little loop around my um, two fingers there. And where you've got yourself a little loop there, you can then do your three kind of sections to create your first knot, like so. And then you've got your first knot there, and then you can pop on your pearl like so and they and they just beautiful. sit really go really really nicely through the yeah, needle that's, that's there seamless and then of course you've got your uh, your all there so then if you wanted to then you're then going to just carry on i haven't left that much so we're going to go see if i can do that there one two and three and then you're going to pop in your all like we had earlier on and then you can literally just pull that and then that's going to create our knot to go next to our next to our pearl like so and then bring that up and then that's how you're going to do your pearl knotting i just thought i would quickly go through it again if you missed it earlier on but like i say if you've got it from earlier on then you know we've got our pearl knotting tutorial from earlier on but that's you know that's that's basically what you get in that card so it's really really good you get two meters as well so if you're going to do a bracelet um i would probably do um, an arm's length depending mm. on obviously the size of your um your pearls if you're going to do a necklace i would probably do two uh, two arms lengths which is probably a two meters anyway but because obviously you're doing your knots in between you need to kind of make up for that for that um length for your knots i just adore everything about that i adore that it's you've shown it off to the full extent because you're so right 
we do say, oh, it's a needle. And you might expect a needle. Well, that's what I so thought. thank you for explaining that and talking <laughs> us through conditioning, etc. Yeah. Really appreciate that. That's all right, no problem. Um, and thank you for your demo as well with the earrings. They were bold and beautiful, weren't they? The Boutique Chic Kit. 41% discount on this kit, but I do have to stress it's only whilst we're live on air. Let me just remind you, on the way, I have got the Peridot Trio collection on its way. I've also got for you, in the next hour, me sunstones. These are coming up too. And I've also got some very special tourmaline to show. As well as all of that, I am bringing to you for the first time ever... Mineral Man on Split Pay! I'm so excited to bring that to you. And we've got Cashmere Peridot too. I'm just showing you briefly this opal, which I do have to let you know, we've got about 10% of the stock left by all accounts. This is the one that's in that gorgeous ring that I'm wearing that Katie's made, which, by the way, I am obsessed with. <laughs> I love the technique. I've seen you do it with other stones, yeah. but I love it with the opal. Just lets it sing. There's 10% of these left. Should have been £84.95, £24.95 for now. It's ridiculous. So if you do fancy grabbing it, now is your chance. We're about to head on into a break. Let me remind you, if you're watching us after five o'clock, this is how you can watch us. Because if you're watching us on sort of your normal channel now, we may well disappear. We ain't gone nowhere. You can watch us on the app, which is free, DreamMaker.com, Virgin, Sky, uh, FreeSat, and the YouTube. You can watch us live on there. It's cool, isn't it? Modern day. And you will wish to watch us live because after the break, I've got that sunstone at record-breaking ooh and ah kind of deals, as well as more inspo from the lovely Katie. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch split pay the whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from jewelry maker so you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the items value it's that simple thank you carols we are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well so enjoy this new way of shopping on jewelry maker so from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Hi, I'm Linda here at Jewelry Maker. I've got a really, really exciting launch coming up on November the 12th. And it's shrink plastic. Now when I say that we've moved on a lot, we have, we now have tools. We have incredible tools that we have sourced from um, a lovely lady in the US of A um, who does, the majority of her, her craft work is shrink plastic and shrink plastic jewelry making. Um, we have her exclusive moulds which are incredible so um not only do we have the molds we're also going to have shrink plastic pre-cuts we're also going to have um some fantastic templates that our own debbie bulford has made for us so i hope that you'll join me and the rest of the team on november the 12th for this very exciting launch see you then Welcome to the Jewelry Maker News with me, Jenny Cleary. News just in of an amber showcase on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Also, we're being told to look out for sightings of chains on the same day. It's set to be a phenomenal weekend, not to miss here on Jewelry Maker. Stay crafty, Jewelry Makers. Without doubt, the Caribbean is a place of warm sand and cool drinks. 
but it is also a place of mystery and history, from the shores of Havana to the beaches of Puerto Rico and the mountain ranges of Hispaniola. It is in these epic mountain ranges of Hispaniola, at one specific location, that Larimar is found. It is only at this hidden location, inside of a dead volcano, that Larimar is mined. This remote community of miners spends most of their days inside the mines, driving deep, precarious shafts into the dead volcano, often hundreds of meters. bringing to you a sunstone that it just gives you a sunny disposition it really does hey up how are you my name's becky and i'm about to bring to you sunstone that isn't the normal sunstone when i think sunstone this might be an odd question but when i when you think of sunstone is it just me or does the word opaque often just tickle the back of your brain because that's what you expect, isn't it? In fact, I brought you the, what was it called? Um, positivity and manifestation, calming pack of gems in the organza bag earlier on. And one of them was sunstone. And what was it? It was opaque, right? That's what we expect. Actually, though, when you look at premium quality sunstone, and I'm thinking of the likes of, you know, Oregon sunstone, it's not opaque, is it? Absolutely not. What you have is this beautiful, often clear coloured body with these moments of inclusion suspended, which is the light enters and reflects back to you. You get this kind of overwhelming glistening sensation, like light dancing on the surface of the ocean. That's what I've got in this one. It's a beauty. It really, really is a stunner. I love what you are seeing within here. I appreciate the beauty of this so much. When I'm seeing the quality on this, it's kind of to do with the orientation of this, which is giving me that um, adventure essence that's so beautiful. When I'm seeing this kind of look, I'm seeing that kind of movement within, and it's a strong adventure essence, you know. It's not kind of sort of dissolved or... or, or um, dainty, you know, there's a big amount within here, and it's to do with the orientation in which we've cut these ones because these are the coins, so they're more flattened. When we've looked at them and cut them, we've cut them so that you're getting more of those platelets almost reacting to the surface as opposed to the side. We've not gone for a 360 degree view on these as we might do with a round, which I have got coming up next. What we've gone for is almost more the two planes of this. Do you know what I mean? Can you see in this, as I'm moving it, how the light within the stone moves? Can you see as I'm sort of moving this, that actually you're getting these moments of colour that is bouncing, not from the body of the stone, but actually from the platelets within the stone? It's that kind of interest that's giving you that beauty. If you think about sunstone, which, you know, sometimes is known as a heliotrope, isn't it? If you know this... Um, adventure essence feldspar member then you will know that it is up against big 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 names within its feldspar family we talk about labradorite we talk about moonstone in that family don't we and, and they're big competitors actually with this stone i honestly think it's ramping up on some of your average strands of labradorite for sure and i would never normally say that this is a really beautiful strand. It is a real strand. It is completely natural strand. And it is yours to own today with something just a bit different. This is not the type of sunstone I normally bring you. Do you mind if I actually show you a sunstone that I do normally bring you? Do you mind? This is, I've got to say though, the quality on this is actually very, very good. I almost wish I had lesser quality to compare it to. But this is the type of sunstone I'm used to seeing, which is the opaque. This, in comparison, I just think it offers you so much more. 
personally. What do you think, Katie, about this one that I'm bringing now as opposed to your everyday normal sunstones? How do you think this surpasses those? I just love the fact that we've got these kind of like the, the coin shape. As I said earlier on to uh, Jenny about this this particular shape, it's one of my favourites at the moment. You know, we uh, I love the fact that we're kind of bringing you these different faceted um, shapes of gemstones. And I think this um, this actually, um, you know, it it really does kind of bring out the um, be beautiful nature of that you know, of, of that in within the coin itself. Um, and because it's on that sort of like flat surface as well, you know, you've got a fantastic um, sort of like flat surface, but with the um, faceting on there, it's just going to give you that little bit extra, you know, um, sparkle really. You know, you've got the fantastic rounds that you had and there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's sometimes, it's kind of like, you know, Sometimes you've got makeup on, sometimes you haven't. It's just that sort of, um, that sort of juxtaposition that sometimes it's the same person, but you know one's got makeup on and one hasn't, and it just looks completely different. It's like you know a sponge cake. You can have a chocolate sponge cake. You can have mm. you know like a coffee mm. sponge cake mm. or something like that. It's the same principle of cake. It's just that it's had something different done to it. You know, so and I think that's what makes these so fantastic. Even though they're all the same gemstone, they're all gonna add something completely different to a design. Totally. Fourteen ninety five is your closeout price. It is not today though. <laughs> <laughs> it is your closeout price on a normal day, but this is pick of the day. So it's not today, is what I actually meant. <laughs> you ready for this? You're probably not. But it's happening nonetheless. This is because it's pick of the day. I didn't realise it was going to that. That's not written on my sheet. <laughs> Eight pounds and ninety-five pence is today's closeout price point. That is less than I was expecting for the quality of this. You know, as I said before, I have seen other qualities, everyday qualities of sunstone. For me, this is not it. This surpasses it with the way that light shines through. And do you like the way that you almost get a brilliance inside these? And it's not just the sparkle of the adventurescence, is it? It's that glow inside, that brilliance. Can you see that? That gives a lovely glossy look, doesn't it? Do you think when you're wearing that in sunlight, it'd be even more impactful? Yeah, me too. It's a beauty. It really is. Congratulations to all who are getting this pick of the day. I've had someone asking when I'm going to do the big sunstone. That was Susan, did you say? Diane, sorry. Hiya, Diane. I'm going to be bringing it to you in about four minutes. I've got a small round and then I'll do that large one if you fancy. Lots of multi-buyers in on this one. A huge well done to you. More multi-buyers than anything else, actually. Are you thinking of going for that stacker bracelet design? Yeah, I would too. That's what I'd like that for. Huge well done. Um, this one is, as mentioned before, due to the shape of it, and we're cutting it as the coin, it's not 3D, it's your coin, you're getting those two planes. With this one, we've gone for that 360 visual. So with the 360 visual, you're getting the full vista of the stone. And that means that when you do see the adventurescence within this, it's stronger in color. It's like sunlight reflecting from a beach. What do you think? A beach. Do you see what I mean about how it's stronger in its colour, yeah. how it appears richer, almost fire opal. Actually, if this were an opal, it would probably be like the um, American fire opal we used to get, right? It's that kind of colouring. £14.95, it should be. Really? We're going to match that price, should we? Possibly not, actually, considering the carrot weight. And they are quite different, but £8.95, I'm going for you. It is Friday night. If you can't do a discount on a Friday night, when can you? And don't forget Mineral Man tonight. First time ever on Split Pay. Oh, yeah. Um, lovely, says Diane. <laughs> lovely. We're going to do it for you next, Diane. Thank you for messaging him. Diane's grabbing her hands on this one, too. Can I just give you a little show, 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 show or something? 
There's a few little things I want to just <coughs> drape in. I'm going to go for this. First off. Oh, come back. Pearls. This hour. Ooh. And Ooh. I want to show you it with that because I wanted to show you it with that. I think that works real nice. Yeah. They hug each other well. So um, they're coming up for you in this hour. Don't forget, Cashmere Peridot on its way. Diane, for you and anyone else, I'm going to bring you the big sunstone rounds now. Here they are. Now, these ones will be more considered in price, but obviously, check out that carrot weight. <laughs> it's huge. So these ones are more the everyday look I would expect, that more opaque look. So if you like more of a boldness in body colour, this is the one to go for most certainly than the previous ones. For me, I think they pair in so nicely because actually it's such a variation within them when you look at them closely. It's lovely to be able to say these are actually the same stone, but these are the different virtues of them. Bringing to you now your perfect rounds. 240 carats worth of the sunstone today. Under 20 pounds for you. 19 pounds and 95 pence today. 19.95. These are stunning, aren't they? They're like juicy peaches. They're absolutely stunning. Stunning. Diane. Um, you've requested this. You've checked it out. Do you fancy adding another one? It's up to you. It's up to you. <laughs> but, but, if you wanted to, we're just taking that price down for you a little bit. 10 95 now, Diane, and anyone else, of course. Dan, do you fancy, I say a little bit, it's a massive amount of that. Do you fancy a Reddick and Roll? Oh, go on. I'll come to you first. Right, I am bringing to you sensational quality here and just look at the quality of this for you. Look at the beauty we've got here. So are you going to be doing this maybe with pearls? Maybe a knotting technique to let them shine? Maybe you want to do it with some white pearls. Right, well what about if I showed you it with white pearls? And let me just see which one, which of these shapes you'd prefer with it. Would you go centre drilled? Or let's go to another strand. Let's go... Oh, this is a nice shape. What about these ones? These ones are your waist pearls, so these are, not, these are drilled at the longest point. Or let's go a bit textured. Ooh, drops. Ooh. They go well, don't they? Oh, actually, I'm thinking these look quite beachy. What about if we go pearl tumbles? What about if actually what we do is we bring all four of these in one? I've got all of them coming up in one strand in a moment or two. I think they'd go great. Personally, for me, these ones are really speaking to me for size with the uh, them. But also, I do like the nuggets with them. These ones, I think, are a bit more traditional. I might be pairing the more traditional ones with these. They're on the way for you. Works nice, doesn't it? Works nicely. Oh, yeah. How's about I bring you this strand now? Well done to all on that sunstone. Oh, my gosh. Dan, do not forget, after the price is in for this, to hoot at me, please. Okay. Thank you. I am bringing to <laughs> you your mixed shape freshwater pearl. This is one full metre's worth of your pearls. All of these today are in one place. So I'm going to bring to you this gorgeous sort of uh, tumble form. If you think about these almost forming in the mollusk, these ones that have got the baroque finish, that means they've got like a flattened base and slightly more domed. The flattened base is like a fingerprint of Mother Nature. It's where that flattened base will have been forming in the mollusk at the base of that pouch within that shell. It's really unique. I love those ones. These ones here that I'm bringing to you, They've got this lovely detail about them because they're sort of top drilled and they tessel and, and formulate this wonderful make. Love the idea of that in crochet. 
Then I'm bringing to you the waist pearls drilled at the longest point, giving you perfect drop, great for tassels. And then I'm bringing these ones to you, which have got, they're called potato, but they've nowhere near the potato texture. That have got that real nice traditional smoothness. Today, I've got a full meter. So we're saying that these are, you know, four strands, let's say, because you're getting four different types on you. It is one continual, obviously, but. So that'd be about 20 quid, about 20 quid a strand. We're on air though. Let's give you somewhere extra. Remember, when we just used to do one meter of pearls, you know, they'd be up around that price actually, wouldn't they, originally? Just think about recreating that bracelet. £6.98 for each style. Yeah, really. £27.95. That's your deal on this one today. £27.95. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hooting at me. The reason is I do not want to forget to show you this with the Night Owl. Oh, it's a beauty. It is a beauty. Now, this is very special indeed. How incredible is that Christ Cola, Katie? Oh, my word. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah? Yeah. That is, do you know what? That goes perfectly with the pearls, doesn't it? It's a bit different, but I thought it would go nicely. That is stunning. I love that. Do you know what? I'd put that with the first boutique kit as well. <gasps> yep. With the spinel. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. divine. Shall I give you a little nudge, nudge, wink, wink? If you bought this that's on screen right now and you added to it this, you could get both of them for less than £50. Less than £50. You work out the maths. 745 this is. Oh, and you know what? Let's just do it. sumptuous isn't it cashmere paradise this is everything we could have hoped for and more right that's on its way for you six o'clock mineral man on split pay ouch that will happen soon i don't know it's because i keep saying mineral man i don't know just like, i've just got this image of alex being like what um anyway well done let me bring to you some malachite rounds now and these ones are really unique because they're faceted we don't get to see that that often do we what do you love about faceted mu uh, mukite, faceted malachite like this, Katie, please? Do you know what? I absolutely love this colour. If Malachite is just such a beautiful gemstone as well because it's got those striations and the rings through it as well. You know, it's just got that fantastic kind of colour to it. Mm. With the facets as well, it just adds that new dimension to it. I mean, you can see the, the, the kind of the rings on there, but mm. when you're seeing it in the light and it's actually flashing at you with the fact that the... Um, facets there um, you know it absolutely takes on a completely different personality you know it's just stunning I'd love to put this with um, a black spinel or even mm. chrome diopside I think actually you know absolutely fantastic mm. I love the idea of this would you put it with the 4 mil uh, spinel in the boutique kit or would you put it with the 8 mil boutique yes. strand spinel both, both. love it <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it is a stone that many designers are working with right now. And today we will give you an on-air deal. If you are new to us, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Becky. All of these discounts I do only last whilst we're live on air. So do seize the moment. Better than a bog of price. Um, £9.95 pence for you today. It is three, uh, sorry, 35 carats worth. And if you did want to do a buy one, get one free on this, then even then you're going to get a discount on it. Should I show you this with a peridot? Should I? Because you know what? Green on green should always be seen, in my yeah. opinion. Because you see it in Mother Nature all the time. It's never just one type of green, is it? In fact, how weird would that look? If you looked out at a window or if you looked out, you know, in like a documentary, you know, like a um, Attenborough documentary and there was, everything was just one shade of green, yeah, it would look, it would look really weird. Oh, look at them together. Oh, my word. Oh, that is just beautiful. Fan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 9 95 for you today. 
I will bring to you now, if I may, some spaces to take these further. So you were talking about the banding earlier on. And if you think about the banding over malachite, that's what we look for. If you're imagining two rounds next to each other, they kind of butt up next to each other, don't they? By putting a spacer in between, you're actually letting them breathe so that you're going to be able to see more of that banding. How's about I bring to you the quality these deserve, sterling silver. So I've got a few sterling silver. You're getting 40 pieces of these ones today, and these are in your solid sterling silver. Bringing these ones in between the peridot, as you can see there, and actually looking at that design, how easy would that be to recreate with these? Right? So all you would do is make a beady bead with these peridots, 6.45 on these, by the way. And then, at that time, obviously, um, and then pop the little spaces in between to let them breathe. And then, was that finished off with a slider, was it? I think it was. There it is. So you could recreate something like that with these ones. Makes your gemstones go further, lets you see all the way around them. Today, to bring it to you. Well, that is a very good price. Under a tenner, and I don't mean by a five pence. Five pounds, 95 for you today with this one. It's 95 solid selling silver, five pounds and 95 pence. Remember, these ones are solid sterling silver. You've got great quality over these ones, and you are getting 40 of them. They're going to look lovely in those designs to space ones out. And in fact, if you look, say, for example, at this cashmere strand I've got coming up for you, um, these have got little two mil spaces in between. These ones are base metal because it's just for stranding purposes. But can you see how with the two in between, it makes them sit nicely? Mm. Otherwise, they'd be a bit too tussled yeah. on one another, wouldn't they? So it works really well for that. I've got tourmaline not too long away for you, don't forget. Those lovely colours. And, of course, the lavender pearls. Ooh. To be able to see moonstone drops is very unusual. But a drop like this can catch the light beautifully. And when it does catch the light in, say, a tassel design, it gives you a beautiful opportunity to get real sheen and shiller. What would you do with a graduated strand like this, please, to show off that shiller? Well, do you know what? I would actually, <laughs> going back to it again, uh, booty kit that we had earlier on yeah. I would actually interlock each of these because they're graduated with the uh, spinel so you've got like the larger oh, spinel stunning. and then you know you've got like the, the smaller spinel as well stunning. and then it, it, you could create a really really sort of um, statement graduated necklace with this stunning as well stunning idea oh I love it I need it I want it if you grab that boutique kit which had 41% discount add this to your basket it's not going to cost you much to top up and today for 100 carats worth of the drops unusual for us to see in this stone we are doing 34.99 I <laughs> could stay there but shan't should we yeah Absolutely. If you, you compare us to our competitors, if you compare uh, our prices to, for example, what you might be paying for three of these in each earring in a high street shop, then yeah, we should be staying there. But we're not going to because we're live on air. We want to give you some treats. We want to give you these discounts for the first time ever Mineral Man Split Pay starting at seven nineteen pounds and 95 pence for you today on this one. It is an absolute sensation of a treat that you've got on this um just whilst i'm thinking of it and um, i saw the lovely Gemma crow earlier on and Gemma was saying to me that on this thursday coming she is going to be doing the beginner's hour but the hour after it as well so she's going to be in with us in the six o'clock and in the seven o'clock just thought i'd let you know that whilst i'm thinking of it but the reason i'm thinking of that is because um i was trying to um Gem the other day about this exhibition that she's got going on and um there's some pieces in that exhibition 
which are kind of moonstone lead and that's what made me think of that uh, and this has definitely got that feeling hasn't it of moon the moon the lunar look and i've got those lunar um the, the crescent moons from mineral man coming up for you in the next hour no seven o'clock hour that are sensational tourmaline in five minutes Leave a back earrings in rose gold up for you now. Can I just ask you, Katie, as a dedicated follower of fashion, <laughs> what, what do you think is happening with rose gold now, now, right now? It's been, it was one of those that was kind of big for a bit and then it went away and then it was big for a bit and then it went away. And now it seems to have been huge for years. Where, what do you think of rose gold and where it's going? Well, rose gold is actually not going anywhere. Yeah, um, agreed. You know, I, again, I watched the um, the online catwalk shows and things mm, like that. Mm. And a lot of guest, uh, guest designers, a lot of designers. Designers, yeah. <laughs> um, and a lot of their uh, collections, looking at the jewellery and things like that, you know, um, Dolce & Gabbana, Gucci, even Versace, they were using very, very bright, bold colours, lots of patchwork. Um, and in order to kind of bring that all together, the rose gold, I think, has elements of all of the metal. So you've got mm. the silver, obviously, you've got the gold as well. And I think it's just like, it's basically, it's like a rosé wine. You're going to mix your, your, your white wine and your red wine just to create a beautiful rosé wine. And, and this is where... You do know that's not how you make <laughs> rosé wine, right? I know it isn't, but... <laughs> no, you know, I know what you mean. My, but my... Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's um, all about cakes and wine on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, so all of these elements come together to make the rose gold, and it's all like the different elements that create that sort of colour. Hmm. But then you see it's going to help sort of um, be a background and a neutral to all of the big bright colours. So you can put your peridots with it, you can put your lapis lazuli with it, you can put, you know, like a... a, a, a bright bold citrine with it as well so it's going to be able to take all of those colors so it's mm. a definitely it's it's one you know it, it's one that takes one for everything you know this is versatile this is therefore a stash top for wrapper wrap. not been seen since september today for you it is your rose gold plated lever back earrings five pairs you get obviously here's your hinge section just open one up there for you how it looks when it's closed £2.59 per pair sorry let's just collaborate that in our minds go into the well-known shop go into one of your high street shops think about stud earrings and the price they would be in sterling silver and this is the way i'll put it to you the well-known shop near me that you can go and get your ears pierced in their studs at the moment where well, last time i looked they were 12 99 the well-known supermarket that Jamie Oliver used to love working with. And I think Top Loader were fans of them for a bit as well. You know the ones I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, in their end of their stands, Swivelly Bits, have a sterling silver section in the shop down the road. And it says sterling silver jewellery from £7. And the thing that's £7 is an individual nose stud. Yeah. Tiny. That's it. So actually, that's seven quid. Twelve pound ninety nine for a pair of earrings. How am I doing twelve ninety five for five pairs when these aren't stud earrings? They're lever backs. It's amazing, really, when you think, isn't it? Thirty these, minutes. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Sorry, well, these are perfect as well because we're all sort of having to wear masks and things like that. Instead of taking it off and putting it over, going putting it down and going, where is it? Yeah. Make yourself a lovely little, I don't know, pearl sort of like neck bit. Pop that on the end, and then pop that on either side of your face mask. Oh. And then you can interchange Genius. it, you know, take it off when you wash it, and then put it, put it back on again. So use it for that as well, you know. That's too good of an what? idea. I think we've peaked. <laughs> um, well done. I love that idea. That's so clever. Yeah, because those face mask toggles, as a lot of people are calling them, aren't they? Yeah. The actual things that are almost like your glasses chain, but for your face mask, they're really big at the minute. Anyway, well done to all of you. 30 minutes, approximately, until I bring to you a Kashmiri Peridot Showcase. I've then got for you, for the first time ever, Mineral Man products on split pay. Some of them are brand new. You might never have seen them before. As well as all of that, I am now going to bring to you one of the most complex stones in the world. Final 50 of my tourmaline.
I'm bringing to you a palette of tourmaline. If you imagine, you know, painting, and actually, Katie, Katie um, does. You'll you'll probably find it on her social media, but Katie does quite a bit of artwork and painting, and and Katie's really into sort of. Um, what do you, do you call them journals or do you call them scrapbooks? What do you um, call them? Yeah, like just mixed media. Mixed media yeah, journals, journals and things yeah. like that. If you think about creating things like that and you think about that moment when you sit down, and I love creating things like that. I love sitting down. And I love putting out on my palette or board or whatever it might be um, all of your different colours, and they're really, really fresh and really vibrant. But then you kind of get a theme in your mind. You want something that's almost wind in the willows changing of the seasons in autumn you think about the beautiful colors of this time of year and actually you take the paints that are almost sort of quite insipid sometimes and and sometimes they're they're uh, almost too bold sometimes they're quite um sort of ostentatious and then you mix them and all of a sudden they become this more delicate more real set of colors does that make sense Sometimes when you get a colour out of a tube, and this is one thing that a lot of people are taught when you're you're learning how to paint, you're learning sort of the rules of painting, not that there are any, but a lot of the time you are taught to never use a colour straight out of the palette. You want to mix them, you want to alter them, you want to change them. If you imagine getting your palette with your range of colours and then mixing them to mimic the forests around us, the parks we're walking in right now, I think this would be that palette. The beautiful, intense, mottled colours of leaves changing in the seasons. Those lovely pinks mimicking those berries that are coming out at the moment in time for Christmas. Those wonderful, almost frozen greens that looks similarly to uh, sort of lambs here in our gardens or, or even some of the foliage that you might see on those winter flowering ivies. This is a colour palette of our time. And it's in a genuine gemstone. I'm about to bring this beauty to you with those wonderful faceted colours. I am bringing to you a mixed range of hues within here. I've got cyber light colours in here, which I am always obsessed to see. And I've got to say, I've got two cyber light splits in this, one on each side. Almost in dicolite colours in areas. Not a million miles away, some might say from Paraba hues as well in places. I have got for you 50 only available, I'm afraid. 50 only available. But I'm going to give you an opportunity today. My producer Danny is going to me, what? This is the price. This is gonna fly. <laughs> he doesn't speak anything like that. It's weird. That Sometimes he does. Have it? That was uncanny. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> These are going to fly. <laughs> like he's some sort of wicked witch of the West. <laughs> Which we only call him behind his back. Anyway. <laughs> No, we don't. We call you much worse things. Um, <laughs> of course we don't. Um, 30 carats worth of your beautifully painted natural mind. I know I'm talking about paints. So this is natural. But painted by nature. Colour palette of your tourmaline. Today, this is going to fly. £9.95. It's because it's a star by price. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to seize, seize, seize the moment. Pair it with something bold like the night owl. It can handle it, so do it. Pair it with something more genteel, such as the pick of the day, and go off to more summer hues, possibly. Maybe you want to really give this a zip and a zing. If this is autumnal, let's add some spring. There you go. It is one of those fans that goes with so much. It will go so far. It will work beautifully. Pop it, you know, bubble style design it with some chain like this would look incredible, wouldn't it? That'd look really special. Pair it even, why not? With that exemplary opal I brought to you before, size-wise, it just works. I think that is such a good price for this strand. What do you think, Katie? I love good, this. I love tourmaline because it, it kind of gives you a, um, a look of 
vintage i think it's mm, got those mm. kind of colors in there that give you a really nice sort of like vintage look to mm. it as well but then you've got like you say the zing and the zest of like spring and Definitely. it's just beautiful i think it this is this is the the strand that just keeps on giving so i think it appeals to everybody look there's, point. there's something there for everybody yeah i'm bringing it to you at 9.95 well done all that's not far off by the way hour away max the pearls are less than 10 minutes oh hello what do you think imperial topaz these are sizable these are sizable what is it that you like about strands like this that are shaded? For you as a designer, Katie, what does that give? Well, it, it, you know, sometimes we say as guest designers, oh, when I took the strand out of the, out of the um, parcel, it spoke to me. Well, this is what we kind of mean. You Which know, is why we think you're all weirdos. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it, and you, as soon as you see that strand the way it is, a design will come to your head straight away. Totally. Just because you're being influenced by how it's been stranded as well. Mm. So that in, in its way is a really, really nice way of kind of designing as well. Because the strand is basically saying, this is what I want you to do with me. Exactly. You know? And so, do you know what? Yeah. That's so funny because it is true, isn't it? Let's be honest. You know, gemstones do talk to us, right? They do. Sometimes they they almost hint at what they want to be you know you look at them on screen and you might have an idea but then you get them home and you actually see them and they do mm. almost say to you actually you know that idea you had what about pairing me with x y and z yeah. and you are totally right with the colors that these are in it would be difficult for me now looking at it to use it in any other order than it is yes but i could if i wanted yeah exactly We've got for you the opportunity, therefore, for creativity. And sometimes this is nice. When it looks like this, it, it can be an easy make if you want it to be. Obviously, you're the creator, you're the designer, you can create what you wish. But sometimes when it's like this, it can just be an easy make. This could be a simple restrand. Pop some of the sterling silver spaces in, all the gold spaces that we did before in between. Pop a bit of chain on the back and it's done. Because actually, sometimes a simple make will speak louder than more complex makes. And I believe for this strand anyway, because we've ordered that colour and because of the size of these, bear in mind in the centre, you're looking at over seven and a half mil. I believe that actually you could go big, bold catwalk look in a very simplistic way. You don't have to go OTT in design. Mm. So if you do want one of those makes that's a quick make that will make you smile, this is Imperial Topaz. We know how special the term Imperial is and we know how special this is with that location as well. It is 78 carats worth 39.95 usually. <sighs> But we are live on air. If we can give you a little bit of nudging movement, we're going to, especially today with the first time ever split pay on Mineral Man products coming up from seven, that hour is going to be gargantuan. Elephantine, in fact. £16.95 is your deal. Do you not know how to order? If you don't, free phone numbers at the side of your screen. Look, 0800 655. If you press option one, you get through to a call centre. If you press option two, you've got the help desk. So if you've got any questions, you can ask them. Jurymaker.com, you can join us that way too if you prefer using the internet. Or you can download and tap the app as well. It's free. But that's how you can get involved. That's how you can join us. And um, I would say do feel free to join us because um, we've got some real treats coming up. I have to say I was looking at these before. Well done to you on that. Oh, my gosh. Right. The first... I, I just got to show you it with the pearls. I have to. If you have a look at this strand of pearls, pick, you know, a section. If you're looking at this strand of pearls and you're thinking, that's very elegant. That's very... You know what? We were talking about that TV show before and we were saying in your kit, you know, the, the pearls are very sort of Charlotte, you know, very traditional. Mm. And then we were talking about sort of Samantha and her design and her character being maybe a bit more edgy. 
if this right now is Charlotte, it's just gone Samantha. Ooh, yes. She what do you standing. think of this? <laughs> Solid sterling silver and rose gold within this Roski crystal. Now, um, a lot of you will know that the, over the last few days I've been watching Corrie because I've been catching up and I've been putting it on my stories because um, there was doing a picture of the outside the Rover's Return and I was like, hey, oh, Rebecca Redican Rover's Return? I could have that, that window. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you uh, do follow me, you will know I've been watching Corrie and the reason I am bringing that up now is because in Coronation Street at the moment, and I won't do any plot spoilers, but there is a character whose son has come over to visit and this character is trying to depict the son, is trying to depict how rich the family he lives with is. So it's the mum and the stepdad, how rich the stepdad is. And it explains that he's got this very expensive bike and it cost him five grand. And one character goes, what is it covered in Swarovski crystals? And then he goes, oh no, it's made out of this really light thing. And he's like, but he has got a console, and that's covered in Swarovski. And then, again, later on, it's mentioned, okay, you know, save your money, save your money. He goes, all right, I'll just get you one Swarovski pendant. And it was like, yeah, right. The whole point of that name being used is to prove the kind of luxury status, the, that bike was five grand, must have been Swarovski. I wouldn't even be able to afford a single pendant because of the name Swarovski. This is a name that is synonymous with luxury and expense. And I believe when you look at this and you see that sparkling quality and I flip it and you see that 925 stamp status and you see it's rose gold, I think you can understand why the name of Swarovski has always been synonymous with luxury, expense and high end finishes. You know, the elite of mm. crystals. I think it's safe to say, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Bear that in mind. Because I tell you what, Corey will be on to us at this point. They will. They will. They will. They'll be like, hang on. I'm going to make one of them bikes. This is a real Swarovski crystal. You know, this is the type of crystals that they sell in their stores. And they sell with their precious metals. And Swarovski do when you go in. £21.95. Usually, we're live on air. We want to give you a deal. We want to, you know, this is what we love about you tuning in um, because we give you live on air deals and you get discounts and then hopefully you come back to us and then we carry on going and crafting and creating as a channel and we share this experience together. That's why we give you discount deals whilst we're live on air. This time tomorrow, it'll be back up to 22 quid. But for now and now alone, it's 9.95. Let's think of it this way. Anyone want to pop a little bit of this uh, on, on a little bit a little bit of metal and making that into a ring? Wouldn't that look incredible? What about actually with some of our same quality metal, the lever back earrings? Just bob that on there. Easy Ooh, peasy yeah. done. And this, by the way, does look like it's open. Yeah, it is. That's open. I wouldn't even need a jump ring. I'll just open that section, pop it on, jobs are good in. It's stunning, isn't it? I've got to bring the next one to you. And I'm just going to say this must be the most popular because I looked at the, at the beads in it and I'm just blown away. Take a bit of quiet time and then start dialing. Can you see that step cut inside, which does not look a million miles away from the likes of something Glenn Lira might cut? You know what I mean? With that step cut design. Three left. Uh-oh. Bongos. If you fancy grabbing it then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was so weird. In my defense, though, I wish you could see Katie beside me doing an impression of Kate Winslet in Titanic. <laughs> Uh, so if you thought that was weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. eight ninety five for you. Two left um, if I'm lucky. One left. Oh no, it's gone. Must have gone. Oh no, is it? Oh okay, two left. Sorry, I had someone come in and buy three. Uh, that is about to sell out. I've got Suffolk who wants it, and I've got Essex who wants it. So it's a good look opportunity. Um, nice work to you all. It's a beauty, that isn't it? Let me bring to you now, if I may. 
some seriously sizable pearls. When we talk about pearls and we talk about mollusks, let me just remind you, every real type of pearl in the world is formed in a mollusk of some sort. Whether that be a coir pearls, whether that be Tahitian pearls, whether that be freshwater pearls, every single one is formed in a mollusk. And the mollusk itself creates an organic referred to as nacre. And this is what is built up over time to create a pearl. These mollusks that live in water are kept to the premium, the utmost of quality. They are looked after, they are adored in nurseries whereby we create these pearls. Some areas of the nursery will be for kind of quick turnaround pearls. Pearls that maybe a large nucleus is placed within them and they're possibly left, let's say, for a year or two. And then there are some that to get to the size they need to be, have to be left in there for two years, three years, five years. The ones I'm about to bring to you now, because of the size of these, could well have been in these mollusks seven, eight years. These are huge. They are a luxury. But if you want that boldness and statement look, this is your star by. When I did my original training, um, my AJP, to become an accredited jewellery professional, I did that with the Gemological Institute of America. And the interesting thing that you may or may not know about the first step in, in, into the AJP is that about, I'd say, 80% of the AJP is about diamonds, about 80%. From that, an offshoot of that, the rest of it really is about your coloured gemstones. Beyond that, you have to do extra levels and extra steps to do different ones. But the AJP is a basis. About 80% on diamonds, clarity, cutting them, um, you know, the different colours, etc. And then about 20% on all of the coloured gemstones. If you go to the GIA... And you want to learn about pearls, that is a whole other element. If you want to learn about them, there is no confusion with anything else. It's not you spend 80% of your time on pearls and then 20% of your time on colored gemstones. It's not. Because this is something which is almost a dedicated individual within the gem world. It is one of our best known and most prestigious organics of our planet. And in this instance, for the size, it's one of our most luxurious. These are up to nine millimeter. That is a luxury size. I'm going to give you one minute till the graphics come in. And this is a good forewarning. This is a good forewarning so that everybody knows they can treat themselves to it when they can. I think the computer, just as I've said that, has gone a little bit nervous, but we'll see if we can load it. This is boldness. This is beauty. I tell you what, we'll give you the clock now. And once that gets back to the top, the graphics will come in. The sizeability of these is exemplary. Now, do you mind, Katie, just nudging that your neck? Exactly. I didn't even need to finish my sentence. You just got it. And I love that. You're an angel. Thank you. I just want to show you this because I want to show you, first off, how perfectly it goes with the pearls from the kit. These were from the Bijou, the, the luxury kit, sorry. Uh, the boutique kit. 
Just look at the beauty and the color of these ones and how great the color matches. But also I just wanted to show you size-wise the difference. There is a big, 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 big luxury strand here, which for me would go phenomenally well with those ones in that kit if you did get it. We are going to launch the graphics for this in 10 seconds. If you're getting on the phone line, I'd suggest you start dialing now if you haven't already. Good luck. Your graphics are now live and you can now own these and own them. I think you will want to. These are something special. These are those types of pearls you can imagine, sort of, you know, in, in, in the 20s or the 30s, people aspiring to own. These are the types of, oh, you're joking me. It's just hit limited stock already. People are coming in, checking out. Checking out, checking out, checking out. Okay, we're already now limited stock. So what this means is you do have to seize the moment. It is beautiful. I mean, I could wax, wax lyrical about these for at least another 40 minutes. Quite frankly, we just have not got the time bringing to you the opportunity now to get luxury size pearls and to get that wonderful mega, mega look with, for example, imagine you're, you're, you're knotting these up and not in between because these are your luxury size. This isn't a 100 pound necklace. This is a 150 to 200 pound necklace. That's what we're dealing with here because of that size. You know me, don't you, Tracy? Sheila does too. Sue J gets what I'm doing. Mary knows my game, as does Amanda. You're all thinking, this, funnily enough, there's a new buyer coming in on this in fact there's two new buyers with it in the basket and you're probably looking at this and you're going i cannot believe they're real pearls for that price they are real pearls but you're right they're not for that price this is what i do if i ignore the price for a bit that's me nudging you to go check it out before the queue hits 14 pounds and 95 pence for you today yes they're real yes they're genuine and yes with the kit that we brought you before, just to, if you are new, with the kit we brought you before, this would be a great kit to get with it. It was a boutique kit. You had a 41% discount. Because in there, you've got silk. And you were saying that you did a technique um, that would be quite good yeah. to watch back on. Remind us when that was. That was at the 2 o'clock hour. Yes, 2 o'clock hour. Yeah. So, after the show today, if you go on YouTube, to make a note of today's date. And at 2 o'clock, we did a demo that you could use to recreate this sort of design maybe with the pearls yeah so if you are brand new when you get this to you and if you buy the kit you can look back on youtube and you could follow that demonstration that you could use with this i think that's such a good price oh you're joking i've got hardly any left sneak oh was no it's going it's going it's going it's going i've got to squeeze one more in actually because that is about to sell out do you know what it'd go really nice with actually what do you think? Great, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let me bring you something much more genteel now. Bringing to you your pre-night. Um, Katie! Tell us what you love about this strand, please. Do you know what? Pre-night is something that we haven't seen very, very often. And it's kind of getting on a little bit more, you know, we're kind of getting to see it a little bit more mm. and i love the fact that you've got the rutilate the rutilation mm. in there as well with the the black sort of like striations in there and i think it would go great again if i want to you know if you did get the kit the boutique kit with the spinel i think this would look perfect with that i actually had a kit um a couple of uh, weeks ago with this and uh, some silver hematite and i did like a pico edge with it and it looked really vintage it looked really nice so this is another one that's actually really really um, cool to kind of go with different colours as well. Mm. I love that idea mm. with those colours. Um, £23.95. pence. A lovely look for these ones. And do you know what I really like about it? It just goes to show when I pair it with the cashmere, just how impactful that cashmere is. Nine ninety five now on this because you're watching live on air. Lovely to be with you. My name is Becky. Um, if you wish to um, find out about what Katie's up to and you want to know when she's next around and what she's next making, you can find her on our socials. Oh, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. So do feel free to head on over. You can find her on, in fact, 
this is the same to be said for a lot of our guest designers. If you type in their full name and put JM Guest Designer before it, more often than not, yeah. you'll see them rocking up on there. <laughs> so if you go on Facebook and type in JM Guest Designer Katie Reed, you will be able to like that page and see what she's up to. And it's the same for the presenters generally. It's it's full name and then the word presenter. So mine is Rebecca Redican Presenter. So you can do that for anyone. Um, well done to you. Um, speaking of what you've been up to recently, what have you been making? Oh, I got given the periodo. Oh, tell me about how it was to work with. I love that design. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, and again. As we said earlier on about gemstones speaking to you, you showed the um, the inspiration earlier on with the beady beads. That mm. would be perfect mm. to do this, but I wanted to do something a little bit different for these, you know. I love those earrings. Those are so on trend right now, aren't they? Ooh, I like that technique. Is that little moving tassel? Yes, yeah. We have got for you those peridot. They'll be up for you in about 45 minutes. Katie, thank you so much for today. When are you next on? I'm back Ooh, on the 13th on the morning show. Unlucky for some, but not for us. <laughs> Katie, thank you so much <laughs> for <you>. today. <laughs> we have got the cashmere peridot. The peridot, which is for many, the premium peridot. As well as that, from Seven, I've got for the first time ever Mineral Man products on split pay. And this is just a couple of them. Do not go anywhere. We're going to be back with you with so much more in a few minutes. Hello, jewellery makers. We are live with you every day from 8am to 8pm. If you watch us on Freeview at 5pm, we may appear to disappear, but we don't. There are lots of ways that you can continue to still watch your beloved jewellery maker. And they are Sky, Virgin, Freesat, the Jewellery Maker website, YouTube, or the Jewellery Maker app, which is available for your smartphone or tablet. So, whichever way you choose to watch Jewellery Maker, we are always here for you to create, wear and share. Where have you been, Brucingham? <sighs> Neary the Eighth's gone wild. He says we have to have the jewellery maker's biggest ever giveaway on record ever. What are we going to do? I can't compete with that wretched Bing Berlin woman. And as for Claire of Wirework, they're coming up with ideas left, right and centre. And I'll be for the chop. It's got to be an off-the-head deal. <sighs> Let's consult the scrying stone. I've got one here. I see. I see a fabulous Aulis boat. An Aulis boat? It's not even Brucingham, how's it going to float for a start? Mm. I'm sure we haven't invented those yet. I'll consult again. I see a luxurious horseless carriage. A horseless carriage? Well, how are we going to get about with no horse, Brucingham? Think again, it's got to be good. I have an idea. <gasps> what say you, Bing Berlin? Give me an off the head prize. A workshop, my king. More. A workshop of their choice, my king. More. The kit included, my king. Okay, you're dismissed. What say you, Claire of Wirework? What off the head prize have you got for me? I have a piece of jewellery from each designer for the winner. What else? A puppy. Puppies? We can't give away puppies. I'll send you to the tower if this continues. <gasps> Good Lord. What say you, Brucingham, and you, Jen Seymour? A huge bundle of prizes from Gemporia. What else? Over £2,000 of jewellery maker goodies. What else? 10% off your order for the lucky winner for three months, and that's every order. What else? A credit to your account. That's better. You've saved yourself this time. These prizes are off the head. This Sunday at Jewelry Maker. Woo! Woo! 
Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Hi, I'm Linda here at Jewelry Maker. I've got a really, really exciting launch coming up on November the 12th and it's shrink plastic now when I say that we've moved on a lot we have we now have tools we have incredible tools that we have sourced from um, a lovely lady in the US of A um, who does the majority of her her craft work is shrink plastic and shrink plastic jewelry making um, we have her exclusive molds which are incredible so um not only do we have the molds we're also going to have shrink plastic pre-cuts we're also going to have um some fantastic templates that our own debbie bulford has made for us so i hope that you'll join me and the rest of the team on november the 12th for this very exciting launch see you then Without doubt, the Caribbean is a place of warm sand and cool drinks. But it is also a place of mystery and history. From the shores of Havana to the beaches of Puerto Rico and the mountain ranges of Hispaniola. It is in these epic mountain ranges of Hispaniola, at one specific location, that Larimar is found. It is only at this hidden location, inside of a dead volcano, that Larimar is mined. This remote community of miners spends most of their days inside the mines, driving deep, precarious shafts into the dead volcano, often hundreds of meters. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to The Late Show. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Becky and I have got for you one of the most highly revered and difficult peridots for us to source on the planet. Bringing this hour to you is something that myself and the whole of our team have been speaking about for over a week now. Being able to bring in this one-off parcel, and as per usual, I do have to make it very, very clear, this is not the type of peridot that we can rest our hat on. This is not the type of gemstone that we can rest on our laurels and go, well, of course we're going to have that in again. This isn't like other stones, like sapphire and ruby, that I could pretty much bet my bottom dollar that every single day I could source a strand for you at least if I wanted to this isn't that this is a premium peridot 
Just as a brief overview, because I'm well aware we have had new buyers in today. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining the family. And thank you very much for, you know, being part of what is sure to be an incredibly creative journey. When we talk about peridot, peridot, you might hear it called peridot. That's um, like an American uh, pronunciation. But yeah, peridot or peridot, if you will is a stone which actually defies many of the others anyway. It is a stone that, like diamond, forms in the mantle of our earth. Now, we do always say this, but it is absolutely true. If you think about, for example, an apple, and you think about slicing an apple in half, the skin of that apple, the thickness of that is like the crust of our planet. And then the actual juicy flesh on the inside is like the mantle. If you did the same to our planet, you sliced it in half. The crust that we all live on, that we all dwell on, that we now and again dig into for gemstones, the crust that we live on takes up a tiny amount it's the mantle that takes up the vast majority and density of our planet, of our Earth. It is much larger than the crust of the Earth. However, very, very few gemstones can survive there. One reason for that is because of what the mantle is majoritively made of. It is magma. It is heat. The mantle is where the roaring, burning heart of every single volcano on this planet dwells. When you think about volcanoes and those huge kimberlite pipes, and you think about the churning and movement within the mantle and that swelling of heat and pressure, and you think about, you know, lava flows, you think about that, all of that starts its life in the mantle of the earth. There are very few stones, therefore, that can actually live there and dwell there because it is just so treacherous. Very few things will survive a lava flow, a lava slick, because of the heat, because of how it is in its, in its, in its whole element, its whole being and the whole magnitude of it. Very few things will, will survive there. So the fact that, like diamond, peridot does, already makes this a standout stone. The fact that this is Kashmir takes it to a different level. This is not just a stone that forms in the mantle of our earth, making it different. This is a stone that forms in the mantle of our earth, but then is pushed to the crust of our earth, because obviously we wouldn't be able to get to it if, we, if it was in the mantle, would we? We wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to mine this, we wouldn't be able to source this. It's because of the volcanic activity that we're able to get this. So again, that kimberlite pipe and also the offshoots from that kimberlite pipe, pushing up now and again this magma and pushing up debris alongside it. Now and again, small elements of peridot can be pushed out from this. For In fact, not too long ago at all, um, in America, there was some activity, um, volcanic activity, and those volcanic, the volcanic activity, it was like a smouldering volcano. It didn't actually properly kind of erupt. It was a smouldering volcano. And people were actually walking out into their garden and they were finding tiny, tiny little dotlets of green everywhere. I don't know if this might have just been me and where I was, but last night um, there was loads and loads of fireworks and there was loads of, you know, people having a great time. There was bonfire and everything. But I don't know if it's just me, but when I got out to my car today, there was lots of little sort of specklets where kind of ash had fallen to, to, to uh, you know, just like around the car and things. Imagine that, but those little specklets being peridot and landing in your garden. That happened not that long ago. And again, it's because of the pressure and it's because of all the movement of, of, of this region. And in fact, you know, on that side of the Atlantic, if you will, there are certain places that you will go, such as Peridot Beach, and it is green coloured sand because it was a very active volcanic region at one point. And so the sand now actually looks green because of this Peridot movement. That already is unusual. That already is different. That already makes this quite an odd and unusual gemstone. But that is not this gemstone. That is peridot in general. What I'm bringing is the elite. Kashmir peridot is from 
one of the highest mining regions on our planet. You may well hear me say, now and again, 3,000 metres above sea level. Can I just try and get that into our mind for a second? Can we just try and sort of collaborate what that would be, yeah? Think about the Empire State Building. Imagine standing next to the Empire State Building and looking up at it. Now, I, I've worked in America. I've seen the Empire State Building. I have done just that. I don't luckily suffer from vertigo or anything like that, but I felt dizzy. Just standing there and looking up, it made me feel really odd, really bizarre because the kind of peak that I could see was so far away to me, my whole body couldn't almost take it in. Imagine the Empire State Building and double the height of that. So put another Empire State Building on top of another Empire State Building and that is still only around about a thousand meters in height. So 3,000 meters above sea level is massive. This is actually from 4,000 meters above sea level. It is one of the most difficult mining regions on our planet. But that is why its name, Kashmir, is so important. Let's learn a little bit more about this incredible location, if we may. Take a little look at this first slide. This gives you a lovely overview, but also I have picked out a picture of the actual mining region just to give you an idea of its beauty. As always, please do feel free to read this at your own leisure, but I just want to pinpoint a few things. First off, the striking first impression. And let's face it, I've been showing you all of these strands all day and it has been striking, right? It is a bold and charming gemstone. It talks to you about best describing the colour as lime or apple green, um, but with all of its subtle golden, t uh, golden undertones intact. That is definitely what we've got here, right? As I'm placing this against my skin and I am moving it, I can see limes. I can see apple hues, but I can see that golden colour underneath as well. When we go on to read more in this, it talks about the mining area. And I think this is really important for us to remember. I've already said to you this is around about 4,000 metres above uh, sea level. So what does that mean? Well, due to the high altitude and extreme weather conditions in the mining area, this gemstone can only be mined in summer. We're looking at around about a two and a half to three month window in mining this. All that needs mining for the whole of the industry who want, nay often demand, cashmere quality because it's seen as a pinnacle point. All of that has to be gotten in the space of two and a half to three months at that altitude. That is why this is one of the rarest and lesser seen peridots on our planet. You do not see this every day, do you? At all. Definitely not. If we go and have a little look, again, do do read it at your own uh, pace, but it says on here, prices for the stone have been on the rise since 2005. And trust me, you know, you're going to be able to sort of work that out later. Have a look at my next slide, if you may. And in this one, this is just to give you an idea of stones. This is just to give you an idea of pieces. And the reason I, and I'm not saying that these are like for like, because they're not. Uh, first off, mine's got a drill hole in it, and, you know, that one is rare um, peridot from Pakistan, and it's a 10 mil. Um, but the reason I picked that is because I really liked the shape, and the reason I picked that once I'd seen the shape was kind of made me think of these ones. Again, it's not like for like, ours are smaller, but that shape, it kind of makes me think of that, doesn't it? It's not a million miles away, is it? The size on these ones, the um, the top drilled ones that we've got, the top drilled um, squares, the fasted squares, you're looking there. Those, the one you're looking at there is around about 10 millimeter. These ones in the center are nine mil. So th th that one you're looking at there is quite a bit bigger. That's 10 mil as a nine mil. That stone there, 311 pounds 17. 
I am bringing to you one final slide that I think will go great to bear in mind for this strand. Now this is cashmere peridot, which is exactly what I'm bringing to you. And those ones you've got there, you can see with a necklace, it's got a clasp, £2,649. It's not like for like, ours isn't finished in jewellery, but it's to give you an idea. I'm going to wish you luck because in just a few seconds, I'm starting off with this and I'll need to let you know I'm starting off with low quantity. And I hate to say that, but you understand, don't you? We're only mining this for two and a half to three months of the year. So, and we, you know, and when I say we, I mean the industry and it is to source for everybody in the industry. And when you go to the Hong Kong fair, etc., then I do have to say that this is, you know, the one that many people want to go for. This is the location. This is the place that we all know. This is the notable cashmere peridot okay collectors are in on this and i understand it i'm even questioning if one person is a collector collector within the industry because of the amount they've got in their baskets there's someone with a lot of this in their baskets let me give you something special let me give you an on-air low stock opportunity deal this is the biggest individual uh, uh, this by the way is the only strand of rondelles i've got but this is the biggest internal glow. And today I'm giving you an opportunity and a half. Please take the hint. Please take my hint. There is something that's happened on screen which I am ignoring for a reason. We are bringing to you now a, 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 a sort of, well, however long it takes us to go through these, of which if you were to purchase them all, the collective saving you are going to get is going to be enough for you to use first time ever split pay mineral man you'll be able to buy more than you ever have because the combined saving in this hour is massive 34 pounds and 95 pounds down for now from a hundred pounds one third of my sucker has gone on this one already people were in and checking out the person who i had it multi-purchased in who i i thought was to be a collector I know that now. I can see with that quantity. This is $34.95. This is what the industry clearly wants. At that kind of price point, we would be hard stretched, especially with, you know, um, the, the, the fares, the big fares this year, not taking over in the way they were. That is special. Oh, my gosh. I've got one left. One left now. Multi-buyers, you are in next for us. Good, 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 good luck. Good luck, every single one of you. It's fastest finger first right now. How's about, do you want to pair it with some of these ones? Do you fancy that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's pair it with something like this. It's sold out, it's sold out, it's sold out. I've got to move on to these ones. That one is a sellout. Well done. I've got to move on to the hearts. If you see anything you like, please do seize the moment. These ones for me, I love because... It's the most gemstones I've got on any strand in, in, by the looks of things. These are the most stones that I have in any strand. Okay, 32 carats worth now. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> sorry Dan nearly fell off his chair are you alright Dan? Yes. good I, I laughed before I, I was caring but I knew he was fine um, yes yeah, sorry the, he was so shocked um, at the beauty of this I will just let you know that we've given you a collective saving so far of £65 that's how much we took off that previous strand it's about to get bigger it's about to get more shocking with this one I'm bringing to you the majority of the stones so this is most stones on this one so if you're going for individual look this is the most stones of my cashmere collection 100 pounds it should be of course it should look at that carrot weight today though i am going to roll it down this is the only one of the hearts i have i have one more drop strand that are in a traditional shape but there's not as many gemstones can you see that bringing it to you now i'm about to take your collective save into 130 pounds you've just gotten 70 quid off in fact 100 135 pounds now with the deal i've just saved you you would be able to get on split pay today two of the things from mineral man hour yet yeah, with the saving i've just given to you you'd be able to get two of the first time split pay mineral man savers isn't that incredible 29 pounds and 95 pence that is low 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 stock i'll just show it to you with my fasted pairs which i will be bringing to you next 
There you go. Just to give you an idea of the look of this one. These ones are a little bit more bold in size and I'm going to bring these ones to you now. But these are the ones on screen at the top. They're $29.95. If you want that more traditional elegance of drop, then this is the one for you. Imagine getting sterling silver wire and just pairing it with this sterling silver bracelet chain and just popping one in each and every single link. That is going to look so decadent, isn't it? This is more of that traditional shape, that luxury shape. Remember, we're talking about cashmere peridot, which has come from one of the most treacherous, difficult, highest mining regions on our planet. 32 carats were for you. Your deal on this one, we're going to give you another deal. £100. Again, of course, it's based on carat weight for this, because when we buy things like this, we buy them in carat weight. We're buying them in carat weight, so we're basing it on carat weight. The thing I will say to you is when some of these go lower than maybe other ones for the same carat weight, it's often because maybe they're more traditional shapes. You know, we're going, oh, do you know what? Let's just give an extra treat. Let's just give an extra summit, summit, summit. I'm about to take this now to uh, 93p per carat. 93 pence per carat is about... This is cashmere peridot from four thousand yeah, four thousand four just get your head around that four thousand meters above sea level has anyone ever stood at the top of the shard yeah now imagine shard after shard after shard after shard you know we're beyond that in the mining region for this and we're bringing it to you at 29.95 it is one of the most revered locations but it's one of the most difficult locations so therefore we can't just click our fingers and yeah thanks i'll have you know 82 different strands if you don't mind it's not like that this is your chance and can i just suggest if i may your authenticity with this may i let me now bring the square now i just wanted to remind you of this slide if i may this slide is a square now this is not like for like uh, because this we well, can see it's a, it's a brilliant cut for starters it's not like for like it is a picture taken next to a, a centimetre ruler and it is, as you can see, one centimetre by one centimetre, which, of course, is 10 mil. Now, mine are not one centimetre by one centimetre, but imagine, imagine that gallery set or prong set with wire. It would not look a million miles away from this. The last one that was this limited in stock of the Cashmere Peridot sold out but imagine how gorgeous that would look. Okay, let's do it. We're bringing to you now your top drill diamond shape peridots. Now, these ones go up to nine mil. Again, it's not like for like on that 311 pounds and 17p uh, because um, ours, is, ours is nine mil. That one's 10 mil, but also that one's brilliant cut. So it, it is different. But, you know, as an idea, if you're going to be creating something like that into a ring, how much would that ring beach think? Would that be an 800, 900 pound ring? Possibly, possibly, because the stone alone is that price. Think of all the metal work that would go with it. I'm thinking with this, although it's dangerous, although it's smaller, I would definitely be doing making rings out of the middle five and then maybe earrings to match on the end. This is the biggest saving so far. Cashmere Peridot should be £100 today. We're dropping it down and we're going to make this exemplary. This one we're able to get, this one we're able to get at a lower price. Why? Because we're having this cut by us. We're having this cut bespoke to us. It's not like the other strands that were a traditional cut. We've gone and gotten this. That is £75 discount. You have just saved. If you've got this one and you've got this one and you've got this one and you've got this one, you've just saved one hundred and sorry, £280 you've just saved. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? So now, actually, if you're coming through for the Mineral Man next hour... First time ever those products have been on split pay. So if you've never been able to afford stunning pieces like this, then you may well be able to today because I'm going to be putting this on split pay. And you could be able to get maybe now even three or four products from Alex on split pay today. Get them home for Christmas. It's stunning that, isn't it? Um, can I just show you I've got a bundle now. This isn't cashmere peridot, but I just love the idea of doing this here. That'd look lovely, wouldn't it? That'd look really nice. 
£24.95. Great deal for you today. Well done. Huge saving. Okay. Oh, my gosh. How many have I got left? What percentage do you reckon, Danny? 50% gone. If everyone with it in baskets checks out, I'd have 10% left. 10 to 15% left, actually. Let's hedge our bets. Because some people have said that they want to buy two, but we can't tell until they check out. So if everyone did check out, let's say 15% left. I'm going to leave that one with you. It is now limited stock, though. This is a whole different feeling, this strand. This is a totally different feeling. This shape that I'm bringing to you now is for any of you who maybe love that more relaxed look that more chilled look that more boho chic look that more move uh, that movable look that's almost um not quite as stylized possibly as the other i'm about to bring this to you now and it's going to be my most affordable this is the last of the cashmere peridot i've got it for you here i've got it for you now your final cashmere peridot some of them have sold out I'm afraid some of them have sold out. This one's 30 carats now. 30 carats. Should be price point for 30 carats. It's 63 pounds. Now, again, you might think, hang on, Bex. The other one was only a few more carats before. Why on earth is that so much lower than the original 100? Again, it's because of the shape. With this shape, when we get the raw material, we are cutting this to give it a beautiful look, but we're quitting it for carrot weight. So we're not going, this must be a heart shape, and therefore we're losing loads. We're going, let the stone speak for itself. So there's less loss on this, which again, I think it's important to tell you things like that because it proves our pricing. We don't just price this from nowhere. You know, we will have paid less for this by a certain percent, so you will too. Oh my gosh! Cashmere Peridot now at £18.95. Do you know what? With the beauty of these, each one of these, each one of these could be centre of a bracelet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bracelets. Hang on. Ten bracelets. No, I can't even say this. Is that right? Hang on. Does that mean? No, that. Is that about £1.90 per stone? Do you know what I was just about to say? I was just about to say, I've seen individual stones for hundreds of pounds. But it's not just me. You've just seen it. You've just seen a stone then in my slideshow. An individual stone for hundreds of pounds. Again, it's not like for like, but this is the same stone, same location. You know, it's different, but nonetheless, it's the same. Ours is not £311.17. Ours is £1.90 per stone. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Um, can I just let you know, from the bottom of my heart, a huge well done to every single one of you. If you had purchased all of those, and don't get me wrong, I know we didn't have many, but it is cashmere, you have saved yourself £324. The reason, again, I'm bringing that up is because... If you're joining us in the next hour for the likes of our Mineral Man makes and pieces, for the first time ever, we're going to bring this to you on split pay. And that means you may well be able to, just with what you've saved, buy all of our split pay options today. What? I know it's mad, isn't it? But it's the start of the weekend. That is now time to say goodbye to this incredible, elusive cashmere peridot. I have got more peridot for you, though. Different location, but still serious sparkle. It is a star by bundle. trio of peridot with serious sparkle you a bit of a magpie yeah if you are you're not alone in august 
We bought loads, like 500. Sold out. Sold out in August. Got them in in August. Sold them out in August. It's popular. But then again, this amount of sparkle always is, isn't it? We have got something that has got such personality and such virility of light that I'm not surprised it's been popular. What we've done today, though, is we've been a bit mischievous and we've bundled it. So you're getting not just one tram by itself, not even two, but three. Three genuine gemstone peridot strands that will go on and on and on and on. Maximum sparkle, maximum jewellery, maximum makeability. And now it is available. This is your tri tri triple triple opportunity. We're going to bring to you now Peridot. 33 carats in total. And you're getting 11 carats, therefore, on each strand. When you're seeing these and you're thinking about the beauty of that Peridot, don't forget to think about the incredible workmanship. And if workmanship is your thing, you've got to stick with me for this mineral man hour. First time ever on split pay, it's going to knock your socks off. But think about the workmanship that's gone into this and think about the, um, you know, incredible capabilities of our gemstone cutters who've been working with this in ages. We are going to give you an opportunity now to get something really, really special. If I were to say to you, have a little look at the lovely cross pendant that Katie made for us. And just do a few things for me. Count up approximately how many stones are in there. And then, have a look at what our start price would be and think, what shop would you be able to buy something like that for the start price? Something like that. What shop near you? Bear in mind, it's handmade. It's real gemstones. Yeah, It's a nice, bold piece. It's completely unique. What high street shop near you would be able to sell something like that? Have you counted up the gemstones? Now, I've done this as an approximation, but there is approximately... Oh, I counted them before. Uh, da, 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 Do you know what? I'm going to round it up to 40. I'm going to round it up to 40. It's about 40. Let me show you how that equates. <clears throat> this is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that there, for me, is about 10. This is an approximate, obviously, but there's approximately 10. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, what am I counting? 70, <laughs> 80, 90. So about 90. So I'd be able to make two of those and I'd have 10 left over. So that would be two pendants, four pendants six pendants, and approximately 30 left over. So that would mean that at that price, just for the pendants, let's say, 41.85 divided by six, that pendant will have cost about £6.97 in gemstones to make. <laughs> Could you imagine... If you saw that, be honest, on one of those well-known online sites, you'd think it was fake, right? Of course you would. Today, approximately 270 Peridot for just 29.95 only. 29.95 for all of those pieces. Just look at this bracelet. If you went into a well-known shop and you were to purchase a bracelet, and I will just give it a little twinkle round because it's so beautifully finished and it just looks so lovely. If you were to see something like this in one of those well-known shops, what kind of price point might you expect for something like that? That surely, surely you'd be happy at something like that, even at £40. Actually, that would probably be undercutting it for a high street shop, right? For that amount of genuine gemstone. Today, though, the whole thing, £29.95 as an on-air deal. But 
this is not what we didn't want to do was go here's here's cashmere peridot luxury luxury and here's you know, your Chinese peridot, which, you know, is, is more abundant because it's, it's less hard to mine, etc. What we didn't want to do is go, here's cashmere and here's some other from a different location. And there you go. We're, we're moving on. We wanted to bring you cashmere, then a good deal, and then a deal to save even more than you have before. That now means if you added that discount to the price point that you've got for that cashmere, because remember the cashmere, we saved you over 300 quid. Today, I'm giving you the opportunity to multi-purchase in your masses. We just thought these would look lovely. Maybe you want to put them with some of your cashmere peridot that you got earlier on. Maybe you want to pair it with that to space them out more. But maybe you just want to have it so you can go look at the difference in kind of the hue that you get. Because I'm not the hue, sorry, because obviously peridot is only green. You can only get it in green. But the sort of veracity of it varies. Maybe you want to be able to say, look, this is your peridot from China, but look at this one, you know, cashmere. They go well together. You could work them together, but maybe that's what you want to do. We wanted to give you almost like your focals, and then we wanted to give you like, um, in the most lovely way, kind of your fillers, your stocking fillers and your main gifts. Do you know what I mean? It is £12.95 for you today on this one. Do you know what? Let me show you with the night owl. Ooh. These together, oh, they just work so well, right? Could you space them out, maybe? Well, how would you think about using these together? What about in earrings? How might you do them in earrings? What about choosing one and then doing like a semicirclet around the one with that in the middle? That could look quite nice, couldn't it? Quite easy, but quite nice. Or maybe you just go one on a head pin, five of these leading down to it. I think it works really nicely. That is on its way, 745. Don't forget the Mineral Man first time ever on split pay in the next 20 minutes or so. 1295, well done. I've got loads more to bring to you. QVPD Opal now. We're really going in the locations, aren't we? Ooh, this time you're getting them in your square slices. This shaded this one as well. I've not seen us do that on a Cupidia ever before. I can recall. Different, right? No. So I am bringing to you your, let me show you, Cupidia pieces. And I'm just going to bring it up here. I'm going to link it up there, look. Can you see how you've got that variation in the colours? You've got some of the whiter body colour and then some of the greyer hues. Quite unusual, that. Cupidia, of course, we're talking about the Australian mining region. If you do watch your TV shows on Quest and the Discovery Channel, you'll know a lot about this region and the difficulty in getting it. Today, we have got 98 carats worth of your Cupidia opal, and these are in your disc squares. For Cuba PD Opal to go under £20 is always pretty special. To go this far under is really special. It's £11.95 for you today on that one. If you do want to seize the moment, do feel free to do so now because we don't have a mammoth amount of them, to be honest. Just something a bit different, isn't it? Something a little bit unusual. Um, can I just draw your attention to something slightly different now, just whilst you're coming in and purchasing this? Let me be totally honest with you. Um, I've got a lot in the next hour. I mean, a lot. And we kind of had an option. I've obviously got my Chrysocola coming up at 7.45. We, we can't move from that. It's the last deal of the day. You know, we, we know that we're going to be doing that at the end of the day. But because of the quality of it, we don't just want to sort of have it on and then, you know, see you later. So we're going to spend some time on that, as we always do with that, um, that deal at 7.45. Now, I've got so much in my next hour, including the things I've had around me in this hour, but also other elements. In a moment, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the products I've got coming up in the next hour because I need you to do me a favor. I need you to see something you really like. So there's absolutely loads of products. I need you to see something you like 
And if you want it, you need to text in about it. Because I cannot guarantee, we, we, well, I'm, I'm not going to get through it all. It's as simple as that. I'm sorry. And this is purely on a time scale thing. I'm not going to get through it all. There are some that we're definitely going to play. We're definitely going to play like the um, Megalodon Tooth. We're definitely going to play the um, Amethyst and Quartz Sphere with the points that um, has been ro rotating around near me. But other than that, I can't really guarantee we're going to do anything else. So please, any of this that you're looking at now, including the light up bowl over there, including the moons and the geodes, etc. If there's anything you like, please do message us in. Because I don't want you to be like, oh yeah, they'll play that, you know, light up bowl any minute now. And then we don't, you know what I mean? So next up, hematite. Now I've got some hematite tomorrow, you know. Oh, well, I do. I've got a showcase at six o'clock. Mm-hmm. It's nothing like this strand, though. I love this shape. I'm going to say it. I think it's my favourite shape of hematite we've ever brought you. Yeah, I've said it. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's so unisex. It's an absolute beauty, isn't it? I love that it's so individual, it's so unique, and it's got this wonderful movement to it. It's got a lovely fluidity to it. Very comfortable, very unisex. And today I'm bringing your hematite with that mattified coating over it, which is a bit quirks, a bit quirky. I like it. Only £7.95 for you today. That is it, £7.95. I have to bring you something that I believe anybody would love for Christmas. What is this? Oh, wow. We have got for you today the opportunity to get perfect rounds of your Baltic Amber. Now, what I'm showing you is, because I said for Christmas, didn't I? I love the idea of these ones together. Imagine that for Christmas. Oh, everybody would love that, right? Does anybody think that there are butterscotch shoes in this? Yeah, me too. Remember, I'm bringing to you real Baltic Amber. And again, I do apologise if you, you already know this, but I have had a lot of new buyers in, in this last hour or so. Um, hi, and welcome again if you are. Uh, my name's Bex, and I absolutely love Amber. I just think it's it, there is nothing else quite like it within the gemstone or mineral or, or um, organics world. This is real Baltic amber. We're talking, these pieces here are minimum of around 45 million years old. They have to be that old to be given the name of Baltic amber. There are different types of amber. Copal amber, for example, that can be 50 years old. This can't. I've got for you today the opportunity to get stunning cognac hues, lemon hues, cherry hues and butterscotch shoes oh try 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 as hard as you might go to gdansk and try and get a pair of earrings for that price nowhere near as many stones obviously imagine although let's be honest let's go really luxe if you wanted to do a pair of earrings half a strand in each ear with these you could it's so lightweight it floats on salt water that's one of the ways you prove that you've got real baltic amber 29.95 it's limited stock now multi buyers were in on this i'm almost over allocated i've got the robin coming up next if you like it um that is coming up for you next whoa okay if everybody checked out now it would be two left by the looks of things two left if everyone 
somewhere to check out. I've got a few people with it in their baskets. Norfolk, um, Washington. Oh, just as I said that, you checked out. South Yorkshire. I've got another Norfolk with it in the baskets. Hertfordshire, Berkshire. Got it in their baskets as well. And Inverness. Inverness, is that what that says? In baskets. Everyone checked out. I'd have two left. Um, South Yorkshire's in. You've checked out. Oh, good luck to you. I've got one left now, exactly one left. I've got to leave that final one with you. Let me bring you the robin. That goes so well, doesn't it? I love how we put the um, the attachment points to this. So you've got an attachment point here and here, which means if you do want it to be within a necklace, it sits perfectly. In fact, let me see if I can shimmy a little bit. What do you think? That looked wonderful, wouldn't it? I love this. It's a robin, which robins, obviously, robins just can see all year round, can't you? Robins don't migrate, do they? Robins, no. But in winter, it's more often when you see them. You see them maybe um, on postcards and Christmas cards, sat in snow. You'll see them maybe, you know, around your bird feeder at this time of year. I love the robin and what it represents. In fact, I'm sure I read somewhere that it was voted uh, favourite bird of Britain. I'm sure it was. Um, like favourite garden bird of Britain or signifier of Britain. Anyway... I love this design. I think it's beautiful. The fact that it has got that wonderful glow inside it, I think just really pairs in with that joyous optimism of a robin. I don't think you can ever look at a robin and not just feel some sort of lovely connection. Do you know what I mean? 1995 closeout price. For the silver alone, I will just flip it so you see the amount of silver you've got there, including that jello signifier there, which proves where it was made. We have got for you 1995 as a closeout deal. Well done to you. Can I bring you some head pins too? Do you mind? Because if you wanted to pair this into a design like this, but you didn't want loads of beads and thread getting in the way or whatever, may I suggest yeah, using your head pin. Obviously, you'd want one on each side. Always looks like he's eating a berry, doesn't it? Yeah, so you could put like your berry. Does that? Sorry, that was my impression of a robin. Apparently, that was awful. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, oh, it smells more like a uh, odd turkey, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, yeah, it looks always like he's eating a little berry. But you could bend this. Oh no, he is! I want it. I want it. <laughs> but yeah, you can bend this to the side, do a loop, and then you detach it and bring in all of them to you at nine ninety five. Those ones were made specifically for us. In fact, before we requested them, Marius had never heard of a head pin before, which makes sense, right? Because it is something that only us jewellery makers really know. Um, okay. Ooh. Sterling silver drop earrings. Who got some of the cashmere peridot? Do you fancy? Oh, maybe this shape. Would you go for this shape? Oh. <gasps> Yes, that would look so nice. Turn that to the side. There you are. You've got a little loop there. I have got the Mineral Man in in the next hour. Loads of his products for the first time ever on split pay. Um, the reason I'm bringing that up is because I'm just looking at the qualities around me and quite frankly, it's unignorable. Uh, but for now, we're bringing to you the earrings. These ones are solid sterling silver. We've got for you fourteen ninety five for you, and that is on all of those pairs, three pairs in total. Fourteen ninety five. That's a mega amount of silver, making each pair approximately five pounds each, which is tiny. As I mentioned before, stud earrings you'd pay for more, wouldn't you? Head pins. Oh, sorry, shepherd hooks. In rose golds now. Please remember, you're looking now at some of these products that are coming up in that hour. If there's anything that you want to buy, you will have to text in about it because I've got no guarantee I'm going to go through any of all of them at all. Well, I can't go through them. I've honestly not got the time to do it. So if you see anything, maybe you're looking at the elephant, you want that. Maybe you're looking at the sphere, you want that. Maybe you're looking at the skull. The skull particularly, Katie Reed came to say goodbye to us and that skull, um, which is just at the side there, Katie was like, Oh my gosh, she actually stopped. She was part way seeing us going. She was going, bye. Oh my 
gosh, that skull's the most amazing thing I've seen. Where is it on? Da, 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 da. So, yeah, if you see anything you like, the Megalodon um, tooth is next to it too. That lovely crescent moon just above as well. If you see anything you like, please do text him because I can't guarantee we'll play it. And I don't want anyone to feel like miss, missing out, especially as it's the first time ever we are doing um, split pay. Anyway, gold plated, 95 solid sterling silver today for these ones. Really nice traditional shape, these. £8.95 for you today. £8.95 for you today. It is your opportunity to grab it. Good luck to you all. Lovely opportunity there. I've got so much to fit in in that Mineral Man hour. I really do. That is such a usable one. Rose gold. Oh, these ones are the um, blah, 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 what are they called? Featherweight. Exactly, exactly. We are the ever see the rose gold in featherweight. That's why I was thinking I wasn't expecting to see that. That's why I was like, oh, we're bringing to you rose gold plated 95 solid sterling silver, and these ones are your featherweight head fins. No. When I say your rose gold plated in sterling silver, I'm never expecting featherweight headpins because they're quite a new acquisition, you know. When we talk about featherweight headpins, just to let you know, it means that the actual, the metal, what, what, what are we calling it? Rod? No, not rod. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The, <laughs> what are we calling it? The what? The pin. Yeah, but the pin could be the end. That's the other word I was thinking of, but I'm glad I didn't say it. Um, yeah, the longest section. Let's go for that. The, the body of the, the pin is finer than our everyday one. So it means it goes through more gemstones. So if you got maybe these ones before, three strands for 12 95 you might not be able to get your normal head pin through because they might have smaller drill holes. So these ones are great for it. But the reason I say I don't expect it is because if you have a little look on the uh, World Wide Webathon, it's very difficult to find featherweight head pins at the best of times, let alone rose gold plated ones. In fact, I still to this day don't think I have. I don't think I have ever. Anyway, £10.95 for you today on this one. You could do lovely little bubbly designs like that if you wanted. That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? Especially as we brought you them um, Shepherd Ducks earlier on in matching colours and qualities. That'd be great. Gonna squeeze one more in. Squeeze it in. Ooh. Creme brulee top. Hessonite garnet I've got for you now. Doesn't look a million miles away from amber this quality actually. Hessonite garnet can be a little bit more acidic sometimes, but it's not a million miles away from some of those uh, more cherry hues in the amber actually, is it? Might go quite nicely, a bit different. Bringing to you today 40 carats worth of your Hessonite garnet. We're bringing to you sizes up to 10 by 7 mil, top drilled of course. Today, they're coming in pairs until the very end. We're going to do a saving not seen since the likes of my cashmere perido time. Be great, actually. Let's do it. Let's do it. 19 pounds and 95 pence for you today. That is your moment. That is your time. 40 carats worth there for you. Um, people are looking at this and I'm not surprised. Wait until you feast your features on everything. In the next hour, it's Mineral Man and I have got first time ever split pay. So if you've always looked at these pieces of homeware and gone, I've not been able to get it, do not worry. You will be able to this time. In the ad break, which is coming up in a few seconds, we're Okay, uh, in the re uh, oh, no, sorry, in the ad break, which is coming up in a few seconds, it will tell you how to use split play. Um, please, if you see anything you like, please, please, please 
do text in about it because I don't have time to do them all. This one is what I'm quickly recapping just before that break. $29.95 for you on this wonderful pair of dough. It's 32 carats worth and these ones are your hearts. It's one of the only ones we've got left. So do head on over to jurymaker.com to see what you like and check that out whilst you can. I have so much more on the way. So much more. First time ever mineral man on split pay and I've got the Chrysler Cola and I've got your wall of fame. It's all after this. <laughs> Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Hello Jewelry Makers. We just wanted to let you know that we've updated our website. Now you can still watch us live on our main page and if you click on the watch live tab this will show you all of the products that have been on today's show, the deal of the day and any items that are on pre-order. If you want to see what's coming up on the show then view our TV guide for further information and if you've missed a show you can always go back and use the catch up service. On the home page you'll be able to see all the different categories including findings, kits and all your essentials. We have a wide range of gemstones and when you find a gemstone you like, you can view all of the product details by clicking on the right hand side. You can also view up and coming workshops and book online. You can explore our Gemology magazine and get up to date with the latest news across the Gemporia group. And you can always download the Jewelry Maker app so you can watch us on the go and never miss a thing. So, happy shopping Jewelry Makers. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. jewelry making not sure where to start then tune into jewelry maker every thursday at 6 p.m for our get started hour one of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques giving you lots of hints and tips bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewelry making journey get started with jewelry maker every thursday at 6 p.m Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. If you have tuned in for the Wall of Fame, you have tuned in at the perfect time because I've got Mineral Man products coming up for you straight after this and for the first time ever, this, these, these, the lights, the schools, whatever it is, will be on split pay. These 
are just, and that's just some of them. You've got sculptures, you've got moons, that will be on split pay. I need to let you know something really, really, really quickly, and we'll actually do that now because I need your interaction now, if I may. If you're looking over here at these pieces, I need you to text in now with what you want. So do you like, you know, the things you can see there? Is there anything that you want? I've got the dragon's heads. I've got the, what's the, uh, the, the, yes, I've got the big piece of the fuchsites over there. I've got the huge bowl there. I've got the light over here. I've got the moons. Um, I've got the, um, tigers i've got the dragons i've got the tea lights as well um like the amethyst tea lights i've got absolutely oodle oh that's the wrong way around let me turn that so it's facing you the right way yeah turn around turn around there we go um yeah i've got all of these on the way for you but if there's anything you like oh and it also includes the geodes next to me we've got this is just magical if there's anything you see because i won't have enough time to go through it so please do text in it's 78070 text in with what you like the look of and we will strive to play it for you before that let's dive on into our wall of fame first time ever that's going to be on split pay not far off for you vanessa starts saying hi gm crew say hello crew hello this is my entry. It is a Mookite Marlin necklace done with the kits I bought from JM. This is my first attempt at knotting. I found it very calming. Keep safe, everyone, and keep crafting. And that's from Vanessa. I love that you found that so calming. And I'm really, really, really chuffed with those results. It looks stunning. Thank you, Vanessa. Paul is in next. Hi, everyone. I hope you are all well. This is my entry, two bracelets with matching earrings, one set in red onyx and the other set in red onyx and retail. Stay safe. And that's from Paula. That collection is such a lovely optimistic colouring. Thank you so much. Maggie is in next and it says, hi all. And um, this is a pearl and ruby sterling silver bracelet, all components from Jewelry Maker. The rubies are juicy. <laughs> Good luck to all. And that's from Maggie. Maggie, you can actually see how juicy they are, even even the picture. Thanks for that. Fran's in next and it says, well, hello. I think the pearl scoop I finally finished um, has some incredible components and they went flying. There's a mixture of uh, plated copper, 95 shell and cultured pearls in this selection. I hope you like it. Keep the faith in those close to you, if not others. And that is from Fran. Oh, that got a big R from everyone then. You're a lovely, uh, that was a lovely message. And what fun you've had making those. Fan, you're a love. Fran, you're a love. I spent, we send our love to you. All wins in next. It says, hi, everyone. This week is a necklace and bracelet made using beads from three different strands of lovely black spinel. I have used chain from my stash from JM and I'm hoping to join the online craft fair. So that's my task for today. Oh, good luck. All the fairs I usually attend are cancelled. Mm, me too. And I'm starting to get a fairly large stock of finished items. Thank you to JM for supplying me with the ingredients and for keeping my company, um, for keeping me company all day. Um, I hope everyone is well and that's take care from Olwyn. What a gorgeous message and Olwyn, what a saleable piece you've made there. I love it. Thank you so much. John's in next and it says, here is my second entry to the Wall of Fame. The next one. Um, it says, I started watching JM a few months ago and I am now hooked. I've had many disasters, but enjoying every minute. <laughs> the necklace is a gift for my mum to cheer her up in lockdown. Made from Zambian amethyst and hematite, the amethyst shapes which I got from a mystery bundle. Also silver plated wire and jump rings. Please, please, please keep up the good work as you got us all through lockdown one. And I'm sure you will all get us through lockdown two. Good luck to all of the entrants. John from Manchester. John, your mum is going to adore that, I am sure. And thank you so much for your kind message. You're a love. Gwyneth is in next. It says, Dear JM, this are a design for this week. As you can see, beautiful rose quartz. I hope you like them. I love them. What great quality you've got there. I love that design. Really nice motif. Thanks for them, Gwyneth. Nikki is in next and it says, This is my entry. It's my first go at making an angel. And I loved it. I got a commission to make two. Hey, congrats. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone at JM. 
you will be a lifesaver during these the second lockdown good luck to fellow offers and that is love from nikki congratulations you on that commission that's absolutely wonderful and thank you again for your kind comments thank you to everyone for your kind comments we do appreciate them i have got for you now mineral man i need you to start messaging him including things like these that I've got for you here. If there's anything you see that you want, please do text him. Because quite frankly, I cannot guarantee that I'm going to be able to bring any of these to you outside of this time. So walk in with me. We're going to start with this. And I have to say, I absolutely adore it. Have a look the beauty now this comes with the light i will be selling a light separately later but this comes with the light i'll turn this off for you as well just to show you the beauty of it even when it's turned off you've got the citrine hues you've got the amethyst hues you've got the quartz hues in here all over look of that sort of ametrine vibe and again i'm going to turn the light on now oh isn't that just something so 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 special now, this is a um, linked up to your uh, clicker, and that is then attached into your USB end, which, of course, a lot of us have with, like, our mobile phone chargers, and you can just plug that in like you would a normal plug. Should we turn the lights down a little bit just to get the ambiance right? Go on, then. I'm going to turn this off again. We'll dim the lights slightly, so don't adjust your TV sets. Beautiful. Now, if I just turn this on. Now, imagine this is your living room. Oh, isn't that beautiful? You might be thinking, Bex, you promised me split pay. Oh, yeah. But on this one, you're not going to need it today. <laughs> Should have been £180. It's £49.95 for you today. Lights are going back up here in the studio. This one is about to sell out. Okay, you are in on this. This is a low, 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 low quantity now. Please do seize the moment. And again, text in with what you want. Any of these talking to you, I have got, okay, whoa, I've got one left now. I'm sorry, one left, that's it. It's past his finger first. I've got a fair few of you with it in your baskets. I have got split pay coming up, but you're not going to need it with this one. It's only $49.95. That is a piece of artwork that can be handed down, isn't it? In my opinion, that's, that's like an heirloom design, an heirloom piece. If there is anything that you love the look of, of, then all of these are genuine gemstones please 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 do message in maybe you've got your eye on the skull which i have to say is uh, you know if you think about sort of damien hurst and the size of that diamond encrusted piece this is what we have got here it is incredible isn't that just sensational it's amazing isn't it Come with me because I'm now going to bring you something from this desk. And please, 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 if there is anything you see, do message in. I'm not going to get through all of this. I am going to bring you now, though. And I will let you know I've got less than 10, just shy of 10. This will be a split pay. And this is everything you could hope for and more. I am bringing to you extreme opportunity to get some of the treasures of mother nature and i am going to offer you split pay on this because you don't just get one you get two and this is a snapshot of mother nature now as you can see when i'm bringing this to you i'm bringing you the raw outer edge the geode if you will and these one time one off selection of crystals these are museum quality if you go into like a um, mineral or um for example i am um, if you've been to the smithsonian in america and there are other uh, locations and other um museums in the world that have sections but they will have dedicated sections to minerals of our planet and and uh, geology areas as well these are the size and the quality for the amount of crystals that you might see in a museum we're bringing to you, I've got just shy of 10. And today I'm going to give you Moroccan quartz. The biggest size we've ever brought. We've never even, when we're showing you geodes, got to this kind of size. On split pay, you can get these home today. It's a split pay opportunity, $149.95, but split pay, $49.98. 
if we were staying there. But we're not. I am not for the first time ever going to do a Mineral Man split pay and not go to the absolute bare bones of it. Three times split pay, 26 pounds and 65 pence. Did you watch the BT in the break about what split pay is? If you did, then you will know that if today to get these home and they will come to you, you know, not once you finish the payment, they will come to you after your first payment. Today, they will be posted out to you tomorrow and they'll be with you in a few days. You will only pay 26 pounds and 65 pence for these. Oh my gosh, half of my stock has gone. I didn't have many anyway. Half of my stock has gone. I've got four left, four left. That is it, four left of these ones. Um, it, oh, that is just incredible, isn't it? Isn't that so special? 79.95. Can we see the moon, please, Becky? Christine, yes, you absolutely can. Can I just double check with you which one do you mean? Do you mean the one on the stand? I'm going to do the one on the stand, but if it's another one that you wanted, because I've got like a rose quartz one, then I will bring you that. So I presume that this is the one that Christine's requesting. But please do confirm it, um, because it may well be some of the other moons. Have you seen the other moons? Have you seen them one? Oh, God. There they are. So let us know, Christine, just to be sure. Um, and there's the bear in the background, and there's the Labradorites. Um, wolf as well. Um, so when Casey walked in to say goodbye earlier on, it was the school that we were moving over that she was like couldn't get over. And then this took her attention away. I just want to let you know that this is extremely unique. To be able to get this, Alex's um, team had to sift through, and this is in his words, tons of amethyst to be able to find a piece large enough to get this incredibly 3D amethyst. Now, you've got the moment of the geode on the back, which has got that lovely raw material. It tells you where it's from. It tells you it's real. And then you can actually see the moment where the temperature's been a bit different and you've got that graduation in colour. And then you get this overall finish. Now, this was limited edition. We only have one. It's this one. This could be coming to you. Last time we had it, it was limited edition anyway. But it wasn't on split pay. We've only just started split pay. This is going. To, this is the type of thing that I would imagine seeing on TV shows when it's kind of you know uh, you know people with a lot of money sort of sat in Cheshire, you know, with something like this next to a family portrait. This is a piece of artwork. We're bringing to you. Oh my gosh! I'm wishing you luck here. Okay, okay. If everybody checked out, I would have about. Well, six of you would miss out six would miss out it's one left it's one left i don't know what we're doing for split pay okay okay understandable 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 i i'll be honest i, I don't know where we're going with this because although i do get a list of products i was just too busy going oh ah, look at that look at this uh, the numbers don't stick in my head okay we're not staying there let's do it i've got one i've got one i've got one i've got one £266.65. pence. This has only been on air once before. It's gone. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. That is spectacular. I am just... Congratulations at every single one of you. Okay. We're going to wait no longer for your messages in. Has Christine got back in touch about the moon? It's the one on the stand. You're a love. I just wanted to make sure I got that right for you, Christine. I'm going to do that for you now-ish. Now, in fact, let me just grab it. <gasps> now, there is two available only on this. I need to make that really clear. So, Christine, if you do love it, oh, and why wouldn't you? This is a wonderful crescent moon. 
I just think it's so connective. When you think about the crescent moon, what does it make you think of? I think about the waxing crescent moon and the waxing crescent is said to signify intentions, things that you want to do, things that you intend to do. So this could actually be a gorgeous gift, you know, for Christmas and for the new year. If you're thinking of it in the sense of the waxing crescent and those intentions of things to do. Also, if you think of a waning moon, the waning moon, and again, it will depend on which way you sort of position this and which way this is facing, but the waning moon is said to um, symbolise gratitude. So this could be a wonderful gift for someone at Christmas who is possibly, you know, you're gifting your gratitude to. We're bringing this to you, and let me just show you. This is a huge piece. This, again, is going to really, really grab attention when you're using this at home in sort of bookends or if you're going to be putting this in your window. Imagine sunlight streaming through this. Hey, imagine moonlight shining through this and how sensational that's going to look. We are bringing to you today the opportunity to get your five-inch quartz moon. And today... Four hundred and seventy nine ninety five on split pay for the first time ever. One hundred and fifty nine pounds and eighty nine p on split pay. But we're live on it, so we've got to do that discount. <laughs> but to get this home today, today to get this home, just ninety nine pounds and ninety eight pence. This is the type of thing to put in your household that you will have people asking about and asking about and asking about time after time after time after time. What a great one to think about that waxing crescent, thinking about the signifying moments of intentions, maybe for 2021. Maybe it's a gift of gratitude for somebody. This comes with its stand. And I would say, you know, you can take it out of the stand if you want to. So you could even, you know, you've got the skills. You could even create something for this to actually make it maybe hang in a different way and use the stand for something else. Um, I don't know, actually. Joe, you know I'm just going to test this. It probably won't work because they're quite small. It's cute, that one, isn't it? Mm. Oh, well, it does stay in place. It does. It's nowhere near as big. But you could use something like that and then maybe use the steel for something else. There you go, 99 95 I just can't go over it. Honestly, you need to... F you can always feel the craftsmanship. Well, you can feel it. You can see it. Okay, I'm bringing to you now the bear. I love big bear. Okay, let me move... Can I just remind you again, if there's anything you want, let me bring it. This this quartz bowl, I just... Let me just pop. And I, br I will bring you the light in a bit. just want to show you this. Oh, in fact, let me take him away. But this is our individual carved bear. The last time you saw him... Gosh, he even looks great with the light behind him, which makes me think if this wasn't a window, how stunning that would be. So we last had this back in September... We'll dim the lights a bit. It sold out. We've managed to have hand cut for us four back in. Four back in we've managed. Oh my gosh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, let's give you a deal on this then, shall we? We'll turn the lights back up for you. I just love him. In fact, let me just take him down a little bit here again. I can see him. Oh, I'm bringing to you your three inch hand carved. Just look at the etchings in this. This is a genuine quartz. Imagine the size of this piece of quartz you've had to get. <gasps> what is that TV show that's starting up again? Oh, I'll, I'll think of it. 99 pounds. That's to get it home. That, 33 pounds, 31 to get it home. This is the, the pro, oh my gosh. It's Lyra, it's the Golden Compass, it's the TV show. It's back on, isn't it? They've got a new series coming out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is the series? Because the series isn't called Golden Compass, or is it? It's not, is it? Anyway, if you watch that on the... Is it BBC or ITV? BBC. BBC. You, you have a little research. But yeah, do you watch that? Did you watch it last time? If you did watch it last time, there's a new series of it. His Dark Materials. His Dark Materials, of course it is. Um, yeah, Philip Pullman, isn't it? 
It's Dark Materials. It was on BBC last year, and they've done a new series of it, like to carry on the story. And it's it's from the books, and it's it's you know the Golden Compass, and it's all about Lyra and all of that. Anyway, in that is a without giving anything away. There's a polar bear that's a very important figure within it. Imagine gifting that to your own little Lyra in your family and maybe telling that story of him. That would be so special. Wow, what a gift. I've got the amethyst and quartz sphere points to bring to you now, and it's such a special treasure. I'm going to bring it as a star by. about to bring something so unique and different to you now. This is a collaboration of quartz and the quartz collab I'm about to bring to you has been spinning around in front of me since two o'clock this afternoon. This has already had many people messaging in. I just want to make this clear to start off with it doesn't come with the stand, but I am going to bring you the light shortly. It doesn't come with the stand and the light, but it does look sensational with one, doesn't it? I will be bringing to you a light soon that this would look great on. This is is one of the most affordable things in the hour. So if you've wanted to get notable pieces of conversation starting crystals, this is your chance to be able to do it. I am bringing to you today this wonderful, contemporary, modern, unusual piece of your quartz and amethyst gem sphere and I'm bringing it to you in this wonderful 3D effect. Now just to save confusion I'm going to turn the light off and I'm just going to show it as it is and just remind you that it doesn't come on the stand just to save confusion. Look at how Honestly, as soon as you feel this, as soon as you touch this, you just feel so connected to the wonder of Mother Nature. You really, truly do. I am offering to you one of the most tactile, and in this instance, the price point we're going to bring to you, tangible items in this hour. So, it's your quartz and amethyst 3D contemporary design. Imagine this, okay? with the tea light next to it, shining up on it. Imagine this, if you were going to have this in, as a centerpiece for your table. Because you know when your dining room table, sometimes when you sit on your dining room table, I have this all the time at weddings. Have you ever been to a wedding and they've done like a really big centerpiece and you spend half your time trying to look around it to see people, yeah? You don't always want that, but you want something dramatic to grab the eye, but you don't want all the height because it gets in the way. Something like this on a centerpiece, whether that be for a wedding or whether that be on your dining room table or whether that be, you know, in the smaller place at the moment, obviously, when we're doing weddings, we're doing smaller weddings. A lot of people are having like 13 or 15 people at their wedding, aren't they? Imagine something like this. You could actually put you know, one of these on, say, the three main tables and, you know, one person, say, sort of the, the head of that table, if you will, could take one home with them and remember, you know, that special day. This could be like a mother of the bride gift, couldn't it, even? This is something so special for you and I've got people already checking out at that deal. Maybe it's because you know I've not mentioned it and that's my little indication. I'm going to go lower. I said I wanted to make this one of the most affordable ones of the hour. I'm not going to let you down. Today, I'm giving you a £130 discount. £130 discount coming on screen right now. This is a two-way split pay. And it's now, to get it home, £34.95 for you today. That is in 
incredible. This is two splits for you today and you get it home today at $34.97. How astonishing is that? And just look at how sizable it is. What do you think if you put this in your window, what do you think passers-by will think about you and your home? Do you think they'll think you're quite stylish? Do you think they'll think you know your gemstones? I know this sounds a bit rude, but do you think they'll think, ooh, I bet they've got quite a bit of money because actually, actually, that looks like the type of thing you'd buy in a, you know, one of these high-end shops. Might be, might be a grand's worth. They might, mightn't they? I absolutely love and adore this. It's so tactile. And today at that price, it's tangible. All you have to do is get it now. Good luck to you all. Um, I'm now going to bring to you an amethyst globe, if I may. And this has been very, very popular on the launch. Oh, no. Oh, not many left at all. I'm bringing to you now the amethyst orb. And do you know what? I might... Um, well, I'll bring it to you now, but when I walk over there, I might show you this on the light as well, just to see it in a bit. I have got for you the lovely amethyst orb, or sphere, if you will. Now, amethyst, as you know, so let me just remind you, I know this has sold today, but it's sold out and the person will get it at home. But if I just turn this to the side, can you see how these are forming in points? You see that? That's a natural formation. This is already sold out today, by the way, on split pay. But you see how that went out into the points? That's how amethyst can form within a geode. And what we've done here is we've taken those points and, and you've got the spherical finish to them. I think it looks really quirky and different. For anyone who is maybe a February baby that has maybe got loads of amethyst jewellery but wants something more for your amethyst to do with your home, this is a great one for you. Great one for you. We're bringing to you today the Amethyst Sphere. With all of those points. <laughs> My producer Danny's gone, I don't know what to say about this apart from it's really cool. And I agree. <laughs> £179.95 today. £179.95. Usually... We are doing Mineral Man, first time ever on split, split Pay. I'm not doing it a little bit. I'm going bold. Let's do this. 59.95. That means you will get this home today for just 29 and 97 pence. Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting, isn't it? Now, this I will let you know is the last of my spheres. So, if we say this is a sphere and this is a sphere, this is the last one of it. So, you're going to have to pick. Do you know what? I actually love them together. How chic does that look? Do you know what? I watched some right tat on telly, I'll be honest. One of them is Gossip Girl. And for some reason, I've started watching Gossip Girl over again. Because, you know, I do my grandma's advent calendar every year, don't I? I've done it since I was 13. And it's that time of year where I've been... You sit on your sofa and you write out all the cards and you get all the gifts and you plan all the way you're doing it and you build the jigsaw and you wrap them all and all of that. So I've been doing that the last few days. I've been watching Gossip Girl again. I'm just looking at this and I'm imagining it being in one of those... Gossip Girl, um, you know, houses, which is kind of, if you've not seen it, it's people who live in America and they're kind of like the epitome of the rich. You know, they holiday in the Hamptons and all of that. That's where I'd imagine this. I'm going to bring this over with the light now, if I may, so you can see it with the light. And I'm going to offer you the light as well. This light that you've seen illuminating these treasures, um, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to bring it to you now separately. Let me pop this on. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, look how cool. Now, I've only, we've only brought you this light once on air before. So I'm going to bring it to you now because I want you to see how beautiful these look with different elements. It's only launched this week. I've got 35 available. Right, let's just do this. It's not going to be on split pay. But let me just show you, you know, some of the beauties that you could place with this and how great it would look. We have got for you today loads and loads and loads, whoa, of different options for you to be able to work alongside these. It's very low in stock. It's only $9.95 for you today. It is a, I'm not going to point this at you because it is really bright, but it is a six centimeter USB light. It comes with the clicker 
as well. So if you do have this plugged in, you can uh, use it. The great thing I love about this is just say, for example, you are at a craft fair and event. I know they're not going on at the moment. I'm missing them too. But say you're at a craft fair and a craft event. Because this is the USB light, and what I mean by that is, let me show you. You get, here you go. So with the plug, um, you've also got the option to take the USB out. And if you were at a craft fair, you could put that USB straight into your laptop and the laptop would power the light. So you could actually have in front of you some of your crystals lit up and you don't have to pay for an extra plug socket. Because I don't know if you know this, if you've never been done a craft fair, but a lot of craft fairs like Burley or all of these other ones I've done, you have to pay not only for electric, but you have to pay for the amount of source plugs that you have, like out, outlet sources. Um, so if you've only got one plug for your laptop, say, or for your till or whatever it might be, this would plug into your laptop and jobs are good. In. So just a thought for you there. Let me bring now to you something special. You're not going to need split pay on this, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. By the way, that light's about to sell out. About to sell out. Now, I have not seen us bring to you this stone in ages. And I've, I've, I wonder when's the last time we did it? It's got to be a couple of months ago. It's got to be. It's got to be. Maybe nuggets. This is a really interesting stone. And I always talk about how it has this really incredible, unique effect on the surface. But it's kind of hard to tell sometimes when it's smaller, but not in this piece. Look at that. Can you see that? It's not quite a shiller, but it almost is. It's wonderful, isn't it? Now this, you're not going to need split pay for. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> okay, the deal we're doing on this is special. This is a big saving. And I mean, huge. Let me swap that over. One of the best prices of the hour. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. We are bringing it to you. And it should be deal. It's running away. It's going away. 150 quid I'm about to take off this. There won't be... I've got 21 now. People add it in the baskets knowing that I... <laughs> knowing we were going to do something special. There you go. It is 29.95 for you today for this huge, impressive 3D piece. If you're into Feng Shui, if you're into crystal healing, remember what these different stones do and what people believe these stones can do for your household energy flow, etc. Because this is how you can bring that beauty and individual individuality of nature into your home. Um what a special, special opportunity we're bringing to you today. I'll tell you that for now. I've got so much that I can do in this hour, but I can't bring all of it to you. I've got Megalodon Tooth. I have got all of these sculptures. I have got the skull, which uh, is just beyond belief. I've got absolutely loads and loads and loads. Please do check it text in with what you want to get your hands on uh, because as I say I don't have time to do it all 78070 or you can join, join us or send in at jewelrymaker.com as well send a message to the studio let me bring to you now you want to do that one I've got a mook out dragon's head for you here now this is the only one this is the one the one singular this is incredible one time and i'm going to do split pay on it now one thing i just want to remind you is what you are paying for here is not just that treasure of the one locational mookite coming from western australia what you're paying for here is the ultimate skill level of craft that's what's really, really, really important to remember. Bringing it to you today, all the way from Australia. I'm going to go straight in down to the final price because I want to fit in as much as I can, to be honest, in this hour. I know I can't fit it all in, but I want to do as much as we can. £93.31 to get this home today. And that is a split pay. So all you have to pay today is £93.31. pence. That's it. Have you got any Game of Thrones fans? Have you got any um, Lord of the Rings fans? Because there's dragons in that as well as in the schmog. Um, maybe you've got Harry Potter fans in your family. Genuine Gemstone fans. 
This is the one for you. 93.31. There's three in black baskets with one left. So it's fastest finger first. Fastest finger first right now. Good luck. I'm going to bring to you now... The Tiger's Eye Elephant. And again, I'm sorry, this is so limited, but it's the amount of skill that it's taken with this. I've only got one. We had it once in the summer. It sold out. I've got one back in. That's how long. We got it in the summer. That's how long it takes us to resource these. This is a Tiger's Eye Elephant. Think about what elephants signify. Elephants have such a signifier to family. They stay together. They are um, they are the type of animal that um, you know, sort of family and being together is really important. You know, a lot of a lot of animals in nature, they will after they reach a certain age, they will you know fly the nest and start their own family, won't they? With elephants, it's completely different. I think people have been waiting on this because I had the graphics came in and three of you instantly bosh straight into your baskets. Please notice I'm not mentioning any names in this hour. I'm not congratulating anyone specifically. I won't because I'm well aware that these could be the main Christmas gifts for people in your family who are set next to you. So don't worry if you're thinking, I don't want to check out because Bex will go, oh, well done, Petunia from Glasgow. Because you're buying something for your partner who's sat next to you. Don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying congratulations to every single one of you. Today, 23995 is your deal on this one. Can I just remind you that the workmanship of this is what we are obsessed with. It is taking a treasure of our planet and showing it the utmost respect. 17998, that's sold out. Good luck. Oh, sorry, well done. Okay, next up. Danny, my producer's gone, I really like the little Christmas tree. Well, let me bring it then, shall I? Have a little look. Oh, Christmas tree. Have a little look. How cute! Genuine gemstone Christmas tree I've got for you here. Um, this genuine gemstone Christmas tree is such an individual look, and again, it is hand-carved. And the reason we've done to carve this in this type of gemstone is because you've got your rich jade and the rich jade has those almost marifat whites within it i know it's not a very attractive word but it is a term that is used as a as a sign of revealment really it's like wow it's the marifat color you know it's a great thing and it also is one that um kind of translates uh, a little bit more romantically but um it's because you're getting those deep almost nephrite colors in with those marifat jade hues I'm bringing to you today $119.95. Not today. $29.95 for you. $29.95. Now, I'm not going to guarantee you a carat weight on this, and you'll see it's done in, in size because that's, that's how you sell minerals more often than not. But I just want to give you an idea of the weight of this piece because this is probably the only piece that I've done so far that won't just break my scales. Um, so let me just pop it onto carrots. I don't know if you can see this above me, but I'll just give you an idea. So just to prove it's on zero now, this is the smallest piece I've done. <laughs> That's in carrots. One piece. We couldn't even do our normal recordings, you know. You know, normally we'll do a strand and then it'll come on and there'll be a nice recording. We couldn't even do that because, have you seen the size of these things? The things we were trying to record them on were just going, nah, not moving. <laughs> um, so it was a very lazy Susan. Um, okay, please message in if you like anything. If you like the quartz bowl, if you like the skull, if you like the megalodon tooth. Great um, gift for boys and girls of all ages oh my poppy's falling off my poppy's falling get back here poppy I do apologize my poppy which has got a pin just decided to uh, run away um six of the next one available first time we've ever done any of these on split pay remember the ones that we can this time i'm bringing to you a lion 
you think of lions, you think of pride. You think of lions, you think of strength. And also, possibly, if you think of lions, you think about their connectivity within the family. Do you know what I mean? We have got for you today the opportunity to get something which has multitude of signifiers. So think about rose quartz and what that means. It's togetherness, isn't it? It's the gemstone of compassion. It's the gemstone of compassion maybe for your family, maybe compassion for your loved ones. You think about lions and you think about their the way that they sort of, um, you know, work within their family. Every single member of a, um, what are they called? A pack. Every single member of the pack has its own job, doesn't it? Um, and it's kind of the same with your family, right? All of us are slightly different within our family. We all have different elements. We have got for you today a beautiful quality. Four hundred pounds. Today, we're going to give you a drop-down deal. Wow! That is amazing! £83.31 for you today on this beauty. It's astonishing, that, isn't it? Very, 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 very special indeed. Very special. I'm leaving it with you because I've got more to do. And if I can fit in more of these, then I will. Please, 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 please do message in if there's anything you're seeing. Maybe you want the Megalodon tooth, which is from a uh, no longer existent um, creature of our planet. Maybe you want in, you know, one of these moons, because um, I've got a few of these, actually. That'd be great. Someone said, please, can uh, you play the meteorite? Of course I will. Yeah, of course. Of course, he's that collector in Suffolk. I am Suffolk. I don't think I've ever been Suffolk quite fancy it though let me bring to you the largest one this is a hundred grams now i'm sure you've requested the meteorite because you know what it is but for anyone that possibly doesn't it sounds like what it is a meteorite so if you think about meteorites bursting through, uh, you know, outer space, what they can do is they can enter into our atmosphere because they have collided with something that is sort of uh, skirting around our atmosphere. I've forgotten what the, the belt out around our atmosphere. And this has then hit our planet. This is, with all of the meaning of literally, not like, you know, literally it weighs a thousand pounds you know literally is in the literal word this is from outer space um wow that is such a good price now the the um campo de cabo section that you've got there is all about where it's from and what, what not from from out of earth but from within our planet you can do a lot of research on this i've literally not got time to talk about it i'm afraid because i've got so much more to do but oh, for you today you can get this home for 43 pounds 31 say again the obsidian skull, obsidian skull, I don't think I have it, obsidian skull, I'm sorry, let me bring to you now, if I may, the megalodon tooth, and this, I just have to say, is mind-boggling, have you got that slide for me, please, Danny, in case you don't know what a megalodon is, it is a creature which no longer exists, now, you, it gives you an idea there of its length. If you've watched the film, The Meg, that is about this animal. This animal once lived in our planet's oceans. And when we're talking about this, I love that picture there. I think it just absolutely sums all of it up, doesn't it? You've got a human there. And then next to it, the 60-foot Megalodon. Now this, The Meg, is obviously a... a film that is uh you know emphasizing a made up about this this creature but the creature nonetheless did exist the interesting thing about this is the piece i'm holding in my hand right now is around about 
six up to 19 million years old. And this is one of the teeth. Can you imagine someone in your family who is, loves Jurassic Park? Maybe there's someone in your family who is obsessed with creatures of our ocean. Biologists would love something like this. Now, this one, I have to say, is one of the more attractive megalodon teeth, in my opinion, because this is one of the polished ones. You get some that are very highly textured. This is four and a half inches lowest oh my gosh on split pay today best ever deal 109 pounds and 98 pence now please 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 do feel free to do your research on this make sure when you buy them you're buying the real ones because people have been recreating these out of like glass and things like that and then people have gotten them home and gone hang on that feels weird and it's actually been like a megalodon imprint so they've gotten one they've made them old and then they've created something from it that's not what this is this is the real deal isn't that incredible two left Two left, two left, two left. I brought you the tiger and I, tiger's eye and the elephant earlier on. I'm not going to bring it in the tiger, if I may. The elephant did sell out. I'm sorry about that. Now is your chance to grab the tiger of the tiger's eye. The power on this is palpable. The power in this is blatant. I absolutely love this one. Let me just show you the sheen on it, if I may. That is so special, isn't it? We are bringing to you today closeout price on your tiger in tiger's eye. Oh my gosh. Could you even imagine? Sorry, 99.95 at 99.98 on split pay, 299.95 overall. You're going to be getting this for three payments. So you will get this home in a few days. You know, your normal order, it takes a few days. This will be the same time. But, um, with that one, you don't have to pay the full amount all at once. That's incredible. Remember, I've only got a few left of this one time and one time only um, Mineral Man for split pays. If you do see anything you like, I've not done the bowl yet. For example, I've not done the skull. The skull's obviously a luxury piece, but for the first time ever, it could be on split pay. But it's only if you request it, I'm afraid. Today, I'm bringing to you the Amethyst Moon. I'm going to turn this light off for a second, actually, when I show you this. See why I'm doing the little air quotations, yeah? Anyone else sees ametrine colours in here? Yeah? I have got for you hand car 4331 on split pay. Overall deal, 12995. Can I just let you know something that's really important about these? Alex actually sources the gem himself, and then what he does is he takes it to this very, very small family-owned business in Brazil to get these cut. Now, this location that he gets them cut is a tiny little artisan um, mining family, and they, they like people in the family just work together, and it is a family-run business, and it's really, really small. It's nowhere near as big as these places, uh, you know, that you might get, you know, bulk pieces made where there might be hundreds of people working in there. This won't. Um, I've had a message in. Chris, can you see the black moon? Ah, the obsidian. Chris, yes, me love, of course you can. Well done on that one. I'm going to bring you the moon now. Now, this one, I would say, is of the size that you could use for a pendant. Now, it's a bold pendant. It's a statement. But I believe if you wanted to, you could. You could do that as a pendant, maybe some wire work or something like that. You wouldn't necessarily have it sort of this high up on the neckline. This could be something you maybe wear at like a pendulum length or maybe um, like an opera length necklace. You could do that, couldn't you? Also, what about putting it in a box frame? That would be beautiful. I imagine doing like an Aurora Borealis style painting in the background. 33 31 on split pay 99.95 lowest ever price there never been under 100 but today it is let me just show you this one is um smooth on the back and then all that detail on the front but imagine getting your watercolors out and doing aurora borealis painting and this being there in, in a box frame that'd look great um it's wonderful isn't it can we see the bowl please jen yes 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 and yes again 
this to me is something which I've had my eye on. I'm so glad, Jen, you've collected, you've, you've been in for this. Can I just give you a bit of advice, Jen? Single figures on this one. So if you do want it, do grab it. This is everything. I just want to show it to you first off without the light. Remember, Jen, you can buy the lights. We're doing them for only 9 95 if you fancy them. This is a huge, stylish, stylized, real piece of quartz. Imagine the size of the piece we have had to get to cut this. This has not been reconstituted together or glued into pieces. This is a solid piece of quartz that we have had to etch away at. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I wish you could stand next to me, Jen, or anyone else, because here, where I am standing, I wonder if you're going to be able to see it now. I've got what quartz does best in big pieces, prism. So I have got from here, this is no exaggeration, from here to here, I've got Pinks, yellows, blues, pinks, yellows, blues, purples, blues, greens, greens, greens into yellows, into pinks, into blues. Honestly, it is vivid. Because remember, you know, when you're at school and you do about prisms, it's generally made out of quartz because of the way it splits light. Speaking of light, let me show it to you on the light, if I may. What would you put in this? Imagine photographing. Hey, do you know what? Place it that way. You could put fairy lights underneath, couldn't you? And then you could photograph your jewellery on top. Oh my gosh, how much would your website stand out if that happened, if that was your signifier? Save you one of them funny watermarks, wouldn't it? Oh, wow. I would have expected much more than that. Let me show you with the light underneath it, if I may. Turn that light on again. The light does come with a clicker. Oh, just look at how this is one of those pieces that people will pass down in your family. This is the type of piece that you would love and enjoy. Do you know what? Just going to flip this over because I'm wanting... Oh, well, that looks like a crystal ball. I'm imagining selling, for example... Give me two seconds. Imagine, imagine, imagine photographing jewellery on that. Obviously, you'd, you'd photograph your jewellery with the light on, as in your light... Here we go. We're turning the lights back up. There you go. But imagine that on your website. That's your final closeout price. You can get that home today for £433. I've... Oh, you're joking. Okay, well, that's one I've got left now. One and one alone. Show it you again without the light. One left I've got. One and one alone. That is it, I'm afraid. Once it's gone, as always, it's gone. So do seize the moment. Let me bring to you one more thing, if I can. This is one more thing I wanted to bring you. No one's requested the skull, so I'm not going to be able to do the skull today. It would have been its first time ever on split pay. I do actually feel really bad now I've said that. Do you know what? We'll load the graphics, check at the end of the hour, okay? I wanted to bring you something for your home now, because I think at this time of year, there is nothing really nicer than getting home putting on the telly, getting under something dead snuggly, whether that's your blanket or a nice big sort of, you know, your fluffy clothes or whatever, and lighting some lovely candles. And that's what this is. It's a tea light holder. Put your tea light in. It doesn't even have to be a tea light. You know, as long as the, the candle's going to fit in here, you place your tea light within there and this lights up. Obviously, it doesn't light up with like an electric light but it does light up because of the way that the texture works. 99.95. Any other day. I'm going to give you a 70 quid discount. This is one of the most affordable things of the hour. I'm going to wish every single one of you luck. £29.95. Can I just give you an idea of the size of this piece? It's gargantuan. It's huge. So that as a piece, maybe it's very affordable. People wouldn't have expected you've only paid £29.95. But we're giving you the opportunity to get it now. 
I've got 10 now available, 10 only, and I'll just show you all the way around it. It's a real amethyst geode. Again, it's not been created to look like one. And then what we've done is we've etched out the innards so you can put a tea candle or similar in there. And as you can imagine, with a light inside, that is just going to glow, isn't it? $29.95, well done. I am going to say a huge well done to everybody who, for the first time ever, got Mineral Man products in split pay today. I've got for you coming up my Chrysocola. It's going to be with you in just a few seconds. Um, we're going to try and put this on for you if we can. For now, though, let me just say it's time to bring you a brand new night owl. <laughs> When we talk about turquoise, we talk about a stone that we possibly, um, I would say we talk about the colour a lot, but possibly we talk about things like the location more. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I'm about to talk about the different types of chrysocolla. Take a little look at my slideshow that I have for you in a moment, because I think that Chrysocolla has so many similarities to turquoise that maybe we don't always notice. So having a little look at this first slide, this is an overview, if you will, of how we find this stone. And the reason I want to show you this is because it may well ring some bells for you. When we source Chrysocolla, it's formed in these gentle seams. And what you might expect is for these seams to be relatively large. Not at all. Take a look at this picture and you see the coloured section? That is where we get the chrysocolla. It's tiny, isn't it? Tiny little seams. Do read this in your own time. I just wanted to point out a few things. It's um, that I said was kind of reminiscent. It talks to you about how this is formed um, in upper parts of copper or veins where the copper minerals have been altered by water, dissolving silica. And that is how you're creating these. Sound familiar to anything? Yeah, it's like turquoise, isn't it? Also, when you're looking at this, it talks to you about how chrysocolla is very popular amongst gemstone collectors for its eye-catching and complex appearance. And I was talking about the appearance because, again, not only is it forming in a similar way to turquoise, whenever we mention turquoise, we're always mentioning copper mines. We also talk about the different types or varieties or looks, let's say, of turquoise. We talk about Bixby turquoise. We talk about Kingsman turquoise. We talk about Sleeping Beauty turquoise and how different they all are. Have a look at my next slide and see if you can pick out how this is very, very different to the usual ones we have. Because I would say, I would say, the one we tend to bring to you is parrot wing. The one we tend to bring to you is a mix of chrysocolla and jasper, which is a greenish brown colour. You can see one picture at the side there. Have you ever gotten chrysocolla home and seen those brownish flecks within there? Yeah, you've seen that, right? You've seen that moment where you get those different colouring sections and you get those deeper, darker browns. Have a look at this strand and be honest with yourself. This isn't the normal type, is it? This is a little bit like me bringing to you, I don't know, with Chinese turquoise or um, let's just say Kingsman just, just for the sake of ease. Kingsman turquoise, because that Kingsman turquoise often has got a lot of brown patches and heavy matrix in it, hasn't it? If I talk to you about Kingsman Turquoise, let's say I brought you Kingsman Turquoise 99% of the time, but had never mentioned that there was different varieties. You just thought all turquoise looked like Kingsman. And then I brought you Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. You'd notice the difference like that, right? Yeah, this is the same. These are different varieties of Chrysocolla. For me, this has got more of those turquoise and malachite hues within it. But also, it's got that glow almost of your chalcedony in there. $29.95, usually. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Only, 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 only. Because this is different. And, and this is different. You know, you're not getting those brown hues that you might normally see. You're getting much more of the turquoise and... and um, 
uh, almost malachite hues sh shining through in this. It's bolder than most that we see, but it's not more expensive somehow. £12.95 for you today. That is a mammoth discount for what this is and for how this is. And if you remember when we launched Chrysler Cola, do you remember the kind of prices we were doing? They were huge. £69.95, sometimes £59.95 on, you know, good day or whatever. This is your chance to grab something very, 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 very special in indeed okay well done to you there's multi buyers in on this one good work to every single one of you it is a beautiful stone and it is different see it alongside your other chrysler holders remembering from today there's 86 day money back guarantee because i'm not expecting your returns till the 31st of jam i did say that if i could i would pardon try and bring to you the skull because it's the first ever time we've done i know we normally end on on that item so i'm sorry but we're just mixing it up today because it's the first day and possibly last we're able to do mineral man showcase because usually when we have the mineral man on we have to wait till a few months have passed or a few weeks sorry have passed before we do it these were shown on monday first time ever i'm doing it on split pay if you think about the damien heart uh, the damien hearse piece the skull encrusted in diamonds and, and, and crystals, etc. And you look at this, I believe the way that these take your breath away is very, very similar. Now, I live in Chester and at our cathedral in Chester, they almost always have an exhibition of some sort on. And one of them was a Damien Hurst exhibition and the, they were lots and lots of different skulls and it wasn't just Damien Hurst, there was other artists. They had gemstone skulls that were not for sale. They were behind glass. There was no price tag for them. And that's what I believe this is. This is almost a piece of artwork that is difficult for you to almost concede the beauty of until you get it home. Because, and, and this is a huge piece... But, for example, I don't know if you can tell this, but these are actually etched out. There is so much detail in here. There are moments, if I just kind of turn it this way, can you see here how it's actually open? It's not like when we do um, hematite, we cut maybe hematite skulls and they just look like a skull on the surface. Oh, no, this actually has replication elements to it, which means you're getting that once-in-a-lifetime look. And this is obviously a collector's piece. This is the type of thing, in all honesty, could be put up in auction. This is the type of thing that, if it was on, like, the Antiques Roadshow, I could imagine them taking... This would be one that goes through to the telly. But even more than that, this is the type of one I would imagine going to auction at Christie's. Should be a grand. At a jewellery maker price. But that means... Actually, it should be one two two nine five, but but it should be nine 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 five today, but it's not because you're getting it on split pay. Three hundred and thirty three pounds and thirty one pence only. That's how much it will cost you to get this home. And can I just remind you, if you change your mind before the thirty first of Jan, send it back, but just get it home to see it maybe because it honestly it's 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 breathtaking. I have got the chance to do one more and i'm going to do lapis lazuli now it's a lapis lazuli tiger if i may well done to anyone who got that i've never seen anything like in my mind um let me oh let me step a deal oh yeah let's end the show with a pop um i'm bringing to you now lowest price on your gosh is i mean that just looks like something you would imagine um on like a I don't like a, a silk painting, right? Previous lowest price, 249. I'm beating it. Wow, by a massive amount. 179 pounds and 95 pence on split pay today. Get it home for just 59.98. That's incredible. Imagine the hand carving in this. Just look at the detail of this. This could honestly be a day's worth of work if you're thinking of it that way and that's just the carving of it i'm not even talking about sourcing the gemstone 
This is something very special indeed. Wow. I have got so, 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 so much to come this weekend. Well done to everyone who got any of those first time Mineral Man split plays. A huge well done. And well done to anyone who got the Cashmere Peridot as well as the kits, the boutique kit. Tomorrow, I have got the Humatite Showcase for you. I have also got Last of Stock from uh, Loose Stones from Jake's Collection. We've got Sveen and so much more in that one. Paparasha Quartz as well in that. Garnet and so much more. Um, we've also got, tomorrow, Jenny's got her um, competition for you, hasn't she? So we've got all of that to come. Oh, no, actually, is it on Sunday? Might be on Sunday. We've got all of that to come this weekend. So get your rest. Thank you, as always, for joining me. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll speak to you very soon, my loves. Come on, Sheila. Woo! Good morning, Johnny Makers. Assemble. Happy Friday, everyone. How are you today? Oh, my word. We've got a show and a half for you today. A show and a half. Whew. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bum, bum. We've got senior... Thank you, Michael. We've got Michael Joe Wolf with us today on cameras, everyone. There he is. Morning, Michael. the findings all morning long. There we go. We've got senior producer... Tom Stewart with us, hey! Oh, 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 oh. who's so tall, he's as tall as a tree. Uh, we've got uh, Rai Rai with us today, directing the show. Yay, there he is. And we've got Luscious Laura with the Luscious Locks on floor. Morning, Laura. Hey. And, of course, we have jewellery maker royalty with us today. It's the one, it's the only, it's Sheila Davies. <laughs> The price, the price is, price right. is right today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. How are you, my lovely? I'm oh, very well, thank you. you? Apart from I your love, alarm I love girl. Carol's hair. Does oh, really thanks. Carol's hair. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's I lovely. got the bangs, honey. I got the bangs. <laughs> so, um, apart from your alarm going off... 20 to 5. Did you set it wrong or did, did, did it get... Oh. Well, I've, I've had, a, I've had a, an update on my phone and it's changed the settings and everything. Oh, so no. it's different and it was like half past oh. ten and I'm thinking, oh, what if this doesn't go off? So I set my other alarm. That didn't go off, but the other one did. Oh, no. But it went off. I must have set it too early. Oh, so like, oh Sheila. No. But she's here. She's with us. She's great. <laughs> there we go. Sheila's been given the most amazing... The most amazing kits. <laughs> Durable. You the you most missed. amazing... The oh, there's Michael. Oh. Hello. Um, Michael's got uh, the dinosaur bone. Uh, we've got uh, we've got um, the most amazing kits with us today. Absolutely fantastic uh, kits. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant prices. And check it out. We have got the most amazing early bird special. It is neon appetite. Looking absolutely. Superb. Going down, down, deeper and down, uh, which is really, really exciting. Your um, alarm, sorry, not your alarm clock deal. Your um, deal of the day today is this. It is the one, the only. It is Tiffany 